gives him tickets. Got a, who gives him tickets? The people. A, you mean through a, me? He I gets them. I got a friend. Well, yeah, I mooch yeah, off. He has connections. He mooches off of my name. Uh, eh. it's nothing to do with you. It's no. a good friend. Please. Yeah. How did you meet the guy? Please. He's been a friend of mine for years. Yeah. Well, how did you meet him? How did I meet when him? did you meet him? Yeah. Uh, how many years seven ago? Years seven ago. years ago. Were you working the, for me I, at the time? I, I, the oh, phone. you see. Oh, I see. Because you met him seven years ago. Right, so I can't have any How did you meet? No, how did you I meet him? How did you meet the guy? On the phone. Uh, he was a stockbroker. A stockbroker. Right. So he called here. He's a fan of the show. And now he gets you seats behind home plate. Actually, he didn't call. His fr his guy at his firm called. His, right. And then when I went to firm. the firm. I what, at what point do you stop working my telephones for, for gifts? When, at what point? Are you out of your mind? For free stock tips, See, for free know, IPOs. No, 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 no. Let me tell you yeah. something, Johnny boy. I'm wise to you. Wise to me? It's a friend I have for seven years. No, you don't have a friend for seven uh, years. It's a listener of mine that calls yeah. in. And so, how come I can't figure out how to glom off my listeners, uh, but you can? Whatever. Do you connive all no, day no. and night? This guy was in my wedding party, Howard. He's a very close friend of mine. <clears throat> he right. was in your wedding party yes. because, yeah, he gives you things. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. First you tell me he's a long-time friend of yours. Yes. Then it turns out you met him over the phone here. No, I didn't meet... I met... Oh, I met where did you meet him? Uh, where did you meet him? Where did you meet him? A guy who worked in his firm him? called me. Oh, his guy from the his, firm called then, you. Then when I went to the firm... Where did he call you? At home or here? Here. Oh, how do you make oh. the transition right. from a guy calling right. in on okay. the phone to friend? All right. Tell me how you make right. that transition. Right. So... Don't, don't don't argue with me. Tell me right. how you make the transition from guy. Let, let me tell you what happened my entire radio career. People used to call in Howard. I want to talk to you about this. Hey Howard, by the way, can I give you something? And I'd say no, it's not appropriate. You don't have to give me anything. I'm glad you're a fan of mine. I hang up the phone. Yeah. How do you work the relationship that you eventually meet the guy yeah. and end up with tickets and vodka and cranberry and goose <laughs> goose flesh in your mouth? How do you make that? How do you end up with the IPOs and, and all the stock tips? How do you how do you make the transition? Tell me how. You do it so when future interns work here, they'll have right, a guidebook. Okay. All right, so I'm not I, I, anybody I meet. No, 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 no. Here, While you work here friends. on my phone, so, here's friends. how you th no, that's it right. It wasn't your phone. Uh, no, oh, whose phone was uh, it? No, it wasn't over here. Like, it wasn't like, oh, you know, where, was it? where was it? Uh, where was it? Where was it? No, it was at it was a call in at, here. At, oh, okay. K Rock. K yeah. hey, Rock, that's not my phone. No, in other words, it wasn't. All right, all right. It, it was, it was your phone. It was my phone. It was your phone. Again, called. They call my show, but it wasn't. Do you get that? Do you, does anybody follow me? Uh, not John. John's not making it. You're going to argue the whole time. All right. Uh, it's fine. So I guess Here's the way I see it. allowed to have friends. No, but, you know, I didn't say you're not allowed to have friends. Okay. So, so I said you're not allowed to use my my listeners and my callers okay. for your personal use. Okay. I'm sick of it. Right. How, much, how much clearer could I be? All right. How much clearer am I? <laughs> it's so simple to get you. You'll argue. <laughs> <laughs> How much? I mean, how much? How much? How how difficult is it to follow that? I feel you take advantage of my audience and the people who right. want to shed okay. to share with me. Mm -hmm. These are generous people. Some of them are deeply disturbed because they want to be involved with celebrity in the show, and you take advantage of it. Okay. I don't take advantage of it. I never have. I made ninety six dollars a week. I never once said to a listener, "How do I get together with you to take advantage of you?" So you've never met any friends? Never. Uh, not not off the telephones. I, listen to me. All right. Listen clearly. I have never made that transition. I still want the answer. I'm not letting you off the hook. I want the answer how you make that transition. Ralph became your friend. He's a sent family. Yeah, I hired Ralph. For him. Let me tell you something. Yeah. I hired Ralph. Yeah. I pay him to yeah. work but for the show. But he started out being a fan who sent... A man. lot of people are my fans. I didn't meet him over okay. the telephone. He no, applied he for letters. a job. No, he sent a letter to yeah. Dan Foreman who hired him to work. The fact that he listened to the radio show was irrelevant. Do you understand? Do you understand the difference between what you do and what I do? Howard, but the point is, we all meet people. No, you, know, you don't I mean, meet you anybody. Meet that you like, you people call in to speak to me uh, or offer free things, wasn't... and you get charged up for, for, for free. Howard, for, for, for free. Nobody calls... for, for, for free. They want to be my for, 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 for friend. Even the guy That's at... not a friend. Even the guy That's a user. Firm, You're the... a user, and even... it's a user using you. Even the guy at the firm didn't call and ask for you. They asked for me. Well, of course they and did. They, they know they can't get, get to me, you dodo head. No, I'm saying, but they asked. Yeah, me, so of course they asked for you. Why do you think they're asking for you? Because they looked you up in the yellow pages. Well, yeah, maybe they like me. No, yeah. they don't like you. They want to be associated with someone from the show, and you're using them. Uh, okay. And I don't like it. No, it's my friend. Explain back to me what. I, no, it's not your friend. Okay. He's your friend now because you met him over my phones. He right. gave you no, something for free. All right. You. He, you he's, met him. Keep saying no. You didn't. What? You phone didn't meet was him over it? my phones. 
I went to the guy's What firm. phone was it? What phone was it? Oh, so... so anything, was it the telephone uh, home? I, I got it. So anybody who calls here... Yes. Then <laughs> I can't talk to them and I can't be... Right. Oh, okay. Right. So only when they call me at home, that's the only time... No, no, not somebody. if it's show associated. Okay. Oh, so... so okay. You don't know the difference. If somebody calls me here... Yeah. You answer my phone because I need someone to answer the phone. Yes. I could take you tomorrow, throw you out of here, and have someone else answer right, the phone. Then, then, then do it. All right. Goodbye. Okay. Leave. So I'm fired. Go home. You're fired. Okay. Go Thank home. You. Thank you. It's, it's the end of your participation on the show because you don't understand what I'm saying. Now he's gone. Get someone else to answer the phone. <clears throat> that big dope. There, your dream came true. He's gone. <laughs> Who's next? I think Benji's on the phone now. <laughs> Benji's on the phone? Does he understand? Benji, do you understand what I just said? I'm sure he does. A dodo head. <laughs> I gotta go return some stuff. <laughs> mm. I mean, what is it, Benji? Do you you want to tell me the rules? I no. I, I listen. What? I'm not gonna comment on the situation except say yes, I know, and I'm sure Gary told me to tell a lot of people. I can't what? accept personal gifts. Huh? It's, a, it's an attitude around here. But wait, I do have a people question. pick up my phone. They're wheeling and dealing. I got a guy wheeling and dealing in the stock market. Wheeling and dealing with my audience. They're not here to be wheeling and dealing. My audience is a valuable commodity to me. That's how I make my living. I don't need guys wheeling and dealing in the back office. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I just want to know what Benji just said. I think he's right. He's, a, he's retarded. No, I'm not. <laughs> Are you? You're not? No. Prove it. What did I just say? You said you don't want people to do business based on things that come as invitations. For hey, people. I'm going to be a caller. Tell me how to handle this, right? right. Uh, 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 hello? Oh, you know, I won't be a stutter. That'll confuse it. Hello, my name is Bob Smith. I want to speak to Benji. Uh, hey, hey, Bob, what do, you, what do you want to talk to Howard about? Uh, you know, I don't really need to talk to Howard. I got an IPO. I, what I'm doing is uh, I'm a stockbroker. Would you like to get in on it? I would take a message for Gary for that. What? I, I'm, I, I, I just asked you, can I, do you want to get in on it or not? Uh... Uh, well, I don't have any money. It's any. guaranteed no. money. No, no. The stock's going to go up $25. Thank you very much for calling, but I, I, I really don't do business with the show and everything. Oh, <laughs> look at that. You're not retarded. You're brilliant. But I, I do have a serious question about that. You better hope you don't. <laughs> you sure you want to ask me a question <laughs> about it? Winning. You're going to think it's a joke, but it's absolutely You just serious. won. It's absolutely you, All right, serious. what's the question? When you meet girls on the street, if you can get sex from it based on the show and everything, do you mind that? How do you mean based on the show? Like a girl comes up, oh, I see you on the show and That's everything. different. Okay. You're walking down the street, a woman's attracted to you. That's between you and a woman. That ain't okay. happening. <laughs> right. right. That don't enter into it. <laughs> well, they, okay. That's fine. All I don't right. care. All right. Because there's a lot of girls I want to sleep with that. I wasn't sure about. Oh, I think they, I, you want to sleep with? Do they want to sleep? They with don't you? want to sleep with I you. Think Reggie's putting out a feeler. Listen, this, uh, listen. What I'm saying is, <laughs> you know, you got If a guy walks up to you on the street though and says, "Hey, you're with the Howard Stern show, right? I want IPO, IPO. I want to give you money. I want to." You say, "Listen, that's nothing. I get, I get involved in. That's all." John doesn't know the difference. He's he's it's with semantics. If I meet him on the street, it's okay. If I meet him in this, in, on the phone, it's not okay. Leave every. Just do your job. You're not the star. The star doesn't even do this. And you see, right? You you you, you met Ralph. Don't cut. This is why my policy for you, not for me, for you. <laughs> but so it's still simple. not the same relationship. Ralph can't do anything for you. Right. <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> Boy, I'll say. Hasn't put me in any IPOs. <laughs> is, he, is John silly or what? He didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I don't care. Then get some sleep. I'm not saying that that's the reason. He'd have the same argument on a why is it? Why is everyone not sleeping? Because oh, they go to the Yankee games and the Met games. That's why. Yeah, so you can't, so if you're going you're gonna to tell me that you're going to go to Yankee game and then use that as an excuse that you can't do your job, I say get the hell off the well, show. No, that's me saying that. Right. I say, if you, I don't mind you go to a Yankee game t 10 nights in a row as long as you do your job. If, if, then as soon as something goes wrong, you go, well, I can't. I was at the Yankee game. I'm, I'm a little dim-witted. <laughs> oh, who cares? It's not my problem. They were perfectly alert at the game. Yeah, at the game, he was alert. <laughs> Daddy saw. Daddy didn't miss anything. He knows every player. He knows what everybody did. Here, he's not so alert. Here, he's dopey. Here, he's going to argue. The rules are clear at the game. <laughs> Mr. Goose Liver. Don't, don't yell, I'm hungover. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll tell you one thing about Jackie Martling. He stays out all night, but he's a professional drunk. He comes in here and he does his job. <laughs> he knows how to handle it. <laughs> I'll give you that, pal. I never had to hear the guy say I was out drinking all night. You know, it's funny. It's funny that you say that, Howard. The head mm. of our company that you met with yesterday. Yeah. There's a, a sales guy here. I won't say his name, but the right. guy he likes to party. He right. likes to go out and do stuff with. There's people. nothing wrong with that guy. And, and I always said, you know, what's the deal with that? And the owner of our company said, you know what? That is desk every morning at nine. That's all I care about. Right. Doesn't matter what he did all night. That is desk. And at not nine. only that, he sells and, his ass and off. He sells his ass and people off. like to drink That's with him. That's right. That's fine. Job. I don't care. He's worked it into a job, that drinking. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, I wish I hadn't fired Stuttering John. I have so much more to yell at him about. I don't think so. I'll go get him. You should go. Yeah, tell, tell him to come back in. I want to fire him all over again. <laughs> I'm not done yelling at him. He's on the phone. I think we're stuck. <laughs> no, he's on the phone with a shrink. Trust me. Yeah, well, good. <laughs> Where is that shrink? I want to fire him. He probably got that shrink, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the shrink is probably a guy who got off the telephone. Stand on my desk. Yeah, good. Clean out your desk. Right. And let me ask you something. Yeah. Do you understand anything that I just said, or uh, do you still not get it? I think you're out of your mind. You think I'm out of my mind? Yes. All right, well, then we have to part ways. I mean, All right. I, mean, I thought you got it, and I was going to give you a reprieve. I but you know what? You don't, you don't get it. I one question. No. So I can't be friends with anyone like Gary. You know what, John? If you have to ask that question, you no, don't I'm even hear saying, what I'm saying. I'm saying because Gary. Right, you can't be. Show. That's right, you can't be friends with Gary. And, that's the same Gary, thing. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's not what we're talking about. You know Gary's that. Gary's so, not a caller on the phone. Your problem is you got to win the argument, and you right. don't have an argument. All right. Well, I. I you know listen, full well what I'm talking no, about. You know the wheeling and dealing Gary, I'm you know talking about. about? Gary, yes, do you I do. know? All right. I, I so you I, have no friends that you met, uh, you know, since you've been here. We're not talking about friends. Okay. Talking about people who take advantage of other people. All right. But John does that, and, you know, he takes advantage. He doesn't get Jackie. it. Right. He no, doesn't Robin, get it. You know, F you and your charity, all right, Robin? Right. I mean, Let me ask you something. You know, well, now that you're you fired. You're the biggest bitch I've ever met. Now that you're fired. And I don't think you're not, so I'm fired. Right. Now that you're fired. Yeah. Good. Tell me, uh, just yeah. for the audience's sake. Yeah. If and, you'll and, do it. and by the way, I was here on time. I'm, I'm showered, clean, ready to go. I haven't, I haven't screwed up. You, you I mean, screwed so, up when you 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 no, still. I, I here I gave you here I brought you back I in for a second chance. I tried to help the show and tell you about here I brought Yankee you in Stadium. for a second That's how chance. I up. No, I, so you, I no, never walked my not ass about in the Yankee Stadium. You know what I'm talking no, about. No, I don't. No, I don't. You don't have any idea. All right, this, well, then we can't do business. Howard, then look, we can't do business. If you understand what you, I'm talking about, the, then you can right, do business so with I me. I can't have any friends that call the show and Again, ask you don't get it. Right. Explain the yeah. reality of what I just right. said, because you're not stupid. You told me you had an IQ of 136. Yeah. Let me hear the IQ put to work right now and tell okay. me what I'm talking about in a civilized you know, manner. Gary, I'm so pissed at you. Why? 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 Here we go, Gary. Gary. Why didn't you everybody. book guests? I'm a bitch. What's that? Why didn't you book guests? We do have guests, actually. Uh, I, I got a 7.30 guest and an 8.30 guest. I'm holding off the guest. I'm kidding, dude. My cousins are here. Because I knew the wheel was going to turn, and I, I even said that it's, I, I, someone's going to be getting yelled at today. And you know what? Your IQ, your IQ is one, not 136. I can see that. Okay. Your IQ is 13.6. your asinine logic. Oh, oh, bye. Uh, Okay, oh, so you don't no, get it. Oh, I, you I know dis what he I disagree with the king. No, I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm an I can't disagree with the king. Your I'm IQ so is 13.6. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. So I'm yeah. so sorry. You're always right. I gave you a second you chance. Wacko. You don't get it. You don't get it. Wacko? Yeah. Okay, I'm a wacko. I'll so see I you later. I can't have any friends that have No, me. I didn't I say that. You can have all the friends you want now. Now you can have all the friends you want. You're free of me. Have as many friends as you want. so amazing. Have as many friends as you want. So let me ask you. You can answer the phone at your house now and get all the calls from your friends. Yeah. That's all. all right. Now you're answering the phones at your house. All right. I can't believe it. You still don't understand. He won't give in. He just, no. That is part of his He'd thing. rather lose his job. It's a very close job. friend of mine. It has nothing to do with the show. Again, here we go. And, and you know. You didn't meet him through the show. See, John, no. even, can I just tell you something? A better argument, not a good argument, but a better argument would be, yeah, I met him through the show. No, no, no. And I Hold on. The, but that's not even but a good listen argument. to the argument. I said he... Here, we're going to go. I'm, gonna, I'm like a lawyer here. Watch like this. I said, his partner <laughs> called the How did you the meet show. the guy? Oh, the partner called guys the Guys that worked right. in his And firm. how did you meet this guy? Then I went to the firm. Why did you go to the firm? Because it was a business thing. Okay. Hold yeah. it a second. Yeah. On my phone, yeah. his the no, partner the guy called, called me the guy called you, and then you wheeled and dealed and ended up. Called me why is it in all the years I've worked phone. on the radio, yeah. I haven't once gone down to someone's firm from a listener who called me? A guy called me on. Why are you doing that on my phones? Phone, the infinity off no, hours. That's my. Not I hire you on the show. Not off during the show. Hours. I don't Paul care. It's the Howard Stern show. He's out of his mind. Yeah. Oh, it's unbelievable. I am Mrs. It's unbelievable. I it's unbelievable. You can't get the concept. He get, he gets the concept. He's just not no. going to give no. up. I, no, obviously people are going to call me because I work for the show. 
right? Right. And okay. then you and went it doesn't and visit what people. Time that uh, and, is. And, and, and Gary will admit there's thousands of people that call us every day. Yeah, I call mean, us. Day, they're like, calling my okay. show. Okay. The occasional. The, Did you ever get a receptionist job in your in your in your often. life? You don't sit there and wheel Howard, and deal on my phones. Doesn't happen often. But occasionally I meet people that I really like and I become friends On the with. phones, and you go no. down and visit Someone them. Someone who asked for me. Why did you go down and visit Howard. this particular guy? Not did he work for, for a stock firm? They asked for did me. he work oh for a stock exchange? God. Don't act like you went to make friends with the guy. You went down no. there because you could get something initially, off of him. Initially? Yes, initially. I went there for a business reason. Oh, a business reason. Oh, what yes. was the reason? What's that? What was the Who's reason? stock broker. I already yeah. told you that. I told you. I don't then, want you wheeling and dealing stocks off of my listeners. with a different guy who was at the firm. Right, okay. And I liked him. So everything I thought was true that's all and you don't understand when i create policy well, and i tell you not no to do policy it policy then howard i'm telling you now policy is now i'm telling you now and you can't follow it so you should leave so the policy is if somebody calls let me hear no I, let me hear what the policy I'm is i'm getting to you what your twisted that's, policy is twisted so, if yeah. it's twisted don't work here so, so goodbye let me understand. goodbye why don't call it twisted if you're going to repeat it as twisted you can't work here so if somebody calls Right. What is the policy here I'm when try, somebody I'm calls? I'm going to this right now. Tell me, I'm going to make a phone <laughs> yeah. call to you right now. Is this the Howard Stern show? Uh, yes. Okay. Are you stuttering, John? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah, hi. I'm a stockbroker. Yeah. I wanted to talk to Howard, but uh, as long as I got you on the phone, John, you're into the stock market, right? Uh, I would already say no because the guy had wanted to talk to you. You see, that's the difference. Howard. Oh, well, oh, you, you don't. Oh, the guy has to say. Hey, all right. All right. Here, well, let's try a new phone yeah, call. I would just try it. Hi, is this stuttering John from the Howard Stern Yes, Star? how are you? Yeah. Oh, hey, John. I listen to you all the time. Good, good. Hey, here in the air, you're always saying you're into the stock yes, market. Yes, I am. So can, I, can I tell you about a stock? Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, sure. Okay. All right. All right. You're fired. Goodbye. Okay. Oh. All right. Because you didn't handle the phone call properly. You see, listen, I'm not here to take stock tips. I'm here to take phone calls for the show. Uh, what oh, can I do oh, for you, oh, sir? You see, that's thought, no, how Howard, you do it. I, I thought this was an after-hours phone call. This is no, 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 I don't care. There's no after-hours. Right. Every, every after hour, hour is my hour. Let me try again. Every hour you're okay. here, you should, you. you're working for me. Let me try again. You want to try one more yeah, time? Okay. You think you can handle it? I think I can okay, do it. Okay, let's see. I think I got it. IQ, right. No, 13.6. Okay. I think the decimal point's in the wrong place. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, is this the Howard Stern Show? Yes, how are you? All right. Who am I talking to? This is Stuttering John. Stuttering John. Oh, I listen to you all the time. You're the funny guy on the show. You're the best thing on the show. Thank you. All right. Uh, I work for a stock firm, stock brokerage firm. John, I got to tell you something. I got an IPO. This is, I'm telling you, it's going to open at 7, and it's going to make $50 a share the first day out. A guaranteed money. Can I, can I uh, send you some information? Uh, you know what? No, because I'm working, and uh, it isn't uh, appropriate for me to do business over these phones. Oh. Did you call me back at? Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Are you done talking, by the way? Uh, excuse me? And that's your whole answer? You don't want to say call me back at a separate number at my house or call my business manager? Or, um, or give me no, your number and I'll no, call you back don't, later? Don't ever call me again. You are now, uh, no, I just, no, 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 no. I just okay. can't do business with you. Uh, oh, so you do understand the policy. Well, I understand what you're trying to say, yeah. But do you oh. agree with it? Um, oh, I don't care if he agrees with see, it. Gary, I don't want to hear you, his opinion. You know, just, just, everybody, just, here, everybody here is talking from, you know. I mean, uh, John, okay, John, fine. I'm asking you the questions. Now you answered mm -hmm. the phone properly. Did you see what you Gary, just did? Uh, oh, sh I don't want to talk to John. Gary. I'm talking to stuttering so John. All you guys are piling on. John, I'm focus. No one's piling on. on. Uh, I'm asking you a question. Okay, thanks. The He's way the you handled that phone call yes. was unbelievable. Yeah, see? And it shows me yeah. that you understand the policy. Okay. And it shows me. In fact, you should get a raise. Uh -oh. I'm going to talk to Tom about getting you a raise no. because you... What is that, Tom? No. All right. You can talk to him. Tom says no. But let first. me tell you something. What are we talking about? Now, I realize this is a tough policy because it might cut off a source of your income, free money from and, the listeners. In those days, it was a very large part of my income. Right. Yes, I was right. So now, no I was confusion, money, it though. sounds to me, by the way you just answered that yes. phone call, is the confusion is over in your life. No. You understand how to answer the phones now. And, and Howard, uh, you know. So I'm going to say you understand the policy. Uh, if you, I mean, I'm sure Gary, Gary will back me up in this. No need to back oh, no. up. Can John we come get back? a lot of uh, oh, no. Hold stock on. brokers who call us, Gary, and, and you, know, you and I both usually blow them off. Uh, oh, I always blow you them know, off. So it's, it, 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 it has changed. I see. Way. Good. Okay. All right. Now you are my trained monkey. And I like it. I like that you understand the policy. You're what they call a valued employee. That's what you are. You're a valued employee now. <laughs> now you're someone to hold on to. 
And even though you were fired, I think if you can follow this policy, I would like to offer you your job back mm. if you would like to take it. Would you like your job back? Think about it now. Think uh, about it. Yeah, I think so. I, I, don't, I, 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 I wasn't really planning on leaving. Oh, oh. Okay. There was no way <laughs> to get you out of it. those situations. Thank you for understanding the new policy, as twisted as it is, as you say. And please go back to your desk and now follow the policy. Thank you. Can we get, get to a commercial so I can s s see if this is a bit? <laughs> this is not a bit. I'm, I'm informing you that it's not. Uh, is it okay to ask for free vodka? <laughs> no, it's not. It's good that you, you're doing the impression, Fred, because this will help him understand by giving oh, various yeah, yeah. examples. It's like a puppet okay. show at the right. school. Okay. Right. John, you can leave now. Thank, right. you. thank you. And please get back to the phones. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, John, go ahead. You're on the air. Yes. Howard, Robin. Yeah. Hi. Mm -hmm. How are you? Nice to meet nice you. Nice to talk to you. I, I want to understand. I don't understand why. All of a sudden, you got this demigod attitude, and uh, that's going to make your whole world crumble. I mean, you didn't yell at Jackie so much when he was getting the script signed by... Uh, Everybody leaving the show. John gets on. He does one thing, and you rip my pot. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, I, think I, I did. Out I think worse. I think I yelled at John, uh, to Jackie, very much. So listen, I'm going to tell you something. What are you going to tell me? Uh, you, you, know, know, you sound like you're in business. You're in the truck business. I take it. So, yeah. Is that what you're in? Yes, I am. Do you run a business. Contracting. All right. Do you run the business, or are no. you are you a worker? No, I actually run my own business. Yes. You run Contracting your own company. You run your own business. Yes. All right. And you know, when you run your own business, you got guys who take advantage of a situation. Sure, they do. So, we, what either you get? Listen, I could be really, uh, I could be uh, less compassionate and fire the guy. You just get rid of him, or I could, or I could give him a warning and make it serious so that he understands that I mean business. Yes, I understand. I got a that, bunch of I got a bunch of yo-yo heads working here who can't figure out how to conduct their lives. Do you think it's that, or do you think that you like actually have a control problem, or you want to control everything no, they do? No, I don't do. want to control everything they do. I want to control how my audience is treated. you got to understand something. I don't schnur off my audience. And I don't the, need my guy the, schnurring. The thing that people don't realize is those calls used to come for you. Right. Direct and toward you. That's right. right. And then when they can't get to Howard, it fans out. And right. other people get talked to. They're looking for access. you got to understand something. I like John. He's a nice kid. But yeah. unfortunately, he, he could never work anywhere else because he's not professional. He doesn't understand how to deal with the public. You know, okay. this show is very loosey-goosey, and you you got a and maniac. So John hears somebody calling for him. Oh, it's not a call about Howard. It's a right. call for me. Yeah, he doesn't understand that, he doesn't understand that it's my call. Well, and, that I don't take, and that my policy is not to schnur off the audience. Okay, well, Morning, though. You are very high up on the key there. Somebody's going to knock you over. It's going to be somebody from your own kind. It's going to be somebody close to you. Well, I don't care. I this is not Julius. I'm not Julius Caesar. I'm nice. just running a radio show, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Hey, you hey, worry. Yeah, Maybe you're in business. Maybe on. you're in business like that. I'm not. Yeah. People knocking. Oh, here's Stuttering John has to say yeah. something. What do you want to say? Uh, Let me hear, genius. It, no, it doesn't matter. Go, good. You have nothing to say? Nah, I just... No. Say it. No. What? You know it's impossible for you not to say it. Say it. Well, no, I just... Uh, you know, Robin says a lot of things, but, you know, uh, it's just amazing because, you know, this, the same person's gotten you tickets. Right. So Absolutely. if you accept the tickets, but they come you're through okay. you. Oh, but that's... They come through oh, you. You know, it's just... It's such a hypocrisy. You started that, all, and then it's like, John, oh, there are tickets again, here. John, you don't see the difference. Oh, so Robin can get tickets? No. You come in and say, I got tickets to the Yankee game. She doesn't no, know I how you get that. She asked less. me and said, she asked right. me. I, she doesn't know how you got the phone. Listen, John. Do you no, answer no, 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 the no, no, phones? No, 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 no. All right. Do you Never answer have. the phones? You do you have, answer? Robin? John, again, what? you're what? off base. I really got to get rid of you. You don't get All the right. difference. If Robin comes to you and says she wants Yankee tickets? Yeah. So you job no, to get her Yankee no. tickets. If you Here's know someone, fine. How it goes, Robin. I know you like the Knicks. Right. I have a friend who can get he you tickets. He says he'd love to have you. Right. I guess. Why do you think that friend is doing so much for John and everyone else? So then she's not wrong for taking. No, oh, not okay. at all. All right. She doesn't know that you're wheeling and dealing on the phone. Well, she doesn't know. know. We're, listen to me. Yeah. If you don't wheel and deal, then yeah. you don't have the tickets. You're no, my problem. No, You're the no, source. It's a friend of mine. Uh, here he I go tickets, again. And he said... <laughs> he is a friend of yours from yeah. your wheeling and dealing. But I'm just saying... I don't want you, you know, wheeling and dealing, or I can't have you answer the phone, and there's really nothing else for you to do here. Yeah, okay. I trust you with the phone, but yeah, you got to understand I'm, my know, wishes. Like I said, you know, this is an old friend. 
It's been a long John, time. you're taking up my whole show. It's not an old friend. There it is. Uh, no, I'm no, saying that. It's I'm, not an old I'm friend. I'm saying that if, if a stockbroker called, no, don't worry. I'm not going to. Uh, I know how your friends are. I know how you meet your friends. I know the difference. Okay. You meet somebody walking on the beach, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. This is not your friends. Oh, yeah. Okay. My phone callers are not your friends. Do you understand? Uh, I don't agree. But right. I don't want you visiting my phone callers. I don't right. want you wheeling and dealing with my phone calls. When they bring up a business proposition and tickets, I want you to say, this is not my area. Right. I don't do this. I just answer the phone. What do you want to talk to Howard about? That's it. If they have nothing else to say, hang up the phone. That's it. I don't want any... I don't want any well, guy calls deviation. For an appearance. I'm, just, I'm just curious. If a guy calls booking for an appearance. I'm, if a guy calls up know, and wants to make an appearance, you know I've okayed say, that. Yeah. You know I've okayed that for you. Yeah. Right. We've discussed your okay. appearances. And there are parameters on your appearances. Yeah. All right. Now you can leave. Come on. Get with it. Don't, no, no, don't bring no. up everything that I talk about with you. No, no. You, this is a different conversation. But, all right, so just the last question I'll go. So, so if a guy calls me from, from a brokerage firm. <laughs> right. Still trying to no, get no, no, I'm just curious. Guy says, calls you from a brokerage firm. And says, hey, uh, I have an IPO. That, right. So what do you do? I say no. Right. Goodbye. Okay. Now okay. you can leave. Now you got your marching order. Right. That's it. Thank you. IPO. I got IPO. IPO. Go hire a stockbroker and let him give you an IPO. Let him give you 20 IPOs. If a guy calls up and says, he wants to give me $50,000, do I have to say no? That's what these guys do. They call up and they give John $50,000. Why? Because of what? He's so funny. <laughs> like, I would know he would have Yankees tickets or right. Knicks tickets. He doesn't get it. He didn't tell me. All right, listen. This is silly. <laughs> this whole discussion is silly. See what I go through? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, John, go ahead. Uh, hey, what's going on, Howard? Good morning, Robin, everybody. Hi. So, um... Howard, what if it was uh, Sal, the stockbroker, that called up John? I mean, would that be a different story? Or? Uh, listen, do I have to spell it out any further? No, no. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. John, if Sal, the stockbroker, wants to talk to me, that's fine. All right. That's he can cool. talk to me. What about um? What about if uh, John would just keep his mm, traps shut? Right. I mean, that's, you know? that's the issue. Okay. Thank you. All right, bye. That's all. <laughs> yeah, hi, Gary. Hey, Howard. How are you? I swear to God, I love you dearly, but Thank you're you. bagging on John way too badly. Okay, well, the that's that's my prerogative. Well, hold on, but give me a chance. The guy takes care of your back every time people call who are full of garbage. Oh, he and, does, huh? Yeah, he actually he does. Mm -hmm. A lot of friends call right. and lie about stuff. That's his job to answer the phone. Yeah, but he, he screens them well. I don't say he doesn't do it well. What is? It? I'm not sitting and questioning his job. I, I question his extra. Well, I question this extracurricular activity. He's not greedy. You just you know. He's, no, he's he is inappropriate. He I'll feels go. he's entitled. He's I'll not. Go. I'm not going to go entitled. through this again with you. I told you he's not. My audience is not there for John's use. Well, I'm not. I'm protective of my audience more than I am of John. Yeah, but John, you know what? He ain't a bad guy. <laughs> All right, get out of here, you, no, you no, no, freak. You shut up, man. No, you shut up. No, you shut Watch up. Watch how man. easily I make you shut up. You ready? Yeah, I know. Go ahead, start talking. Uh, blah. Good, goodbye. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Give me the a break. The problem is John's putting all these calls through. I know. Another <laughs> one. Yeah, go ahead, uh, Fred. Yeah. Yeah. Howard, you know, I, I love you too, for Thank sure, you. but uh, I think you're being a little bit unreasonable Okay, here. whatever. Okay, okay, well, tell me, tell me, how did you meet Lonnie, and, and what about your deal when you go down to scores, okay? What, tell me about that. Yeah, I do that I do that through my auspices, and that's what I decide to take advantage of. I don't oh, need so John okay to... okay for you. Right, it is okay for me. It's my show. Okay, well, what about, what about like, the things you get, like... I don't need John wheeling and dealing in private, using my audience, and you know he's going to end up in trouble from it, and well, I'll be blamed. I don't want... I don't, if I don't know what he's doing, I know what I'm doing. I don't know what he's doing. That's the problem. It, well, it's only obvious that it's not blatant. I mean, if it was blatant, you would know it. It is blatant. Um, you don't know anything about it. You don't oh, know the run-ins I've had with him. Oh, well, I, could, I could tell what's going on here. You, but he met the guy. It wasn't the guy that he met. Uh, not a guy that uh, you know what? I'm not going to explain myself anymore on this. This is well, it. Geez. I don't have to explain myself to you. Well, I mean, so. But, but I know who John is, and I know what he. I know what he does. That's it. Discussion well, he's over. Obviously, not blatantly doing this stuff. Or he's you don't even know what he's doing. How do you know well, what he's he, doing? He'd be getting a lot more than just what you know what he gets out of it. I mean, he could he, what the people that the people that call into your show. He could get tons of stuff. Yeah. So how do you know he's not? Well, you because you would know. 
Right. I that, would know. So I know would about have, it. That's what I'm you telling you. You agree? I, I, look, I'm not going to discuss this. How does he know what you haven't stopped already? Right. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't know what's going on back there. Why don't we just have everybody answer the phones, which they do, and, and wheel and deal? <laughs> pretty, pretty soon the whole audience could be involved. Just trying to keep things real, that's all. Professional. We have a series that we do here on Howard 101, where every once in a while, one of our staff members decides to play music. He plays his favorites, talks about how music influenced him. Uh, Fred did the first one. It was fabulous. And Gary did the act. Gary did one. I, you know, we learned about his jukebox and all kinds of excitement. And uh, J.D. was supposed to go next, except Scott the Engineer started uh, begging Tim Sabian to do the next one. Oh, really? Yeah, I think Scott the Engineer thinks he's like a bit of a musician and, a, you know, he played the drums when he was a kid. And, yes. And I think he sees himself as like an FM DJ or something. I don't know what he sees him because he worked at WPLJ years ago. Uh -huh. So anyway, tonight on Howard 101, it'll be Scott the Engineer. Uh, I've heard three clips from it. And I, I dare I say it's completely ridiculous. Let me hear. You're going to play as a preview? Well, first of all, he's he's obviously scripted himself. Like you so he's reading. Yeah, instead of just going, hey, here's a song I really like, which would be kind of interesting. Cool. He's, he's prepared <laughs> a, a document. And then he went, and, and by the way, this also shows you he can do production when he wants to because... He was really excited about oh, this. Oh, he completely like produced this thing. And edited it up like like nobody else's special. <laughs> so like it makes me even wonder about him more because it's like, well, why didn't you do this on the other specials? But here he is, Scott the Engineer, a little preview. Jumping ahead a couple of years, I decided I wanted to play the drums. And somehow I convinced, so fascinating. convinced my parents to buy me a set. Which, when I think back, was absolutely crazy because we lived in a small garden apartment. We lived in a small garden apartment. Jumping ahead a couple of years, what are we what are we doing here? Oh, well, we're going through his whole history of music. He's giving you his. He's yeah. doing the like chronology. a life of yes. Scott through music. Scott through music. Uh, now jumping ahead <laughs> in my saga, <laughs> my parents decided that I could get a drum set. How about we jump ahead sixty years so we're done with this special? <laughs> Because we lived in a garden apartment. Is he the biggest bore on the planet or what? <laughs> he really is. I love him, but he is a bore. <laughs> Let's start again. Let's bore ourselves to Jumping death. Jumping ahead a couple of years, I decided I wanted to play the drums. And somehow hmm. I convinced my parents to buy me a set. Which, when I think back, was absolutely crazy because we lived in a small garden apartment on the second floor. And the only place I could play them was in the middle of the living room. It must have driven them and the neighbors nuts, but they put up with it. So at age 14, I started my first band with some of my friends I grew up with. And one of the first songs we learned was Gloria. Oh, it's just, it's ridiculous. That's not the idea of the special. I just want the guys on there playing their favorite tune. This is music I like that means something <laughs> right. to me, is the right. idea of the special. Right. You scripted this thing. You say, it's, it, you're doing it like um, one of those rock specials from, from the 80s. What? Yeah, it's, a, it's supposed to be stories about your, your the music yeah, but you just like. Just get so, on there. Go, hey, you know, hey, this is Scott the engineer. First of all, I didn't beg Tim Sabian. I asked. I heard. Uh, I asked. That's all. Once. Okay. Can I do Can I do playlists? Second of all, I didn't produce the other ones. Who did? Uh, Steve Brandano. Well, he should have produced this one. Okay. You're well, overly produced here. Well, all right. Well, that, that's fine. Um, if you, I, like the, I like when you talk. Hey, you know. Uh, I needed to write it down because it, I didn't like the way it sounded when well, I was... Well, of course you didn't. What you, did, what, you didn't like the way it sounded when? When? When didn't you like the way it sounded? Well, I, I did some takes and, you know, trying to just be off the cuff, <laughs> and I didn't like it, so... Because it sounded like you. Yeah, I guess. See, yeah. you shouldn't have been the judge. Well, no, I gave it to them yeah. for their approval, to Tim and to Steve, uh -huh. and then what well, they, they did with it after... I said, here, here it is. You do what you want with it. This is what I did. If they could have just said, do it over. We don't yeah, like it. They sh you should do it over. Well. I mean, this is so ridiculous. Now back to the greatest special ever made. <laughs> Welcome back to Playlist. I'm Scott the Engineer. I've already told you about my first band on WABC Radio, but we didn't last very long, and I moved on to another band. And by the way, you know what else is annoying service. me? I've never seen you care this much about anything. I care about everything I do. Yeah, but no, you're way more caring about this. 
Like you're, this is your masterpiece. I've already told you about my first band. You know, I told you about my first band. <laughs> I told and you now, about my living room and my first band. I say no one will listen to this. <laughs> well, that's, I mean. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Because it's not you, Scott. It's just stories about the music that. Yeah, you get on uh, there. Here's a story I'll tell you. You know what? You're not going to believe this one about Black Sabbath. Uh, what do you, and now I will tell you. I had you, a band. Uh, can you believe my parents wanted me to play the drums in their living room? <laughs> I mean, that's not you. We know you. You're not fooling anybody. The first song we learned was Gloria. G L O R I A. <laughs> Shout it out loud. I've already told you about my first band on WABC Radio, <laughs> but we didn't last very long, and I moved on to another band. No. And believe it or not, we called ourselves Black Sabbath. Uh -huh. That's right. I'm not kidding. And I'm then a few kidding. months later, we find out there's a band from England called Black, Black Sabbath. Sabbath. <laughs> well, I think they became a little more popular than us. Did you ever realize that? One he of the had guys, the same name. One of the guys in your band heard of Black Sabbath and then well, just ripped no, they, off the name. They, he said. Well, you no. think that was a? Co he said no. What? You're no. You're never going to be a detective. He didn't I was come, eighteen friend, years old. Your friend didn't 17. come up with Black right. Sabbath. He said he, he heard did. of Black Sabbath and said, "Fuck it, no one's ever heard of this band. We'll be Black Sabbath." Did you know my father's name was originally Elvis Presley, and then he found <laughs> out there was an Elvis Presley? How'd you find out? <laughs> so here's the group that stole my band's name. This is The Wizard by the second Black Sabbath. Wow. Who stole? Stole my band's name? Stole. What? Say it again. Stole my band's name. Bad English. A bad English. It's atrocious. Good. <laughs> Here is the band that stole my name. They confiscated it. <laughs> yeah. And you wrote this out, no less. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? So you'd have been better off just talking. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, he wrote down the band that stole my name. <laughs> they stole your name. Stole. S stole. Not stole. I probably you don't wrote, put a D on I the end I probably wrote that. stole and... Yeah, yeah, right. Probably somebody screwed you up. Then we formed a band named The Beatles after Black Sabbath, and then they stole that, too. <laughs> and then we became Amazing. Led Zeppelin, and two weeks yeah. later, well, you get the idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Scott that we want is the one that, you know, would introduce Hands Up. They, they, you got you know, plenty of that. Instead, we got you to... And now, Black Sabbath, the band that stole my name. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. You know what? Maybe I will listen to this. <laughs> I'm having a good time. See? <laughs> it's entertaining in some way. Welcome back to Playlist. Oh. I'm Scott the Engineer. Oh. The 60s was a very turbulent period in American history. Oh, the civil my God. Rights Who wrote movement that? Was... Uh, when do you use the word turbulent? I wrote it. Well, I'm, I'm describing you what... Wrote, you copied this I off... I didn't copy it out from anything. It. The 60s was a turbulent period? It wasn't. No, it is, <laughs> but, but you don't talk that way. Well... Uh, the I 60s wrote it. was I wrote a it all. supercalifragilisticexpialidocious period of my life. <laughs> wow. The 60s were turbulent. <laughs> Would you believe this? All right. The 60s was fucked up. What do you, I mean, what I mean do you this is the same say? guy who said stole in the last yeah, thing. Yeah, stole. The civil rights movement was going strong, and the country got involved in what most people thought. And I was sitting in my parents' house. Uh, doing nothing. Playing drums, annoying the neighbors. Thought was a senseless war, which led up to huge protests at the 1968... What is this, a history lesson? Yes. 68 Democratic National Convention. Uh, which I wasn't the a part of. The whole world's watching. The whole world's watching, world's watching TV, watching. like everyone else. Like everyone else, I sat in my living room and did nothing about the war. Watching my hair fall out. Someone asked me to protest, but I was busy. What are we leading up to here? Uh, we're getting to bowling. a very dramatic moment. <laughs> bowling. <laughs> Let's cut to bowling. the chase. Let's get the bowling. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what song this is going to. Uh, a teenager who was approaching my 18th birthday. Hmm, I could have ended up a more. Can you imagine the world without Scott the Engineer? My number was coming up. <laughs> Me, bald, covered in napalm. <laughs> do you do anything about the moon landing? Do, do we get to that at some point? No, there was no moon songs. Mm -hmm. Meant I would probably be drafted into the army. What a loss. Which was something I really didn't want to do. There were many protest songs at the time, but after hearing this on the radio, I thought it really captured how I and a lot of other people were feeling. 
The group was Earth Any Opera. hair loss songs? Also at 18, my hair was starting to fall out of my head. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a song called Hair. <laughs> and how I don't have any. <laughs> hair, not. Hair, not. Hair today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and the song is The Great American Eagle Tragedy. Ooh. The Great American Eagle Tragedy. Who does that? Earth Opera. Oh, oh, this he's is so a, obscure. Oh, and look at the look at the big smile on his face, yes. Robin. It was played a lot. It was, I listened, I'm going to play Great listen. American Eagle Tragedy, Earth Opera. I listened to FM hey. music on NEW in New York. It was played a lot. <laughs> this is what you're supposed to say. Right. Not about... It was a turbulent period in our history. It sounds like a fucking history lesson. Say, you know what, man? I used to listen to NEW radio, and I used to hear this song a lot. You know, and it came out right about the time I, you know, my draft number was whatever, and you know, I real was stuff. shitting a brick, <laughs> literally a giant brick. Here's a picture it of it. Out of my ass. Yeah. <laughs> right after they stole my identity. <laughs> 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 Only Scott could fuck up playing music. This is the worst of Scott. I don't believe this. Okay. You don't well. say turbulent. <laughs> it's ridiculous. What, does every show around here have to be run by me? Huh? This is going to be... What time is this on tonight? Seven. All right, I'm making an appointment. Gary, Absolutely. email yeah, I me. I remember that. I'm going to set hey. an alarm. I'm not missing this. How long does it go on for? It's an hour. An hour? Yeah. Be the longest hour of my life. <laughs> Put the CD in your bag. What is that song, Scott? The Great American Eagle Tragedy? Yeah. Do I know that song? Fred, play that song. We don't have it here. Oh, it's so obscure. That's what I'm saying. He's so now obscure. giving you music no one is, knows. Right. Tonight, not only won't people... Well, that's the idea. That's, yeah. that's what mean, I'm uh, supposed to do. I know what the idea is. That wasn't it. That was uh, uh, Well, you know, Robin, no one's going to want to hear me, and then I'm going to play a song no one wants to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get everyone off the channels. Uh, you'll see. <laughs> yeah. I'm running everyone away. This is Scott bragging that he knows a very obscure song. No, That's right. Not at all. He's oh, yeah. a real musician. I'm a musicologist, not like Fred, a wannabe poser. I, <laughs> Everybody was waiting for We thought the song for sure was going to be like Ohio. Right. What right. It's worth. No, 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 no. That would be you. That's too predictable. <laughs> I got to hear this song. Come on. Is it there? Uh, Gary, it's we're talking there. about a very yeah. turbulent time in our history. Me, it's a ten... <laughs> It's a ten minutes song. Hmm. This song spoke to me. This special just reminds me why I never want to talk to Scott. <laughs> <laughs> this song spoke to Scott and you don't want to talk to him. I was actually thinking of hanging around with Scott, but this special <laughs> reminded me not to. <laughs> uh, did I ever tell you the time my band was called Black Sabbath? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to dinner and discuss it. The story was annoying then and it's annoying now. Uh, which would you rather hear about when my parents got me my first drum kit? Which my was very fan. surprising because we lived in an apartment... Or would you rather hear about the Great American Eagle tragedy? <laughs> <laughs> What's the band? Earth Harp? Earth, Earth Opera. Earth Opera. Earth Opera. What oh. else did they do, Scott? No, Nothing really. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't they didn't play that. This. <laughs> now I'd like to talk to you about a song I really love. It's a Czechoslovakian song, <laughs> so you've never heard of it. It was only played in one village, and they only played it once, in reverse. Right after they chased Frankenstein out of the village, they played this in celebration. The villagers were very angry. It was a turbulent time in the village. Yes, in fact, Frankenstein had stole one of the children from the village. And the villagers were enraged. <laughs> oh, there's another word. Hey, Frankenstein. And here it is, Czechoslovakian Frankenstein music. Uh, for your listening five. Play. Yes. The times they were a changing. <laughs> yes, my hair was thinning, and the music scene was rapidly becoming cooler and cooler. <laughs> At this point, I had about five strands. And <laughs> <laughs> <Hey. laughs> I wrapped around my head. The whole special should have been like in relation to how many hairs he had on his head. <laughs> Crosby, Stills, and Nash had long, luxurious hair, and I had the opposite. I was down to 200. <laughs> 200 hairs, like a thread count. I told everybody I was a Mohegan. <laughs> but they weren't buying it. <laughs> Women were rejecting me left and right. I even did a war dance. My first wife left me right about now. My ego was destroyed. No hair, no house, no wife. She took no my wife. hair and my earth opera. <laughs> <laughs> She took everything but my hair. <laughs> oh, my God. What a special. 
Well, I can't wait it to hear special. it. It is special. It is special. You're right. <laughs> I'll give you that. But we can't wait for it. Good. Yeah. Thank you for doing it. You're welcome. Yeah. Is there another song, at least? I think Scott had visions that was going to lead to him like doing voiceover for some music specials. Right, yeah. No this vision. is a show Nothing. he's planning to do in the future. The year was 1972. Munich. Athletes were being slaughtered. Here's Earth, Wind, and Fire. Let's groove. <laughs> They're gone. They're all gone. No, it's got to be somebody you've never heard of. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> it was maddening. At this point, I was up to three packs a day and had one strand of hair. <laughs> I was a real mess. E. Here's, here's, here's my time has come today. <laughs> <laughs> the, band was ins- <laughs> the band was inspired when they heard my coughing on the street one day. That's right. It was right around the release of Joshua Tree that my soul died. (laughs) Feeling alone in the world. No hair. No love. Bad luck. My final hair had fallen out of my head. Hard luck and trouble, my only friend. (laughs) I've been down ever since I was ten. Kiss Bono. (laughs) Kiss Cream, born under a bad sign. If it wasn't for bad luck, (laughs) I wouldn't have no luck at all. (laughs) Could have been a great special. No, instead we got this. Welcome back to Playlist. I'm Scott the Engineer. I've already told you about my first band on WABC Radio, but we didn't last very what long, and I moved on to... I've already told you about... Mm-hmm. Up-tempo, Scott. Happy, Aren't Scott. are you people paying attention? Where are we in my life story? Let's jump ahead a few years. Yeah, no surprises here. Yeah. Oh, can't wait for the special. Where are you going to be during the special, Robin? I'm going to be uh, sitting by Hiding. the fireplace. <laughs> it's going to be one listening intently. It's going to be one of those specials where people go, "Where were you when you first heard the Scott the Engineer <laughs> music special?" <laughs> well, uh, thank you for putting that together. I do appreciate it. You're and welcome. I'm sure we'll have a few good uh, I times. I think I'll for have that. dinner with yeah, Scott. I'll give you plenty yeah. of uh, material. Yeah, but a lot of people are going to be doing that. They're going to be having dinner parties around Scott's uh, special. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, uh, to end the show. <laughs> What do you end the show with? Really want me to give it away? Oh, maybe you don't. Uh, hey, all right, you're right. You're right. Yeah, leave us with right. a cliffhanger. There's, there's so much more that I will tell you the group I end it with. Okay. You probably never heard of them. Go ahead. Probably the, never heard of any so. of this music, right? Right. The Vagrants. Of course, I heard the Vagrants. Oh, of course Leslie everybody's West. heard of the Vagrants. Oh, you're making a joke. No, no, it's the Vagrants. <laughs> no, I didn't. Who they, hasn't heard of the Vagrants? A lot of people haven't heard of the Vagrants. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, they're no Great American Eagle tragedy, but. No. I mean, they were, <laughs> the Vagrants were Leslie West's first band. Yeah. What was their hit song? Respect was actually their the cover of Respect. Right. Which I get none. But I you're not playing that. I didn't like. play that one. No, of course not. <laughs> I, I played, that might have actually interested some people. <laughs> I played yeah. And When It's Over. I see. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Get it? Get it? And, because and the, the show is over. And <laughs> you're right. Special. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think that will not be lost on anyone. <laughs> It will be a turbulent moment. On what is this? Show. Scott plays the full 11-minute version of the Great American Eagle tragedy no. in the special. Of course, because this was a very important. Ten minutes. Yeah. Not 11. Uh, it'll enjoy it. You take I a cut shit a, there. I cut it. a little off in the beginning. It's about nine minutes. Yeah, I, I cut it down <laughs> a little to keep it people... It spoke to me and everyone. Maybe one person will stay tuned and we'll see if we can get rid of everybody during that song. This is a song nobody knows, but Scott mm. says... It it summed up what he was feeling and a lot of other people too. And yeah, it's eleven minutes long. It summed up for no one because <laughs> okay. nobody cared about it. Good. All right. Thank you, Scott. You're welcome. All right. There he is, Scott the engineer. If you're wondering what he's been up to, uh, now you know. It'll be interesting mm. to hear the music that has influenced yes. Scott the engineer. Uh-
Good evening. Welcome to Bryant's. Oh, my God, are you all right? Ow, 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 boy. God, that floor is slippery. Speaking of bad reviews, you know who got a really bad review? Stuttering John. Well, what? Entertainment Weekly. Yes, this uh, month. <laughs> called John Loser of the Week. For? For his appearance on Wings. Oh, no. Yeah. Have you seen that? Well, John appeared on Wings. I haven't seen it yet. John appeared on Wings, and it... Serious things always turn into a fiasco. Let me let me explain myself. Good evening, stuttering John fans. Today we're going to review John's performance on Wings. We're going to hear Howard's reaction to his performance. Apparently Howard turned down the chance to appear on Wings. So then Wings hired John in order to get the promotion. And John claims that Wings even offered to pay money for advertisement and Howard wouldn't even read the paid advertisement, which is, which is a bit weird, but I get where Howard's coming from in the whole situation. So first we're going to see John on Wings. We're going to hear the Wings review and then we're going to hear, and perhaps Shuli just never listened to this episode, Howard's disdain for his staff members forming some form of group, relating it to the show and traveling around the country making money off of Howard's name when he does not want it. So first we're going to see John enter. This is a series Wings. It was set, I believe, in the Northeast at a at an airline terminal. Apparently they changed this building into a club. And this is the first night of the club. And in walks the first patron of this new hip club. What's the word, Mr. B? All right, Antonio. Send in the first customer. Good evening. Welcome to Bryant. Oh, my God, are you all right? Ow, 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 boy. God, that floor is slippery. Oh, ow. can I help you out? No, 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 no. I, I think you better call a doctor. Ow, ow. I think we better call the insurance company too. I don't think we. So we see John enter the club and fall. It looks like a stunt double did the fall. I never asked John actually if if that was his his work or not, but apparently John's playing the role of a loser that got into the club first. We can't call the insurance company. Why not? Ryan doesn't have one. Ow! 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 <laughs> Do you know? I told you to buy. So we take it up now where the character John's playing lives with his mom as a loser, still in his childhood room. He's he's reading a mad magazine. I'm not sure if that's going to be the mad magazine for which Howard was on the cover, but we know at some point Howard was on the cover. Perhaps that's a little Easter egg to the Howard Stern show. And we'll see that life sometimes imitates art come in oh wow <laughs> hi mr moorhead we're the people I that know own the... you're the folks who own the club my mom told me you were coming oh yeah we met her downstairs what a lovely lady keep that door open up there ralphie no monkey business <laughs> leave me alone i got friends over so John is playing a character that screams at his mom while John's living in his mom's house. Ma, I could hear me, Ma. I could, oh, oh, could you oh, could you go downstairs <laughs> maybe and watch or something or upstairs? In her house? Yeah, yeah, right. I could still hear myself, Mom. <laughs> please go upstairs or downstairs, sweetheart, please. Okay, I will. Mexicali, Maggie, uh, William what a Zavallo. piece of shit. <laughs> right Alfie. we we are your friends at least we'd like to be yeah. hey i see you have a view master i love these things may i <laughs> what's going on up there Alfie? what did i tell you about monkey business there's nothing going on shut up <laughs> Not 
not sure what could be in the Viewmaster. Perhaps they had even porn in Viewmasters. I don't know. I've never seen that before, besides the typical things. Albie, how, how are you feeling? Because you look just really good. I'm a little sore. Doctor says I hurt my, well, you know, my, my fanny. <laughs> Your fanny? Yeah, you know, my hiney. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I don't blame you for being mad at me. Mad at you? No, no. Uh, I, I... uh, Albie, go on. Well, I've never been to a club before. I only gave the doorman money because I saw someone do it in a movie once. Then I get in, and of course, I'm so clumsy, I fall down and cause a big scene. Uh, Albie. Albie. Don't be so hard on yourself. You you think you're the only guy who ever fell on his tushy? you. If I come up there and that door is not open, stop bothering us. I hate you. I hate you. Doesn't even seem like John's acting there. Perhaps this has happened in his real life. And also the use of the mom screaming out of scene. It reminds me of the Uncle Rico show and Big Bang Theory. I'm trying to form the connection. I really, I'll figure it out later. I don't know, maybe I can articulate what I'm really speaking about. You're nice. Thanks. Excuse us. One minute, please. I think I know how to make this whole thing. So basically they're trying to get John to sign a legal waiver that he won't sue for falling at the club because the club doesn't have insurance. We could probably fast forward through this part. No way. Really? How? Sleep with him. <laughs> what? Come on. Just be three minutes tops, trust me. Meanwhile, I'll be downstairs diverting the Gorgon. What's going on? Are you guys having secrets? Oh, 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 no. oh, no, you know, we were just thinking we would like to do something for you. I have a girl, see you downstairs. Get back here. What the hell was that? <laughs> Alvin, was that a spaceship? Are you nuts? Are you crazy? Leave us alone, you lunatic! <laughs> Anyways, Albie, um, we were thinking that we would like to pay all your medical bills until the doctor fixes your hiney. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd like to give you a lifetime pass to Brian's. See, that way, anytime you'd want to come and party with the coolest people on the island, well, you'll just be our guest. Come on. Me with all those groovy people and girls and stuff? No way! It's true. <laughs> and all you have to do for us is sign a little piece of paper. It's called a liability waiver, which says that you don't hold us responsible for your... Uh, <laughs> and then just pull up a bar stool and join the jamboree, okay? Okay. Thanks. You're welcome, Albie. <laughs> is it okay if we uh, come right back with the papers? Sure, I'll sign anything you want. I just have to run up by my mother first. <laughs> oh, I still can't believe it. Packed every night. Ah, we were right. This place is a money machine. <laughs> Albie! Albie, over here! Please, Albie! Albie! Sorry, kids. Uh, not tonight. <laughs> Let's see if John's in the credits. Now remember, if anybody asks, we didn't go anywhere, we didn't see anything. I'm not saying a word. Good, because they wouldn't believe us in. 
And then you have John's performance. It was obviously a huge deal. He was on a network television show. Uh, obviously Howard was not willing to promote it at all, but the fans of the show Wings obviously saw John. And John, it wasn't a bit piece. He had a lot of scenes. He had a lot of lines. So let's hear how Howard's going to react knowing that Howard would not read any of the live ads about Wings. Let's hear what Howard has to say about John being on Wings. Speaking of bad reviews, you know who got a really bad review? Stuttering John. Well, what? Entertainment Weekly this month, this week. <laughs> I should say this month. Of course, the weekly. Entertainment Weekly. Yes, this uh, month. <laughs> called John Loser of the Week. For? For his appearance on Wings. Oh, no. Yeah. Have you seen that? Well, John appeared on Wings. I haven't seen it yet. John appeared on Wings, and it... <laughs> Serious things always turn into a fiasco. Let me Let me explain myself. What happens is Wings and all these other shows every week call me to be on these shows. Uh -huh. They ask if I'll do it. And they're always shocked that I won't do it. Yeah. They always think that, like, I sit around here desperate, like a Mark and Brian or something, hoping to get on. Right. These you know, jockeys usually don't turn anything on. Yeah, up. like I'm like the grease man or something, and I need to, you know, get on one of these shows that is bombing. Mm -hmm. Evidently, Wings is bombing. Mm -hmm. It's not going over big this season. I don't know what happened, but... Maybe they changed its time or something? Yeah, probably you had it used to have a good lead in, and now it doesn't, so it's... Reminiscent of my favorite Wack Packer, Eric the Actor, who appeared on various TV shows, all of which were either canceled or it was their last season. It's on its own and it's bombing. So uh, they call me. I'm telling you, I get a call from every one of these sitcoms. You name the sitcom, I've gotten a call from them. They all want me to be on. Mm -hmm. Especially the ones that are sort of in the middle of the ratings. I was going to say, I don't think you've gotten a call from Living Single. Uh, yeah. Sure I have. Absolutely, I have. have you? Yeah. <laughs> News radio, you name them, all of them. Uh, wings. This recording was off of an FM radio. That's why you can hear a little bit of static in the background. You don't even know what Living Single is. Yeah, the Jonathan uh, Silver no, guy. No, 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 that's not it. That's the single guy. Oh, oh, sorry. I don't know what Living Single is. <laughs> that's the one with Queen Latifah and all the. And, um... Oh, no, no. Not that, not the black shows. Right, that's what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, no, the blacks are very uptight about it. <laughs> they got to make those shows all black. They don't call you. Yeah, can't be on a black show. <laughs> like you did Fresh Prince of Bel Air, I can't do that. You can't do that. Yeah, I can't do the black shows. I'm not black. I'm only half black. So uh, I get calls from the white shows. I see. So the WB is not calling. No. <laughs> WB is uh, black people's cable. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You don't get calls from them. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm sitting there. Hey, John, grab a mic. It's so, bizarre. so I get calls. What's well, bizarre? That I'm so far away from you. I know it is weird. <laughs> we got to get used to this studio. Anyway, so I get all these calls every week from all these goddamn shows. Yes. And my agent says, "No, we're not interested." The only show like that I've ever done was the Gary Shandling show. My book was coming out, and I was doing publicity. And I suppose I'll be doing some of these shows now that my movie's coming out. I'm, mm -hmm. you know, because. When the movie comes out, I'll be all over the place. You'll be cameoing everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Get your calls in. Yeah, I mean, I'll have to promote. I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll whore myself out. <laughs> and I'll whore my audience, because my audience will watch these shows. So, and uh, I'm not interested. I don't see why I would be on these shows. I don't, there's no thrill in it. So, what, so I can act in these shows? I'd rather act in my own film. i got to act in some goddamn sitcom. So then the next step is they call Robin. No, they don't. Sometimes. <laughs> I get very few calls. And Robin turns most of them down anyway. <laughs> So what they did Robin did appear on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air was a little bit seen, but it's still good. Decided to do is they say she whiz, she whiz. She's I wish. Yeah, she whiz. <laughs> they go, how am I going to get Howard Stern to talk about wings? We'll hire Stuttering John or Gary or somebody. Mm -hmm. We'll get someone from the show. Mm -hmm. Jackie, 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 well. Jackie gets some of that too, but Jackie's uh, they don't call you because they saw you on that one you did. <laughs> I do audition for this role, Howard. Yeah, all right. Well, they called me about it for the role anyway. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't have to audition. I had to audition. Yeah, well, you because you started... The audition is just a farce. Obviously, they would take anyone from the Howard Stern show to try and get some promotion. And also, Jackie was on Watchers with Gilbert Gottfried. It was actually a pretty good episode. The name of the series was Watchers. John. So, uh, you had an audition, but notice you got the part. You don't think there's better actors out there than you? The writer said that they never laugh at an audition tape, and this was the really? first they ever laughed at. All right. Okay. <laughs> you, you, Many reasons I people laugh, John. Yeah. No, at, 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 at an audition tape. John, I tell you what. Send in an audition tape and tell them you're not associated with the Howard Stern show. Tell me how many parts you get. <laughs> we do know that the famous audition tape that John sent in did lead to him 
landing a role on the biggest late night talk show ever. Oh. Well, first of all, how did so, he find out about this part? Didn't they call him? No, they, they, um, you know, they called to see if I wanted to audition. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. But they're telling you, yeah. you're not an actor for that. Yeah, he thinks all actors get calls like this. Yeah. All right. You so, mostly you look at the trades and you go line up. So wait a second. So you got to audition for so much stuff I haven't got. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. So just that doesn't look like the Mad Magazine that Howard was in. Although I don't even know it. That one looked like, but I assume that Howard was depicted on the cover that he always talked about. Cinema. So they had called me and asked me, because I said no. I mean, Crystal Bernard's even called my home. Uh -huh. So I said, no, I don't want to do wings. It's not my thing. So eventually they get around to offering it to either Jackie, Gary, Gorilla, or Stuttering John. In this case, it was Stuttering John. So Gary comes to me and he says, can John be on wings? Uh -huh. I said, look, I like John. John's a, a good guy. He's paid his dues. I want to see him make some money. So I'm, I feel awkward saying, don't go out and make money. John claimed to make about $10,000 on this. Uh, other people have speculated between three and 5000 John can go do wings, but please, they were trying to use me for this. Don't use the name Howard Stern. Don't say, what? <laughs> don't say the name Howard Stern. Don't say Howard Stern show. I don't want anything to do with this because it's going to be a lame part, and here's the problem with it. John, I took John, a guy from college or whatever. I make him into something funny. These, co these shows get a hold of him. Not only is he not... John started at a local community college, a Nassau Community College, which is only a two-year college. And then after he graduated, he transferred to NYU. And then when I want to use him in something, it's boring already. The audience has seen him in something. Why should I tailor make something for John? But I feel funny saying no because John is being offered work. And I know he'd be upset if he couldn't. Get money for it. But I try to tell these guys, they're going to make you look lame. They're going to make you look bad. And then I'm not going to be interested in you because you're lame and bad. It's like Larry Bud Melrose, whatever his name is, on Letterman. Bud Melman. Larry Bud Melrose. That guy was funny with Letterman, and then now he's on every TV commercial and he sucks. Why do you think Letterman isn't used anymore? Because he's burnt down. But I'm sure Letterman was in the same predicament. He couldn't say to Larry Bud Melrose Green, I have to go do that. You know? You couldn't tell him not to do that. You can't do the commercials. You can't do those appearances. You feel funny saying it. Hey, Pete, and that. I always say to my guys, just turn that stuff down. I thought it was very funny. Hold on. Hold on. Who cares what you think? You have no ability to see yourself. Greg Gumbel called me at home. I know. I know. Greg Gumbel's a big kiss ass. All right? All right. Greg Gumbel, I told Greg Gumbel to call you and say that. I did. He called me up. I was talking to him. He said, do something nice. Hold John and tell me good. That is true. Oh. All right, don't believe me. Could we anyway, get him right on the phone. Get right him on now? the phone. He'll, he'll tell you the truth. Sure, all right, get him on the phone. All right. <laughs> so, so anyway, John then goes out to do wings, <clears throat> and he does, and I don't want any mention of it. And time is passing by, and it's getting closer to the time that John's show is going to air. Uh -huh. And I don't want to be used. I know why they got John on there. Not only is he going to look stupid, but they're going to uh, they want me to promote it. They want me talking about John going out to Los Angeles and doing wings. So they start calling my agent. Oh, did they? Of course. And they go, why isn't Howard talking about John on wings? What's going on? He said, he told you guys. He doesn't want to do wings. And what you do is you go out and get the next guy. You get one of his guys and you make him look at Drake. Howard doesn't have anything to do with the riding of wings. I don't know what he's doing. He's not into it. He doesn't want to be used... This is kind of fucked up. I get Howard and the competitive nature that he has, but so many times that we've been able to get clients and their advertisement on the show, whether it's through a shirt, through a mention, through one of the whack Packers. I know Howard doesn't know about it initially, but uh, this is something that John, lower level employee, is on a network television show. He probably could have put his competitive nature aside and just promoted the show for John. This way. So what do they do? Wings goes out and buys a commercial on our show, a live commercial. A NBC. live commercial? NBC, buys, the night of the show airing, buys like three live commercials. They're going to force me to talk about John on Wings. I don't know what this thing's going to look like. I don't know how stupid it's going to be. But they're gonna, hook by crook, they're going to get my audience. Tune in for this thing. Well, I see the commercial. And I start reading it, because I don't preview the commercials when we do them. Start to read, I see this whole big thing about how funny Stuttering John is on Wings. 
Well, I skipped the commercial. <laughs> Two seconds later, who comes running in the studio? Tom Chiasson. Ah. Those people paid good money for their commercial. You have to read it. I said, I don't have to do anything. Fire me. I'm not reading it. I'm not going to be used like that. What do you think I am, a chump? They paid for the commercial. I said, I don't care if they gave you $10 million. I'm not going to be used. Tish mine, tuchis. He goes, what do you mean used? They're paying for it. I said, hey, first they asked me to be in his wings. I said, I'm not interested. They hired Stutter and John. I said, it's okay because I like John. I want him to make a living, but I don't want to be involved in it. I don't want to pay. I don't want to be involved or attached to this endeavor. Well, Tom said, you have to read it. I said, make me. How are you going to make me? Make me read it? How are you going to make me read it? You can't make me read something I don't want to read. You, are you, this is a, I'm a man of integrity. <laughs> something you're not used to. I got balls. What do you think I am? The sluggo show? You think you boss me around? You think I worked all these years so you could, so you, a monkey, could tell me what to do? That's right. Contractually, just from a legal standpoint, no, Tom cannot force Howard to do anything. If there was a term in Howard's contract where he would have to read any advertisement presented to him, then you can only sue for damages. You cannot sue for what's called specific performance. A court won't mandate you generally to perform an action, but they can hold you liable for any damages resulting from your breach. I didn't know all this had gone on. Oh, <laughs> I didn't want to upset you. I didn't want. I was never going to bring it up. Is that right? But I never. Asked but it. here you go. Here you now. Now look what. Now look what I got to read in Entertainment Weekly. Entertainment Weekly trashes me every. Here's that. Yeah, yeah. They they trash anything you do though. They trash me for what you do. Here it is. You ready? Loser of the week. <laughs> you thought they rock bottom, but guess when they had Kenny McCarthy on? That was until they had obnoxious Howard Stern psychic stuttering John. All I know is that now it says Entertainment Weekly, obnoxious Howard Stern. That's what I see. Mm -hmm. Would say that even without me? No, no it wouldn't. wouldn't make I wouldn't have been on this. But if they think you're obnoxious, they think... No, 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 I don't know what they think. But you have put me in a bad light again. <laughs> no, I haven't. This is what I've got to deal with when you do wings. Let me ask you a question. Why? Then I don't want to get anyone else in trouble. But you know, it's like you have a problem with me because if Jackie does the Watcher or Robin does Prince of Bel Air, it's all fine with you. But if I do something, you you it, it, it like drives you crazy. Wrong. There's an inconsistency. Here. Wrong. Because you are the guy who takes everything. That's not true. Uh, now it's not true because I straightened you out. Radio wanted me. I, I know. Do you know who called me? News Radio. They call you all the time. I they call you after they call me. I ask Gary. Let me tell you about News Radio. There's a guy who invented that show. You know what his name is? Sands. He was going to be the writer on my movie. I'm not sure what News Radio was. That may have been the show Joe Rogan was on. I never watched it, though. I didn't realize that John had an offer to appear on that as well. About that, he went off and wrote News Radio to spite you. Didn't I turn that down? And I've turned that show down every week. So did I. Cause they yeah, you're good. You're on par with me. Get out of here. No, Get out of no, here, you nut. No, wait. I want to. I want to. I want to speak my piece. Yeah. And and you're the guy who's writing book treatments and everything else. I finally got you. I finally got you under control. <laughs> I wasn't writing book treatments. Believe me. There's a big difference between you and Robin and Jackie. All right. It, it's. Yeah. All right. Explain that to me. All explain. right. This is why you got to love John. Explain the difference between you. Robin and Jackie. I just told you. What? Robin ain't sending around a book treatments on I'm me not without. Either. I would never do anything. I, I see. I Howard, see. Howard, you know I can't. And let me tell you something. I called you at home. And let me tell you something else. Let me tell you something else. Listen to me. There's a big difference between you and Robin and Jackie and Gary. Gary big difference. Gary also plug his extreme fighting. <laughs> I told him that was okay. Yeah. So me, I, I would have done something to you. That's right. I, 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 you do something. You're obnoxious. I'm, in what respect? You're obnoxious. In what respect? When you learn respect and not sneaking around people's backs, not, that's my little work. Don't I home. always have Gary come up to you? Now nah, you do. You know? And don't have him come up to me so much. Reject some things on your own. I do. Good. All right. You, you, All right. Get you, out of here. Goodbye. Like goodbye. 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 It's just not Did you know, you know why they gave you a pedicure on wings? You don't even know why. A pedicure? Did you get a pedicure when you did wings? No, I called and got them. Um, no. 
Your feet smell so bad. Howard. Harry, come in and tell. Break the news story. I told Gary that. Yeah. Do you think I came here and told that? Do you know that his feet smelled so bad they had to get, they got him a pedicure? No, they did. I went and got it on my own. Because, because your feet smell bad? Yeah, and, and plus, for nails were like talons. <laughs> and by the way, they told, him, they told him to go get one. I know. No, I know. Gary, I told you that. They what happened, Gary? I went and got one. Gary, tell us what and happened. Wait, you didn't know that the people said that your feet smelled bad? No. Yeah, they said my feet smelled bad, but I warned them before I took off my shoes. I said, guys, hold your nose. I mean, that's, you know, that, you know I had that was because he warned them that his feet smelled bad, that it was okay. No, yeah. no it wasn't okay. No, I'm just saying. It's a professional. The bottom line is your feet smell bad. And, and the bottom line, Howard. Why do your feet smell bad? It, it you, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. He doesn't wear socks. I why do you wear socks if your feet smell bad? Oh, my God. Look, when I wear socks, they just smell worse. What is your problem? I don't know. Well, it happened this year. Suddenly I got bad, uh, 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 you know, BFS, bad feet syndrome. I don't know what happened. No, you know what it is? When you... Let me explain something to you. I see a lot of guys like you're trying to make a fashion statement. You don't wear socks. <laughs> no, you are. You're trying to make I a fashion socks. statement. Yeah, I know you hate It's not a fashion statement. All right. Statement. What happens is your feet, the natural oils that from your feet go into the shoes. And they smell. And they begin it. to smell. Yeah. And people can't take it. It's a hygiene issue. I know. I don't know what to do. So, you know what you do? You put a sock. You buy a new pair Not of shoes so and you wear socks. Yes, they would. Okay, look. I'll, I'll... John looked really heavy during this appearance. I mean, at some point, he was a lot skinnier, and now he's a little bit skinnier. Absolutely what? I'm wearing socks right now. Going... Smell my feet? No. no. Okay, because they're going to reek. If you were going to go do a show and you were going to... Wouldn't you buy a new pair of shoes? There was someone that John claimed he could have easily hooked up with when he was on Wings. I'm not sure who it was. I'm not sure if this is, it was this actress or somebody else. Because he wears the... Toenails. Exactly right. He, he wears old shoes. But obviously, after seeing him perform, you could see how one could fall in love with him on the set. Do you bathe every day? Yeah. You know. yeah. Do you include your feet? Yeah. <laughs> Did you take a shower that morning and notice that your toenails were really long? Yeah, and the, and the, and the, I got them cut. But why didn't you cut them before you went? Because I didn't notice. <laughs> I'm getting so fat I can't see my toenails anymore. <laughs> Michelle, is that you? Yeah. What can I do for you? Well, I watched the show, and he did start out funny, but what happened was they dragged it out too long. Uh, it's bit about him yelling. I bet the, she, she can't smell walking so well. Come on, this is ridiculous. <laughs> listen, yeah. listen, who do you watch his wings? Was funny at first. This is one of the people watching. Listen, I don't care if you were good or bad on this show. I've yet to see the show. I just wish I was great. Yeah. And I was great. Uh, listen to me. Listen, <laughs> I was. listen to me. Appearance. In private, Ronnie told me. He didn't think you were so good. Oh, that's BS. And then he, I said to him, tell me he's good anyway. Why would you hurt the guy's oh, feelings? Such... I didn't think John was bad here at all, considering he's not really a trained actor. He performed pretty well, and he had a lot of scenes and a lot of lines. You're lying. That's all. You're lying. I'm it not a, lying. It was a funny appearance. All right. I wasn't and don't insult my listeners. I'm sorry, man. This woman's fine. Spell Arkansas, ma'am. <laughs> Please. A-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-N-S-A-
about now he's forcing me I have to do a commercial, he says. And I'm saying, no, uh, we had a fine relationship until you took wings. But I know that's you happy, so get out of here. <laughs> wings. Wings suddenly came to my life. <laughs> that wings flew off. Yeah, I wish the wings would have flown off. Thank you. Yeah, it's on the air. Yeah, John sucked on that show. That's oh, the man. worst wig I've ever seen. <laughs> what is the worst? <laughs> yeah, I'm not being too selective with the phones. See, I should be out there doing the phones. What do you want from me? <laughs> I've seen wings plenty of times. That is the worst yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you suck, John. Yeah, you suck, you suck too, you fool. Look at you. Hey, yo. What? You suck. John, just admit it. I disagree. I, I think John was actually really, really good on wings. It's not the best situation when you have to actually act like a loser who lives at home, who still screams at his mom, who's overweight, who smells. Ma, I can hear me, Ma. I can. Oh, oh could you? Oh, could you downstairs <laughs> maybe watch or something or upstairs? In her house? Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. I can still hear myself, Mom. <laughs> Please go upstairs and downstairs, sweetheart. Please. Okay, I will. Mexicali, Maggie, uh, William what a Zavallo. Piece of shit. <laughs> All the things that you aren't in life, it sucks when you have to actually portray them in an actual role. You suck. Howard, this guy, I don't even think, I don't think he even believes you know, that I sucked. Okay. <laughs> he just, why, he, why he's lying? He, he just took it on the air. You suck. Yeah, you suck. You suck. Listen, I, I, hey, you know what's great? That you had to watch me, and I got a lot of money for it. How much did you get? About, 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 ten, about five, ten grand. Hey, see, that's why I let him do it. Yeah. So look, I made ten grand. He did stutter there. He said about ten and about five, ten grand. Probably somewhere in between the middle. I never asked John actually how much he made on Wings. But you don't make them three months, you jaggage. I mean, honestly, it was funny. It was well, funny. I'll, I'll watch it. I don't you know, I was. I mean, I, you know, I can say. I mean, I've done some bad things like that last call show. I was horrible. Right. I admit, I sucked. Yeah. And, what and, about that? And and for about a year and a half, I was in. I was in a state of depression. I was a pro. A year and a half, you were on a TV show that I, uh, I had to sit there, and now, and they, now I didn't want you on my show. But you know, because they, they ruined you. What do you think? They discovered you? No, I admit I was horrible, Howard. But on wings, I was. I was. Mm, okay. Howard, you know what's weird? You. Uh, you've all, you know, you make career mistakes, and 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 I admit that last call thing was a bad thing for me. Just like, you know, I'm sure you've made some. John, there's a big difference. I'm saying we all learn from our mistakes. There's the a only big way difference. Grow is he John's referring to a show called Last Call that was on MTV. He, it didn't last that long, although I don't think John was horrible on that either. Number one, I don't make career mistakes. And when I make, if I ever do make a career mistake, I have a forum where I correct it. Let me say something. Yeah. Your career mistakes reflect on me. My career mistake, mistakes only reflect on me. Unfortunately, because I'm, in, I'm the master of my ship. Yeah, you know what it is, Howard? It's like, um, like, you know, any, uh, uh. All right, thank you. All right, let me discuss my Robin. But <laughs> now you can leave. You had your, now you had your wings discussion. Goodbye. I didn't want to have this discussion. A captain of the Titanic. <laughs> you look like a captain. Though. That's right. <laughs> You're my Titanic. Oz. All right, goodbye. Thanks. Wings. It's a garbage show. It's a good show. Yeah, it's a scream. That's why it got no uh, ratings. You watch the show? Yeah, it's really funny. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. You know, they all like you. You watch. I episodes, care less if they like me. The of course, they like me. <clears throat> they all like me, but they can't give me an award. Goodbye. And by the way, they are doing good in the ratings, Howard. They're, yeah, you know, sure they are. No, they did a thirteen to Ellen Ford. So okay. It wasn't, it wasn't Thank you. Even when they dressed him up to try and look cool, it doesn't really look much better. Thank you. All right, come on. I want to move on. I don't want to talk about you. Get out of here. I'm not even going to talk about you. Go. It's through with you. If I say goodbye, leave. You know, it, it's a long walk. Oh. It's a long walk. I'm going to come all the way back. All right. Hey, how is the delay? They one? lost to Ellen DeGeneres? And, uh, yeah, Ellen and, 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 and then he goes. They get beat by a lady. They get beat this, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. They tell me they're doing well. They're doing well. They got well, beat by Annie. Good. There's all three networks. Ellen and Wings. <laughs> Wings is the third. Jesus Christ, I mean, so they're doing good. No, they are doing well. All right, thanks. All right, come on, get out of here. I want to move on. Hey. Leave. Leave. Hey, sure, can I hang around for a little while? <laughs> you beat by two broads. <laughs> well, Jay Lella was on this, was on this show, so yeah. I, you know, I was getting the king of late night. <sighs> That's interesting. You just said Jay Leno was on the show that he was competing against, and coincidentally, he eventually is on the Jay Leno show. You're boring. Leave. Leave. Leave, John. All right, I'll leave. I want you out of here now. That's it. He's going to try to ruin two shows in one week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to me the finger like I And you're not allow allowed to do that. Oh, 
they, they all they can't get mad at you. So yeah. They always get mad at me. Yeah. I'm sitting over there, haven't said a word. <laughs> if you had a finger. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't wait to talk about Wink. I talked about it. And all I know is that a huge fight with Tom Chiazano over it. You got to read their commercial. I said, I ain't reading nothing. If you think I'm going to be a chump and get used like this, you're insane. I'll be goddamned if I'm going to sit and read this freaking commercial. Don't you tell me. What do you think? I'll let those guys win? I'm at war with anyone. Everyone. <laughs> everyone. Right, Jackie? Yes, sir. Mm hmm. I don't know why you're a boss. I, I have a family life. I'm not a woman with anybody. I mean, everybody. Yeah, I don't understand why you get so worked up. Because I have integrity. That's What's why I'm that? successful. What's that? Why do you have to have that? What is that? What does it mean? <laughs> well, that, 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 that word has missed my entire life. <laughs> has missed my entire vocabulary. Integrity. Give me all the old records on the phone. <laughs> they want to give me five grand. Well, what can I say? Tell me something I don't know. They weren't working. <laughs> yeah, they give you a big one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Why don't we take a break? All right. We'll come back and we'll uh, do news. What time is it? I don't even have a clock Nine, in ten. here. Nine. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> Fred woke up. <laughs> Nine oh nine, Robin. All right. In New York. We'll be back right after these words. He's speaking of bad reviews. And there you have the appearance of stuttering john on the network television show wings it was a great appearance the role was not necessarily the best initially but john ends up looking cool at the end it does have a lot of similarities to his life he was living at home with his mother he does sometimes scream at his mom the room looks like john's childhood room so sometimes art does imitate life as they say but all in all, a good appearance by John on Wings and Howard reading a bad review, Howard refusing to read any live commercials that we even paid for. I get Howard's motive, but I do believe he should have at least helped John out a little bit because if he does promote it, then John could get future roles knowing that Howard would promote any other upcoming roles. With that, John on Wings, this episode is a wrap, whatever that means. Ow, ow, floor is slippery. Ready? You are listening to The Howard Stern Show. And one of the people that has been a key component of that, of the radio success at, at Viacom, has been Howard Stern. Absolutely. And he and Mel Carmazan uh, are close, to say the least. So what happens to Mr. Stern and the income that he generates? I, I think that uh, Howard Stern and Sumner Redstone are going to have a very hard time living under the same roof. And I, I would think Mr. Stern is probably looking for a new home himself right now. Fox Radio Days, Viacom, President Mel Carmen's decision to leave the media company, leaving a lot of questions about the future of the company's radio division, the home of shock jock Howard Stern. Viacom CEO Sunder Redstone says he plans to take a hard look at the radio operations, adding there is no sacred cow. Stern telling listeners that he was shocked by Mel's leaving, saying, quote, the guy had my back. There's a coup d'etat going on here. And Stern's predicting that Viacom will cave into FCC pressure now that Mel is out of the picture. We shall see. A coup de twat? I didn't hear that. He says coup de twat. I said it's a coup d'etat. Isn't it a coup d'etat, not a coup d'etat? It's a coup d'etat. Yeah. yeah. What's with that cat? Coup d'etat. You with your corporate coup d'etat. You with your coup d'etat. I <laughs> thought it was nasty. Leaves. <laughs> you knew what you were doing. Oh, God, I've, I've had nightmares about that broad's voice. You wanted us all to be a buzz. Let me give a big shout out to my man Jan Winner at the concert for John Kerry to benefit Kerry Victory 2004. I'm all I'm all for it. That's Thursday, June 10th at 7 p.m. at Radio City Music Hall. Oh, that's next week sometime. Raising money for John Kerry. Got to make that happen, man. Got to turn around this whole this whole sick sickness that's uh, in America. 
with the with the stem cell research and the gay marriage bashing and the, the friggin' free speech being ripped up. We about it. We forgot about abortion. We got to protect that. Yeah. You need some tickets to that event, 212-307-7171. Big event. Going to have John Bon Jovi, Wycliffe, John, John Mellencamp, Bette Midler, James Taylor, Robin Williams, Whoopi Goldberg, all these people getting together to try and raise some money for John Kerry to be the next commander-in-chief. Try and get us a little bit more organized over there with the Iraq situation. and The economy, jobs. Economy, judges being appointed, the whole shebang. So let's, uh, if anybody's with me on that, I, I say... Uh, Let's rock and raise money. Let's rock with our penises. Mm. That's the way I always rock. No, you vote with that. I vote with my penis and I rock with my what? Yeah, you like you <laughs> think with your brain and vote with your penis. <laughs> right. Something like that. Speaking of penis, I want to give a big shout out to my uh, executive producer of my e-television show, Robin Radzinski, when we were in <laughs> Vegas. I forgot to mention how good she looked in her bikini sitting ah. by the pool. I, sh I got a good gander at that. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen Robin Redzinski in a bikini. She's holding it together very well. And she was with that. Congratulations to her. <laughs> she was with her boyfriend. I guess that's getting serious. Yeah, they see each other a lot, huh? Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, this guy. I like that guy. Peter. I didn't think I was going to like him. I didn't. I think his name is Peter. But he's the one uh, having sex with Robin Redzinski and evidently keeping her satisfied. So good for her. Good for him. Seems like a nice guy. Every time I've seen him, he's been nice. Where are you, Robin, with that body of yours? She's hiding now. Get in Robin here, you. Spotlight on her. Bring in your body. Oh. Get in here, you, Robin. Oh, yeah. oh, I was trying to act like I wasn't looking because Robin's the executive producer of our show. But <laughs> I was trying to act like I wasn't looking. But you've uh, what are you what are you doing over there? You must be. I see the belly shirt and everything. Huh? I have a that. belly shirt on. I'm wearing you a do suit. too. I'm wearing a suit. So you're in your swimsuit. I know. I you know. I, I had a one piece ready to wear, and I thought, you know what? It's, it's too nice out, and I'm not going to be self conscious. And yeah, a lot of broads are self. Yeah, and you look good. You pulled it off. You know what? I look fine. This is what a forty year old woman looks like. No, it don't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> well, this one anyway. I'm telling you, <laughs> you're, not you're exceptional. Okay, you 39. look good. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you very much. It was um, it was fun hanging out with you. It was really nice. Still with that guy, huh? Yeah, actually, he was just here for um, a week. Wedding left, bells, maybe? No, he left yesterday. He's a great companion. We have a we have a really lovely time together. And so you're F buddy. I see now that a that's friend the with benefits. Friend with benefits. <laughs> yeah, he's a friend with benefits. Hey now, you in love with him? Yeah, I love him very much. No, hey are you in love? What does that mean? What does that mean? It means are you in love? That's. Are you smitten by him? I'm smitten by him. Yeah, you I'm are smitten by him. Well, he seems like a good guy. I'm not. Yeah, he's I'm super a, great. I'm usually turned off to anybody male. <laughs> but, uh, he's all right. He he's, seems to be okay. He's the hot. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, I didn't know what to make of him at first, but okay, I give my approval. Okay, thank right. you. You can I go back and date him. Don. Yeah, Don Stern. I understand you're dating my executive producer. She walks out in a, Robin walks out in a bikini and goes, look at you, Raquel Welch. <laughs> you know, I'm glad you said that because I, hey I noticed that too. Yeah. Very nice. I looked over your girlfriend too. Oh, she's gorgeous. Got a nice body. Boy, hey I'll now. tell you that. I keep her in line. Yeah. Yeah, you're making sure. You're eating everything she's not. <laughs> she <Exactly>. stays in <laughs> line. She's as thin as a pin. Looks good. <laughs> Someone told me Robin Radzinski's boyfriend calls her three or four times a morning, so there's some kind of hot romance. Really? Oh, three yeah. Three or four times a morning? Oh, yeah. She can barely concentrate on our show. When does she get to do that? <laughs> I don't know, man. This guy. She's good because she's still uh, doing the show. Right. With all that going on. She's multitasking. <laughs> Is that true, Robin? Three or four times? <laughs> <laughs> is this one of the calls? <laughs> I talk to him maybe once a morning. He'll call when he wakes up. The report I got was three or four times a morning. Oh, that's Ronnie exaggerating. Yes, all right. <laughs> Good for you. You know, she Calls has a glow. When he wakes up. She has a glow. Ooh, Robin. That's cute. Ooh, Robin. <laughs> oh, my blister burst. <laughs> oh. You make me feel sick. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I was very sad to see in the newspaper that uh, down on the subway in New York City, some guy shot a hot chick, uh, a model, 
I guess who, I'm guessing now, but maybe he's angry because she's hot. And, and now you're guessing wrong because now I see I read the article. Yeah, what they say? And they said that two people were having an argument, and then one maybe took out a gun and shot, and it just hit the girl. Oh, is that what happened? So yeah. it wasn't like they're shooting they're hot targeting chicks. Targeting the girl. Oh, now. that's a good way to disguise your hostility towards hot chicks, though, Rob. And I've <laughs> to have an argument. Well, I get yeah. upset because we don't have so many hot chicks that we can afford to shoot them. <laughs> right. And uh, you know, it, it's really funny though. It says something like, "Every day people are getting killed down on the subway." Yep. But as soon as a hot chick gets shot, it's front page. Oh, they got, my goodness. Could we have more pictures they of They got this modeling pictures. It's so great to be hot. Right. Whether you're a guy or a girl, because we're crying out loud. And well, it was such a fuss. This is the way you can tell if you're hot. If you're, like, attacked <laughs> and no picture shows, yeah. Yeah. Like, you're not hot. Like if you're a scientist <laughs> yeah. or something. They don't care. Yeah, the cover but, of the I post mean, We've had, you know, like, women stuff. hitting the head with bricks and stuff like that. I have seen no pictures. Hey, you know who looks better than ever? Who? O.J. They, he's on the really? front page of the Inquirer. The guy is more handsome and younger looking than ever. Are you sure that's a recent photo? I don't know. But I'm telling you, the guy the guy had, feels no pain. But it's a great story in there on the Inquirer because uh, it seems that O.J.'s daughter Look out. attacked O.J. Oh, really, my man. goodness. And she, said, she's flirting with disaster. I know. I, wouldn't it be great? I mean, I don't like to see anybody killed, but wouldn't it be great if O.J. killed again and turned out to be his kids? Yeah, oh. somehow O.J.'s daughter dies by the way. <laughs> But it wasn't him. No. I'm going to get you. Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. We got a problem. Yeah, what, what could possibly be troubling his daughter? Because she has some issues, you think, in her head going Yeah. On? Go figure. After angrily punching and slapping her dad, Sydney threatens to kill herself. In a bitter blow-up with O.J. Simpson, his daughter, Sydney, exploded in a rage, punching her father, screaming, I hate you, and threatening to kill herself by driving off a bridge. Man, I'd love to interview her. Keep going, honey. Glad she's lashing out. Well, of course. Well, wait a minute. What's the problem? What's the problem? He he killed her mom. <laughs> yeah, well, let's start there. Excuse me, honey. What is the problem? You killed mommy. Okay. Yeah, throw that up in my face. You're just like your mother. <laughs> Besides that, don't let you watch TV. <laughs> I support you. I didn't kill you. <laughs> I let you and your brother live. <laughs> A dramatic confrontation <laughs> came just days before 18-year-old Sydney's... What's the problem? <laughs> what's your beef? Hey, what's the problem with you kids? <laughs> Freaking kids don't appreciate anything. I killed for you. I can't figure kids out. Your mother's a big pain in the ass. <laughs> I think you need therapy. I'm going to drive my car off a bridge and get it all over with. I'll be dead like my mother. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> You Go need, ahead. You need some quiet time. Uh, Save me the aggravation. Don't die before we find the killers. <laughs> yeah, you think OJ be more motivated than ever to find the killers now that his daughter wants to kill herself. Right. So uh, she's not too thrilled with OJ, the daughter. Don't kill yourself. You take the fun away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney, Let me do it. Sydney Simpson was temporarily <laughs> suspended from the Gulliver School for punching a fellow student. Gulliver? She's going to the Gulliver School? Yeah, it's based on this very tall guy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Didn't I teach you? You take a knife and then you slit the throat. <laughs> Back when O.J. and his children were living in Los Angeles, Sydney physically attacked O.J.'s girlfriend, Christy Prody, pulling her hair and knocking her to the floor. Wow. Wow, she's strong. Tough. She's hot. Chip off the old psycho. <laughs> <laughs> is she hot, the daughter? She is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's slimming down a lot. Yeah, she's gotten to that point where she cares about her looks and she's very cute. She should be good looking. She actually looks like the mom except with like that nice... Choc tan. Chocolatey tan yeah. that OJ has. Perfect. Like a light skin, but like a tan, white woman. Chocolatey tan. And got the blonde hair like the mom. She got OJ's lips. She's a combo of OJ and... And Nicole. Nicole. But a good combination. Yeah, yeah. It hasn't gone horribly wrong. <laughs> She's a combo of OJ, Nicole, and Marcus Allen. <laughs> She's got Nicole's eyes and my stabbing hands. <laughs> Poor Sydney has a lot of problems. She gets angry and physically strikes out at her friends and family. And can you blame her? Well, dad, she has to live with dad. Well, she's 18. She's got to get out of that house. Get out. Yeah, start. it's time to stop fighting with dad and leave. I'll date her. She's got to miss her mom. Her mom was like, you know, some nice chick, hot chick. They had a lot in common, probably. Uh, you're, you know, you're, I don't know what kind of mom Nicole was. I'm not going to disparage anybody, but who knows? I mean, those Hollywood moms aren't, aren't the greatest. Sydney has been accepted to Boston University and has her heart set on going there, but the cost is over 30000 a year. 
What, are you crazy? And if I make some money, I'll have to pay the Goldmans. What do you think, I had two Heisman trophies to sell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. How's Sydney going to get married? I mean, she's got to bring the dude home to meet O.J. Yeah. You know how well, crazy that he that guy's going to yeah, be yeah. really sincere. Mm. You better not You better not leave my daughter. <laughs> you leave my daughter, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you like I killed her mother. Oh, oops. Uh, what did I say? Clean your room or I'll kill you. <laughs> Listen here, Sydney. If you kill yourself, please videotape it. I don't want any doubt placed on me. Uh... Oh, sources say there's a haunting reason why Sydney is at odds with her dad. Let's see what the haunting reason is. Her family members believe Sydney actually overheard her father confess to the murder of her mom, Nicole, and buried memories of his confession are resurfacing, causing her rage. Oh. After the most recent uh, attack, O.J. and Sydney didn't talk to each other. So, so like he was done with the mom. She was a pain in the ass. He just got jealous and. Now he's got the daughter living there, and she yells at him every day. That's kind of cool. He probably just... Well, since he didn't go to jail, there should be some payment. Hmm. Yeah, thank God for her, giving him a hard time. What and does they... Justin do when all this is going on? Oh, he behaves. <laughs> he's a good boy. I send him out to play games. <laughs> um, says here... John Stamos is out partying every night to hide the pain, and his friends are fearing that he's having a breakdown. What are you really talking bad. about? I wrote Stamos an email. I didn't get one back. Are you afraid he's having a breakdown? I, I can care less. <laughs> I'm having a breakdown. John Stamos is fine. John Stamos is a good-looking guy who can get laid. He's banging chicks to if forget guy, the pain. If a guy starts partying once his marriage is over, it's a sign of a breakdown? No, no. that sounds like he's normal. Yeah. John Stamos has been partying up a storm in Las Vegas, and friends fear he's headed for a breakdown. That's got to be some chick friends. The 40-year-old Full House star has been painting the town red <laughs> to hide the hurt of being left by Rebecca. He's been hitting all the Vegas hotspots and hitting on women to prove he still got it. Oh, yeah, like he lost it. I still got it. First came the split with Rebecca. Then his new comedy series, which he was sure was going to be a hit, didn't get picked up by the network. <laughs> Sometimes I hit yeah, on women yeah. just to prove I still don't have it. Lately, he's been a constant figure on the Vegas Strip, picking up women at the Hard Rock Hotel, the MGM Grand, and the Palms, where he had a big bash with a lot of scantily clad girls in the real world suite. Well, hey, pal, how about me? Hey, yeah, pal. aren't you a bud? <clears throat> Phone call. And boy, has he been knocking back the drinks. Ah. Uh oh. See, John, call me. Another source close to John's full house pals revealed John's castmates from the show, particularly Dave Coulier, Bob Saget, and Lori Laughlin, have all been incredibly worried about him. I love how you do a TV show with, with a bunch of people, and right away they become your family. Yeah. You know what? I wanted you to ask Gary to say that woman's name again. Who? The, the Lori woman? Lori Laughlin? What did he say? Lori Loughlin. No, he, he has reading comprehension problems. Lori <laughs> Loughlin <laughs> talked to John, <laughs> and she told Pals that she was concerned by how incredibly down he sounded over the phone. Oh, he's doing that for you. Hey, you stupid idiot. He wants to get in your pants. Not down. I'm so down. He would tell every woman that. Can you if come over? If he keeps going at this partying pace, he's headed for a breakdown. They already maybe ought to do an intervention. Yeah, John, <laughs> call me, man. We'll talk. There's a lot of cool stuff. But I'll tell you who's hot is Bruce Willis's girlfriend. What's her name? Brooke Dana. Yeah. Well, she is hot. Mama Mia. She reminds me of Beth. Yeah, she looks like She's kind of the Beth look, yeah. yeah. Boy, oh boy. She's hot. Very pretty. And speaking of Beth, she's in... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, she's gonna. She's the cover next month, but she did the. Um, I guess they're promoting the one, the one with Anna Nicole Smith. Inside right. is a bikini shot of Beth for the upcoming to promote the upcoming yeah. issue. There you go. I don't think I have it here though. I'll be getting that issue out. Yeah, uh, okay. mm, I gotta <laughs> see that. One double A on that. Next to the rocks belt. Yes, yeah, so it's the bikini issue. It's the one to be in. Yep. Say here, Chelsea Clinton's gotten surgery, plastic surgery. For what? To make herself look better. No, I mean, on what? You know, like, what part of her did she decide to tackle? She got mm. triple M cans. I think she got some, I don't know, maybe she just lost some weight. That doesn't look to me like she got anything done, but. What are they talking about? Let me see the picture. I feel like she dyed her hair and she straightens it, and she maybe knocked off a few pounds, but there you go. 
You see any yeah, difference? Yeah, where's the plastic surgery in that? They're crazy. I don't see any plastic surgery. Maybe the nose got a little fixed. Yeah, the tip maybe. That could be done with makeup. Oh, yeah? Hey, what do you what do you want from me? This is what it says. <laughs> they uh, jump in the gun on this uh, plastic surgery for Chelsea. Courtney Love blasted by her own father. My daughter's the devil. Declares Hank Harrison. Courtney loves a strange father. Well, now we know why she's crazy. Well, this has been going on between them forever. Nice of Dad to do that. I know how twisted she is. She's a cruel creature who thinks of no one but herself. Oh, there you go. That would explain. Dad. Oh, she missed thinking about you, Dad. Mm. Harrison isn't pulling any punches and talking about the troubled rock star. Kick a girl when she's down. Uh... And it goes into Courtney's whole pass. Harrison says, I know what she's like because she's my flesh and blood. I know how her mind works. In her eyes, there's only one person that matters, Courtney Love. So uh, it says here, when Harrison and Courtney's mom, Linda Carroll, split, she took, you know, Courtney to New Zealand. Hank has had no contact with her between the ages of 6 and 13. At age 15, she moved in with him. She's really gone off the rails, Harrison recalls. In Sunday Magazine. That's good to be doing an interview. And it's Sunday Magazine about your daughter's problem. He does this all the time. This isn't the first time he's done an interview where he says, she's crazy, she's sick, she's a mess. He even says, uh, Kurt Cobain, he feels sorry for him because he was up against the devil, my daughter. <laughs> Kurt was a kind and vulnerable soul who was totally destroyed by her. Man. I don't think she actually pulled the trigger, but I believe she drove him to it. Oh, That's her dad. That's her father. God damn. You see why she's in the shape she's in? I should love that. Ellen DeGeneres says, hey, this is chock full of cool stuff. She hopes she never sees Anne Hayes again. Why is that? Because I guess Anne walked out the door. And I mean, she's not over it yet? No. If I ever lay eyes on Anne Hayes again, it'll be all too soon. I haven't seen her since she walked out the door. Hey, now. Oh, they act like relationships don't break up. And why is everyone always so shocked when relationships end? You know, people just get sick of each other. But the, obviously the girl was confused. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but Ellen and Anne, if you knew them together, they were so wonderful. <laughs> yes, Denise, you're on the air. Hi, Howard. Hey, baby. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing real good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wanted to tell you, I was watching those Vegas shows, and there was one you came out, and from a distance I was like, what the heck is he wearing? But then they showed you up close, and your shirt was unbuttoned. You look like you've been working out. Uh, damn right I'm working out. <laughs> I'm working Got out. Got a little bit of peck action going on. That's right. A <laughs> lot of peck action. In fact, Don Buckwall told me by the pool I had a nice chest. Well, and how hot is Don Buckwall? <laughs> He's the hottest, believe me. That's right. Damn exactly. right. Exactly. You don't know you that, Robin. Good. What? I was st sitting there in my bathing suit, and Don goes, you have a nice chest. I do know that. Oh, you did know that? Because you told me before. Oh, well, I'm telling you again. <laughs> how drunk were you, Howard? Oh, I got a little buzzed up there. Yeah, yeah, I could tell, but it was it was working for you. Are you hot? I used to be. You signed my belly once. <laughs> what happened? You're not hot anymore. Uh, well, you know, I had a kid. I'm a single mother, stress. Blah blah blah. Right, I'll hang up on you. Bye. Oh. Who cares? <laughs> Take care. Single mother, stress. Blah blah blah. That's it. Used to be hot. Used to be. <laughs> There's a. Well, I'll go in a time machine and find you when you were hot. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having a kid. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to suffer. Yeah. No, that was very nice. Thank you. But somebody thought I looked good on the e-shows because the avalanche of email about how gay I look <laughs> and how my pants didn't look good has been staggering. Ah. She brought up the... I'll tell you, that week in Vegas, I mean, me besides what I did, but the drinking that went on was just crazy. <laughs> Crazy. What? Well, everybody was. It seemed like everybody was drinking a lot. Yes. Where? In Vegas. No, I'm are catching you a lot of crap. Were drinking a lot. <laughs> it seems like I'm catching a lot of crap, and I think everybody was drunk. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I don't think so. I was fine. I saw you do the whole shot of tequila. That was nice. <laughs> Just saying, this magazine, Don Johnson's broke. Like, he owes a lot of money. Yeah, he's trying to sell some ranch, and I'm like, well, how in the world did this happen to him? Recent reports claim Don Johnson owes 12 Aspen area businesses a total of $22 million. He owes the Aspen Valley Hospital $7,345,000. That's crazy. How could he owe a hospital $7 million? Yeah, like, what is it? They don't explain that. 
He promised he, money for the Don Johnson wing, I think. Listen to this. He owes, he owes $5 million. No, no, excuse me. This is wrong. He owes 7000 Baba Boo, you read this wrong, pal. All right. Baba, it's $7,345. Baba! To the hospital. Right. Okay. He owes five thousand four hundred seventy dollars to the Clark Market. Probably told me he owes five million dollars to the Clark Market, <laughs> and I go a supermarket. Five million dollars. Yeah, probably. But what's going on with him? Uh, I was reading fast. Fast. fast? It's five thousand dollars. <laughs> That's even. He goes both. Don Johnson owes five million dollars to a supermarket. <laughs> I said, Gary, all of my groceries together. For years. For years. I'm going to be consistently stupid. All of my groceries together. For my entire life, did it equal $5 million? Yeah. I tell you, though, I've been... He goes, he owed $5 million for grocery, man. <laughs> I've been to Aspen, though. A Slim Jim costs about $12. That's believable. No, he owes $5,000. That, that's a little more reasonable. Yeah, and if he'd owed $7 million to a hospital, I would have had to say his entire family must have had several major illnesses. Yeah, he goes, he goes seven million dollars to the Aspen Valley Hospital. I go, how could that be? I mean, the guy must be terribly ill. I mean, <laughs> really, we didn't I'm know. a friggin' idiot. Now, and that, so now I take a look at the article and I realize he's completely wrong. He goes, he owes one million seven hundred eighty-three thousand dollars to Apex Security Systems. I go, a million dollars? What kind of security does this guy have? So what is it? A thousand dollars? It's a thousand dollars. Oh no! Yeah. So what is the debt? Uh problem he has. He says he owes seven hundred thirty nine thousand dollars to his veterinarian. I go, You're <laughs> kidding me. I go, this is give me that story I have to get with it right on the air. It's seven hundred thirty nine dollars. Oh. That's what happens when you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to this story. I go, this is the most amazing story ever. Gary, you are a schmuck. Talk about spending out of control. Both Don Johnson owes fifteen billion dollars to his paper boy. <laughs> <laughs> he does? <laughs> What does he get, every newspaper in America? <laughs> I don't Johnson, know what I was thinking. Todd Johnson owes a trillion dollars to the Gap. <laughs> <laughs> a trillion dollars. That's a lot of khakis. Well, he always makes me laugh, that Baba Booey. He's the funniest guy on the show. I'm reading this thing. I go, where is the hundreds of millions of dollars he's talking about? All right. <laughs> <laughs> he owes seven million dollars to the hospital. I go, what do you make a donation and renege? I mean, what, what, what do you mean? Seven million dollars? Yeah, for? I don't understand. I said, you better give me that. I got to read that to people. Because somebody needs to help Don Johnson. Seven million three hundred sixty-four thousand dollars, bull. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What college did he go to? Adelphi. Whoa. <laughs> Both Don Johnson has nine million three hundred dollar phone bill. Really? <laughs> oh, Gary, that's nine dollars and three cents. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes, Stu, you're on the air. Oh, no, Stu. Okay, he hung up. Wow. See, I thought a lot of celebrities would show up when we were being very much dangerously close to being thrown off the air. But I haven't seen a lot of people upset about this. No, we must really be scumbags. Why would you have expected that? Who would you have expected to show up? I expected people to be upset about free speech. No, like that's a good. If Oprah was being thrown off the air for something, oh yeah, everyone. My God, uh, if she was getting fined, there'd be a national outcry, a parade of people. That's what I was banking on that the FCC was going to fine her, but they won't. They admit that this stuff is just as racy, but she's like beloved, so they can't fine her. Yeah, everyone loves her. Everyone I know loves her. Later this week, round two, beat the juice. A grandmother will play a game with Beetlejuice to win her grandson a date to the prom with a porn star. Me? You. Who Stank performs live. Dennis Rodman stops by. Nick DiPaolo is here for the news. Where is Nick? He's here, yeah. I saw him. Uh, 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 Nick, Nick. <laughs> uh, 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 you know, you know what would make a, you know what would make a, you know, you know what would, you know, it would make a. <laughs> 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 
great replacement for me. Nick DiPaolo. Nick DiPaolo. Nick DiPaolo. Nick Nick DiPaolo. Nicholas. 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 DiPaolo. Nicholas. Stuttering John's a trip late. But he decided a good replacement for him would be Nick DiPaolo. Like, Nick wants that job. You know what I mean? He's my He's my anointed successor. I said to Mike, oh, you're like a janitor over there, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Wait a minute, what are you saying? the phones. I did no, that in I'm high saying, school. Uh, like, like John, Hi, John Hi, said David. to me before he left, he goes, you, you know who, 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 who would be really good to try out for my job is uh, Neg, Neg DiPaolo. <laughs> so I said, I said, uh, I said, and I said to myself, what an ego on this guy. Like, Nick's a pretty accomplished stand-up yeah, comedian, probably one of the best I've seen. Yeah, I'm making almost 1100 a week. Yeah. <laughs> That's five more than John was making here. Yeah, he, 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 he could take over for me. And, and, and Nick, Nick when, you, when you answer the phone, make sure, make sure that, make sure that, <laughs> radio's are down. How come you don't want to answer the phone? And say, what do you want to, 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 Oh, God, what about? You know, it's either John thinks a lot of himself or he, he thinks does. very little of Nick. No, I'm he not a, sure. He thinks a lot of himself. I, I mean, really thinks a lot of himself. I thought he liked my stand-up. Right. I thought he looked up to me, you know, that he's offering yeah. me his, uh, oh. uh, like being an operator. His cast-off, yeah. <laughs> Mayberry. Like Mount Pilot. That's what yeah, he was. He was Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> you could answer the phone. What's the matter? You, you want to do stand-up? Potentially get a sitcom or answer the phone. And Nick, say, 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 hey, say, 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 hello, Stern Show. <laughs> you always sound like he was running out of breath, John, but yeah. I never smoked. Say, <laughs> hello. <laughs> hey, can you say that, Nick? It worked out pretty good, though, didn't it? He came, up, he came yeah. up to me and goes, you know, you, you know who would be a good uh, uh, guy to take over for me? <laughs> Nick DiPaolo. Or, or, or Seinfeld. Yeah, it's Nick. <laughs> yeah, Seinfeld Nicholas. might be available. Have you considered Kelsey Grammer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little bit of a pay cut. One of the friends, David Schremer. I was like, wow, you really think highly of yourself, I, I don't you? I heard that George Carlin <laughs> might be <be-> <laughs> <laughs> considering it. Chris but, Rock's not doing anything. <laughs> he's, he's, Hello, Stern <laughs> How you doing? And that's, and that's Keeping pre- it real. That's pretty good. <laughs> you got to hit the whole button. <laughs> you got to hit the whole button. <laughs> can you can can you t- make sure you make sure you make sure you make sure you make sure you. Turn the trigger on. Hey Howard, guess what Gary did this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> he took his kids to the amusement park. <laughs> because he came to me, he goes, you, you, you know who would be really good, good, good to replace me is Nig. Nick. I go, Nig. <laughs> yeah, Nig DePaulo. Oh, I go, whoa, Nicholas. 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 That's my stage name. <laughs> Nick. I was like, oh, okay. Well, sounds interesting. I'd be like, well, I'd be thrilled to have Nick, but. I don't think he wants to do it. I, 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 don't, I don't know, though. You, you I, don't want to, I don't want to insult you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Nick, Nick, in your first week, you should, you should, you should, you should, you should, you should try to kiss Robin. <laughs> you know, Nick, yeah, you're probably not going to be as good as John right away. <laughs> It's amazing. You you could have called me yourself, Howard, at my house and said, you know, John's leaving. And I would have been, what are you, crazy? And hung up on you. Yeah, right. I know. I, and I've been like listening to this rap. I go, does he have any idea his place hey, in show business? Hey, Nick. Nick, you're a great stand-up. Would you, would you, would you, would you like to be a butcher? <laughs> oh, man. Well, because John had this weird thing of using the show to go out and do these comedy right, club days. Right. And then he'd get guys like Nick, who were 50 billion times more they talented good, than him, yeah. to actually work for him. So they had to, like, suck up to John. <laughs> and like, like, and he got this impression that he was better than them? Right. So he was like, hey, Nick, if you, if you, if you take over, you could, you, could, uh, you, you could have all the comedians working for you. Wow. I'm like, that's your ambition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I want to be a manager. You I want to manage comedians. You could be a comedian. booker. It would be <laughs> really good for your club dates. You, 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 you could stand around while the other comedians work. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be the big guy. Nick, Nick good news. You're right after Shuley. <laughs> It was, it was a short list. Neg, Neg DePaulo. Neg. 
Uh, and George Carlin and Joey Boots. <laughs> Nick, Nick, I can get you in t to Tony and to Tina's. T -t Tony and Tina's. Uh, uh, birdies, birdies. <laughs> b -b -b Bachelorette. <laughs> Bachelorette body. We're going <laughs> to see him next weekend, aren't we, Artie? <laughs> We, we might, yeah. We got a, Me and Nick are doing a gig in L.A. We may see John. Oh, there you go. In the suburb of L.A. Right, and his, in his, his mansion. Or something, so we might trash his house while he's sleeping. What kind of tattoo you got there, bro? Oh. What is that? That's serious uh, stuff. I was thinking Nick's like all intellectual and stuff, and I see he's got like a evil clown on his arm. <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing? I know. It was a, yeah, evil clown. Is that what it's, it is? It's a court jester. Uh, is that what you are, like the evil court I jester? I don't know. I just liked it, you know? I have... I was going to get some Japanese numbers on my neck to look like I did prison time. Chicks like that. You know? No, no. What is that? Symbol? It's almost like a bad, badass skull or something. Yeah. It's a, I don't know how to get this. What is that? It's hard to, to see what it is. It's like the Joker, but a bizarro Joker. Yeah. It's like so, half skeleton, half court jester. It's a dude's face. Half a uh, nine-year-old Chinese it? woman. Is it something to do with you, personally? Well, yeah. Stand-up. Oh. It's I'm an kind of evil... What is that? Explain... I don't understand. Oh, yeah, God. what were you thinking? Really, huh? I, I, you all thinking? right, it was 32 I, bears in a... I, I, I nig. In what, a what, what, sale. I, what, 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 what's that mean? What, 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 no, they can't see that when you're answering the phones. You know what you should... You know what you should... You know what you should... <laughs> 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 That's the announcement of the night show. <laughs> 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 Why do I sound like I'm rooting for mushrooms? Want to see my? Want to see my? Want to see my? Want to see my? My my seven bathrooms. <laughs> J J J J J J J J J J J J J says I'm cold. Nick, you could take over that whole John Empire of booking different comedians and traveling around the country. Yeah, he. Well, I'll think about it. Because then you get all the plugs on the air like he did, and before you know, you'd be rolling in dough. It actually worked out pretty good for a comedian with all that radio time. Here's Craig. Gas is phone number. I'm just in shock. I can't believe he actually said that. Yo, he said it to me. He goes, yeah. I he goes, can't believe it. Uh, you, you know, he'll be really good. Neg. Neg. And I go, Neg. first I thought he was making a racial remark. Right. And then he goes, um, because <laughs> yeah, he... He, he, he needs the plugs, <laughs> and he's funny. He he can write you funny notes. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. no, when, when he's 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 answering the phone. He could. That is so uh, dead on. It's scary. You know what, Nick? We're gonna give you uh, a tryout. We <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't know if we can take you, but, but that's we'll what try you out. Yeah, go ahead. Go back there and try out. <laughs> So, so uh, yeah, that's what he told me. He, he said he could answer the phones and write wow. stuff on the computer. Try, try, Nick, Nick, try saying, so loud I do. Do you think you'd be able to say Zolar line, too? Oh, absolutely. No, 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 when, when did the, 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 the retard falls asleep on the show? And that's license to interrupt everything. <laughs> you break right in. It's like it's, it's like it's like a it's like a it's, it's like a orange alert. You know what you have to do, Nick, is you have to take you have to get really good at taking credit for the callers being good. You know, I heard those fights. Wasn't that great? Wasn't that great? I I, I answered a phone. <laughs> Let me teach you how to talk to underdog lady. <laughs> Well, you're right, John. It's um, it's a red alert when uh, Wendy's falling asleep on the phone. <laughs> I didn't want to have to fight AJ Benza. That's why I turned it down. <laughs> oh, Jesus, the no, pride. I used to love it because he'd say, you know, that call, that call, I put that call through. I, I, yeah. I answered the phone. I, 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 wow. I, I, I put it, it through. Been a telemarketer. <laughs> the guys in the back office are telling me that, you know, John would used to brag after the show. 
how certain calls he guided or polished oh. for the show. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Is that why the callers haven't been quite so polished lately? <laughs> <laughs> I was a turd polisher. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Remember when Wendy called that? That was good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how, how would how would how would how would might be the the steak, but I'm the. <laughs> All right. Well, Nick DiPaolo is here. Uh, Nick DiPaolo. The guy who could take John's job. If you want the job, it's yours, pal. And Nick DiPaolo. What's it pay exactly? <laughs> I know John had a nice house. He sure did. He sure did. He didn't do bad. No. But I'm not going to fly to a Bally's and sign pictures. <laughs> but uh, Jay Leno decided that he wasn't paid enough, so he said, You know, hey, what's the big deal? I mean, you're not exactly paying him a lot of money. I'd be happy for John. I said, I said Oh. You worried about my staff not making enough money? How, how sweet! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. T tell me else how how else I can help you. Just call this your comedy shopping central. <laughs> you asswipe. It's the comedy <laughs> warehouse for the Tonight Show. Yeah, that's not a big deal. I mean, uh, you ain't UK. You're not paying them all that well. I said, hey, the guy's got an apartment in the city and a house on Long Island. How bad am I doing? Ah, he's got to go out. <laughs> okay, dickwad. They cleaned up John, though. He's all... Oh, please. Can't even tell he's Hispanic. <laughs> no, they better hire that's Fred. The they better hire Fred to sit and make fun of him. That's the only way that's going to work. <laughs> I thought it would make me edgier. Like, like young men would like me better. Stupid ass. Yeah, I thought having an announcer who says the N-word when he's announcing names <laughs> <laughs> would be edgy. That's how you slip it in. Nicholas Cage, right? Hey, 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 Jay, we got Nicholas Cage. I mean, uh, John, we got Nicholas Cage. Why <laughs> Nicholas Cage. There's <laughs> <laughs> no such thing. Tonight show. Tonight show. <laughs> uh, I'm Nicholas Cage. On oh, too much. <laughs> What's he doing on there? I don't even see him. I don't say anything, but... <laughs> Oh, you're doing a great job. I mean, is he doing things? Oh, yes, yes. We have him doing everything. <laughs> it's great. He told me he was answering the phones last week. <laughs> Hello, Tonight Show. Hello, Leno Show. <laughs> Hello, Domino's. <laughs> I'll take four. <laughs> four pizzas. <laughs> Send them over quick. <laughs> uh, who cares, man? All crazy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what have you been doing? Traveling. Oh, yeah, stand up. Stand up. Can't get a sitcom? I don't want one. I don't yes, think they want do. me either. Really? No, they don't. Have you seen what goes on? Come on. I'm developing one for Schimmel. Looks like it's going to turn out okay. Looks like it's going to be real good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you trying out for John? What network's it on? Maybe I can answer phones there. <laughs> it's between you and Greg Fitzsimmons. <laughs> <laughs> What's it on, like FX or something? Or? No, no, WB. Oh, WB. Yeah. That's the only way I could do it is if someone like, you know, you produced it, someone that's going to... All right. Because look at the stuff on the networks, man. Nah, forget it. I'm not producing your show. you got to be... It's too much work. No, it'd be very easy. Really? Yeah. What Nick, would it be about? Nick, uh, I don't wait, know. John has an idea. Nicholas Cage. Nick, I could get... I, I, I could... I could get you... I could, I could get you a walk on and on 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 on, on, on jaywalking. <laughs> I, I, I could I, I, I could pretend to like one of you acts 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 accidentally on the street, <laughs> <laughs> and you could <clears throat> plug it in. You got a new show on uh, Comedy Central. Yeah. What's up with that? Shorty's watching Shorty's. It's an animated series. Uh, Dennis Larry's company produced it. Oh, no pictures. Yeah. It's uh, me, you know, Patrice O'Neill. Yeah. The big black dude. Yeah. Uh, the guy who goes overseas to get laid? Yeah, yeah so I exactly. know Patrice, yeah. Back, goes to Brazil. Back of his neck looks like Star Jones' ass crack. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> That's a good gimmick. That's oh, good that hook. guy. <laughs> That's a good hook. But it's an animated thing. It's like, uh, it's uh, sort of like um, they animate stand-up comedians' bits. And, oh. And we're two babies on the show. We're like in diapers. Right. It's, you know, and Is it scripted? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's uh, it's got good ratings last week, you know. Oh yeah, good so, for you, man. Yeah, I hope so, it works uh, out. At least you wanted to take the job here. Yeah, exactly. Well, they got me answering phones over there too. <laughs> but uh, it's and a, then you were in Japan, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Uh, went with Colin Quinn, USO tour. USO tour. Yes. In Japan. Yeah. Because I was going to say the Japanese don't understand you. Do we still hate them? <laughs> no. 
Actually, they're very polite and very quiet. It's amazing what a couple of A bombs will do to people. <laughs> <laughs> really got them under control. Oh, that's what you got to do. I mean, Maybe that's what we need in the Middle East, see, a couple I, of A bombs. I think so. <laughs> Seriously. Calms everyone down. They're 50 years very well now? behaved. Yeah. <laughs> everyone just calms down. They're quiet and public and, and polite. They're like the Puerto Ricans in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Nick DiPaolo, it's, short, uh, it's Shorties watching Shorties tonight at 10.30 on Comedy Central. You can check that out. Also see Nick on Tough Crowd with Colin Quinn tonight at 11.30 on Comedy Central. And you can see Nick at Caroline's in Manhattan every Wednesday night in June starting next week. So you're doing okay. Yeah, I'm yeah, busy. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy. There you go, you man. You don't need good. John's job. Right, yeah. yeah. Come in here groveling for John's job. like uh, <laughs> We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to do the news. Nick DiPaolo is here. Fred Durst talking about his relationship with Britney Spears. See, that's the reason I ask these questions. I need to substantiate the story so we can prove her wrong. Exactly. I'll tell you right now. Go ahead. Girl is a f liar. Oh. She's a liar. For sure. <laughs> She's a liar. thousand percent. I believe you. Strike me dead right now. I don't think you need to lie about Poontang. Man, this is, it's just, it's unbelievable it's gotten to this point. It's like, that's enough already. You know, yeah. whatever right. happened, happened for a reason, and I, I did what I did. I believe everything happens for a reason. I have to face the piper, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But that's the way it goes, and that's I what happened. This. And it's just like, she's just too, too immature and too... I don't know what she's so worried about, man. The Howard Stern Show. Hey, you're on the air. Yeah, hello. Hey. Howard. Yeah. Uh, that bitch said uh, that your movie wasn't number one last night, that Jungle to Jungle did just as good over the weekend, and it's like no one even saw that movie. You, best movie ever made. What? Your movie. Who said that? Malia Davidovich. Not only, not only have we been kicking their ass, but during the week we've been uh, the number one box office movie too. We've been making. We la Wednesday night, the last figures I got, we had 1.2 million. I think uh, Jungle to Jungle had about 500 thousand. Yeah, that movie sucks. Yeah, I mean they're going downhill. They keep losing audience every day, and they know it's over. Exactly. We keep growing every day across the country. Sure. The, you know, the difference between our movie and the, any other movie is we have a well-reviewed movie. They don't. Right. We have a movie that got great reviews. And trust me, if my movie got great reviews, those critics did it begrudgingly. It must be a brilliant film. It must be brilliant. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they yeah. wouldn't have done that if it wasn't great. The Daily News was trying to paint me a loser. They go, well, gee, we're disappointed. You didn't make $30 million the first weekend. Just sit back and watch this movie grow. Oh, geez, We made $15.5 million the first weekend. You now, every night this happen. week, Wednesday night, the slowest night of the year, we made $1.2 million, which was the number one at the box office. We're now up to almost $20 million. We do that every week. In five weeks, you got a $100 million film. Film. Don't yeah, even right. give me. Don't even give me any crap, man. Yeah, I got a film here. Someone was going to give you crap, though. Well, they're all going to give me crap because they can't stand it. It's Hollywood circling around in the wagons trying to drum me out. The new face of Hollywood. Yeah, that's right. Get ready. They're Get ready to, to keep throw that up. That face out. They're trying to keep this face out of Hollywood, but <laughs> they ain't going to do it. It ain't going to happen. You know why? Why? Too many of us. That's right. Too many of us who just love you to death. That's right. You know. That's right, they, man. Hey, I got a, a pretty good Grillo story. What do you got? Uh, down at the premiere in the 31st Street. Yeah. He's coming down on his limo. Yeah. And uh, He had a limo? He had a limo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think Jackie had a limo. Everybody was um, screaming at the limos, you know, who's in there? Who's in there? Cheap and limo. All that other crap. And so out of everybody passing by, Sherman Hemsley opens his window, so no big deal. Then Grillo comes down with his arms raised up like Rocky. <laughs> like he made the movie, right? Yeah, made the movie. Right? And there he's like, he's got his arms raised, um, he's screaming, yeah, yeah. And there we, you had a hundred people in unison screaming a-hole at the guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's Grillo showing up in a limo with his arms raised? He, he rang so the red. bell. <laughs> he sunk down like the beaten pussy that he is. I'm, I rang the bell during the movie. I'm Big Dory. I said, quiet under Z. If it wasn't for me, this movie would be very noisy. <laughs> quiet under Z. Rolling. Quiet. Action. Yeah. He's such a loser. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I got to go. Hey, Grillo. I mean, Howard, thanks a lot. Thanks, man. <laughs> Grillo. Everyone was goofing on Gorilla. A hole. He was excited. He got caught up in the moment. <laughs> Started to think people were there for him. Little humility, please. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I didn't even wave my arms in the air. We got a crew. <laughs> it's out of control. Yeah. No kidding, it's out of control. Wait till I read you the hotel bills from... Um, I'll do that next. Let me take a uh, break. Right. I'm going to read the hotel bills from California. Meanwhile, by the pool, how nauseous did Gorilla's tattoo make you? Oh, you forget how big it is. Yeah. 
He oh, put this way too big cross. Had, he must have had that side away from me. I didn't get to see it. One day I said to Grillo, are you a real religious guy? He goes, well, what do you mean? I go, he was wearing a giant cross on his T-shirt. He wears a cross around his neck, and his arm has a cross that goes all the way down to his elbow. Yeah. And it's crooked. Oh, it's frightening. It is frightening, isn't it? It's, it's really... It is so crooked. It's a clatter. <laughs> it is so big. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, I go... Uh, totally not... They, nobody scaled that. You know, they didn't look mm. at his arm and right. see what size cross it could take. Yeah, I mean, it is huge. <laughs> they just, whatever space, let's fill it. Yeah. It's just this huge, giant cross. Because <laughs> there's no proportion there at all. No, it would be cool if it was like like a third the size. Yeah. And it would like kind of look cool, like a cross on your arm. Nothing wrong with a cross, but he's got the cross going on the T-shirt, the cross around the neck, the cross on the arm. And he's not even religious, he tells me. He's like a walking billboard for Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard to think of what to put on, so I just put a gross on. Another gross. A gross, because I love Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do you love Jesus Christ more than any man on the world? <laughs> I put the cross so I could be in pain like Jesus. <laughs> what? What's with the cross, man? Everything uh, is a wait, cross. You said you like crosses too. No, I like the symbol of a cross, but I don't like yeah. one the size of a of a of, a, of a, my arm. Yeah, the I one want to you've crucify got, somebody. Yeah, the one you've got belongs on the Sistine Chapel. Yeah, I mean, okay. Jesus, it's so <laughs> intricate and it's involved too. It's show everybody. It's a. It's a. Let me describe it to people at home. Roll up your sleeve. Take off your shirt or something. He's in good shape. Let me see. <laughs> there it is. I was staring at it all. And then you have to watch him putting suntan lotion on his gross. <laughs> I, I was putting suntan lotion on my body. No, you were, you were putting extra on your gross because he didn't want it to fade. Sensitive. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't... Put it back there. We're still looking at it. It's blue and... <laughs> and it's crooked. It's, it's crooked. Big red it's, art. I just can't believe the guy made it crooked on your arm. It's so wrong. Well, I mean, it's permanently on, on there. It, it depends on where I hold my arm. Oh, I, have you yeah, been you in the mirror? You your arm right for the <laughs> I see. <laughs> Mm. And I wasn't waving my arms like Rocky. I, 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 I stuck my head out to take pictures of the crowd because there were oh. so many people. Oh, I see. My <laughs> fans, my legions. I have no fans. You I'm have fans. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, Grillo. <laughs> oh, I'm here to revel. <laughs> I think you got into it. How could you, how could you I, be I so did. into Jesus after Jesus took all your hair? Uh, <laughs> Aren't you mad at him? <laughs> I'm pissed off at him, man. You know, you still uh, have a little bit of hair. Like, he's got a little bit of hair left. <laughs> yeah. It's just... It's, it's all going, though. It's going. Yeah. <laughs> what could you Maybe do? that's why he's sucking up to him, you know? So yeah, it's sucking like, up to Jesus. It's like he's, he's in a got. race. <laughs> Dear Jesus, give me back my hair. Please. He's just got a little bit left, but you know what? It's like all, it's like, it's weird. It's weird hair. Like, it's, there's no bangs or anything. It's like, well, no, I you just cut keep it? it as short as I, oh, yeah, I, I, just gotta, I keep it as short as I possibly can. Right. So you're preparing everyone to, yeah, preparing how bald, bald you'll be. No one yeah. It's the last step. This is the last hurrah. I'm looking like Raya Doug now. Dead man walking. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be a little bald gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've learned to accept it. He's going to look 10 years older. I used to, it used to really, head, really, right? really drive me crazy. That like you were I, losing your hair. I, like, the first two years, like, especially, it was bad enough if I wasn't working here and I was losing my hair, but it was, like, working here and losing your hair. It just, like, everybody just, like, Goofing. loves to just, like, go, wow, man, you're really losing your hair. Is your dad bald? <laughs> No, he nobody's full head of hair. My dad, his dad, my mom's grandpa. It's just, <laughs> right. just kind of like you know. I guess I got the bad gene or something. I don't know. Once your once your hair goes, why don't you put a cross on your head? You could tattoo your head. <laughs> yeah, I'll make it crooked. Tattoo in some hair. A crooked cross. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Congratulations. On what? On you're losing your hair. I don't know. Thank you. All right, thanks, uh, Gorilla. I got to take a break. Then I'll read Gorilla's hotel bill. Oh. We'll have you a went long a discussion. Little crazy too. Yeah. Well, th th these guys these guys really embarrass me. Really, him and John. John, I got no, I don't know what to do about. Well, I hope uh, Paramount is also picking up the tab for his funeral. It looks like he died. Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't been at work all week. Right. Hey, what's going on with these uh, hotel bills? Now, let, let's talk about it. Oh, yes, let's here. get into it. Yeah. So we go out to the hotel in California, and I bring, uh, you know... You brought uh, way too many people. I brought way too many people. People I didn't even need. Couldn't wa watch them. No. The, the way this whole thing started was your agent said, send me a wish list. Mm -hmm. So I did, and then they just put everybody on it. Yeah. 
Well, we really needed help when we're out there. When we do a remote broadcast, you need like Stutter and John running with a microphone and Gorillo and all those people. Gorilla gets your stuff and he gets the releases. Yeah. So, all right, we put him to work, these guys. All right, if you say that. I guess is what oh. Gary tells me. <laughs> We've done it without him Baba before. Baba I know. <laughs> so we went to California and we brought uh, Stuttering John. Gary gets all upset when you say that. <laughs> it's, I mean, I could explain it, but it's so dull to explain it. It's dull to the listeners. I'll explain it to Robert during a break. Right. But you need people to run for you. Yeah, there's stuff that needs to be done. We've but grown. you know what? Let's just bring like regular interns next time. It doesn't have to be Stuttering John and Gorilla. Like, there are no not... people in L.A. who could do what they do? Because let me tell you something. Yeah, exactly. We could have just like, I'm sure KLSX had interns who could have has assisted us. I mean, and it could be much more helpful because they know Los Angeles. And you want to know something? They're probably a lot more motivated. And you know what? There's not going to be any of the star attitude. At this point, Gorillo and Stuttering John think they're celebrities. I mean, Gorillo brings his girlfriend, and John brings his wife, and the baby, and the... Don't, I mean... Right. They have to have their entourage with them. I know if we had taken any of the good interns, especially the ones from the intern beauty pageant... But, like, oh. we could have taken Amy, who actually works for right. us. Right. And never Amy. goes anywhere. Yeah, take Amy, reward her, right. and she's going to work her ass off. And, there's not, and you know what? She's not going to be sitting by the pool all day. She's going to be figuring out what she can do to help. And I remember when we first started doing some of this stuff, the the times we did get to take an intern, they certainly weren't asking to take anybody else or having right. other people oh, along never. with them. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even bringing anybody with me. Howard, I'm so shell-shocked by going on these trips that I swear I didn't have my first... I did not drink alcohol till 7 o'clock on Friday night. I wasn't going to drink during the day. I wasn't, Way to I, go. Well, I just didn't want to be... I didn't even want to be accused of partying. Oh, right. Well, look... You're there to work. And I was, but but I, you know, I get nervous. Anyway, so... Uh... <laughs> no, I had this weird incident one time in London when we went to London. Yeah. I went out to dinner one night and you yelled at me. I did? <laughs> yeah. Why? Because I couldn't find you? you yeah, because you, you wanted me to do something and we didn't know what was going to happen. I just remember you got really, really mad. That yeah, well, I was... you're supposed to be available. You know, know. that's what we need. I know. We, need, we don't need you there for dinner. We need you. To, you know what? You have dinner. You could eat dinner in your room and wait for my call. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I mean, everyone can say, "Hey, it's a vacation." Baba Booey. It's not a vacation. I need I was people just working. Having dinner. Yeah, I was having dinner. <laughs> so meanwhile, three hours later, you can't find the guy. He leaves no number where he's going to be. You know, you say to people, "Hey, I'm going to be at a restaurant. Here's the name of the restaurant. If anything's going on, let me know." Yeah. He's going to disappear for a couple hours. I'll never do that again. All right. Why are you bringing it up? You get me all irritated. Now I'm all aggravated. <laughs> no, I don't remember. I don't even remember this. No. You're going to yell at John. How dumb night. are you to remind me of that? I mean, really. That's why he's here. All right. <laughs> not, the, not the dumbest thing I've ever said, so don't right. worry. Right now I'm completely aggravated that mingling you were unavailable to me. <laughs> I mean, I'll fixate and on that it. That was 12 years ago. Yeah, 12 years ago. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, when we go on these trips, I, I can't plan when things are going to happen. It's sort of like you got to be available. That's right. People have to just be there because we're out out of our element. Like I brought Jody and Jody goes, okay, I'm now going to go out for dinner for an hour. Here's where I'll be if you need me. That's how you handle it. But you know, it's funny. I had this conversation with Steve right. before we left. I mean, he was pretty good, but I said, I, you know, it's not a party. We're not out there to have fun. Right. If I'm bringing you, you know, I told him he was lucky that he was getting to come. Right. And then if I'm bringing him, he's got to be available and he's got to do stuff without giving me any attitude. Right. And John, and John, you know, had such a scene going by the pool. Stuttering John, man, the wife, the baby, the the, the, the babysitter, the friends, the drinks, the so you know, and and I, I hope you know that I am serious when I tell you that they are an embarrassment to me and they will never travel with me because I'm going over the hotel bills now. Mind you, Paramount is paying these bills. Yeah. I understand that, but I am one of these guys who feels that when you get something for free because Paramount's footing the bill, you still got to be respectful. Because you got to put yourself in their shoes. Yeah, they're Paramount Pictures and they're a big company and all that kind of stuff. But somewhere there's a bottom line, especially if you're Gorilla and, and Stuttering John. And you know John. what? That all gets tacked on to the cost of this film. Yeah. I, and it's like, you know, someone is paying for it. I mean, literally, there we is somebody are, paying for it. Yeah, essentially, we're paying for it. So um, I don't have any problem. Guys got to eat, guys got to sleep. Right. If you take somebody away from home, there has to be food, there has to be shelter. All right. But here, I'm going to give you a difference, okay? Gorilla's bill, $2,148.57. That's for everything, everything else? Everything. That's not the room? And that's the room and everything. Oh, that's the room and everything. Uh, wait a second. It's more than he made. Whatever. By the way, you know what your bill was? $600. See? Okay, now wait a second. <laughs> John's bill, $2,116.04. Wait, wait. That figure does not include... Um, John paid $200 of his own money, so add $200 to that. Right, because I made him pay $200 because his friends all came over, were drinking and eating by the pool, right. and I didn't want anything to do with it. So John's bill is really more like $2,300 and change. Right. Jackie... 
You figure Jackie's a schnurrer? Jackie had no food charges on his room. Oh. It was nine hundred fifty seven dollars. Nine hundred fifty seven dollars as compared to Gorilla's. What did he charge? If he didn't charge food. Well, I don't know. <laughs> that's not that's there's not a right. couple of charges that jumped out on me as I looked through the bills. Right. But there was one Gorilla charge that really, really stuck out. I got, I got, what, 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 what? I got stiffed at the pool on Thursday. I went down, I, I had dipped. I had like two drinks, and then everybody left. And all of a sudden, the guy comes over and goes, oh, your bill, sir? And it was like $350. And I'm like, he goes, well, all your friends left. And I went, uh, and I looked what at Kathy. What well, Whoever was down at the pool. And it, it was whoever was down Who's there. Who's down at the pool? Why are you stuck with their bill? I don't know. I, was, I said, well, what's going on? I looked at Kathy. I said, what should I do? I said, well, I said, I guess I'll sign for it. I said, just, just you know that... If some huge but amount how of- could you have a two thousand one hundred forty eight dollar bill? Well, take you have a, you have a, you have a one thousand more dollars than Jackie and Fred and Gary. I dude, I I ate and I had a couple of drinks and mm-hmm. I used the, I made a couple. Let's of Let's see. Calls. Let's go through it. Let's see these phone calls and drinks and stuff. Now I'm going to tell you about Stuttering John first of all. Well, well, Stuttering no, I- John is there's no excuse. It's a three hundred dollar laundry bill. <laughs> the guy's out there for three days. That's his baby. Yeah, whatever. Who needed the baby out there? Three hundred dollars Paramount, Paramount has to pay. That. And I'll tell you something. He's paying Paramount for it. Well, there was one other charge that sort of jumped off the bill at me for John, and there was um, there was a whole bunch of parking charges, but I don't think John had a car. Yeah. <laughs> what is all these charges? And what is what is this one? Terrace one hundred seventy seven dollars. That's the pool. That's what. That's by the pool. Listen to this. I mean, here's another bill. Wait, 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 wait a second. Listen to this. Terrace, three hundred seventy-seven dollars. When you buy the That's terrace? the party. That's March sixth on Thursday. Now you're telling me Thursday you got charged two hundred. So it, you're yeah. telling me between the two groups is over five hundred dollars. I in, had two in drinks that day. I don't two. care. So why are you paying for it? But uh, Kathy was there, and I said, Kathy, what should I do? I said, should I pay for it? She goes, Yeah. If anything happens, I'll I'll, I'll let them know that you, you got. Oh well, I didn't. And no one let me know. Well, I you made sure. Stiffed. I made sure. Everybody, First of all, you got stuck. You didn't get stiffed. Whatever. I got stuck with the bill. Right. You didn't get stiffed. He got stiffed. Steve. What is a $377 bill going to Paramount for? Now, you know what? And that looks like me. Oh, this is Grillo's 377 That was the day at the pool. Yeah, that was the day that all of... I and what's the 177 then on the terrace? What are you doing for $177? I have no idea. You have Dude, no idea. I swear you pay, to God. You wait a second. Hold, hold a second, man. March 8th, $177. March 6th, $377. Terrace. What are you doing? What are I, you doing? I am telling you, I did not have anything. So why are you doing it then? Are you signing for all these things? Dude, uh, Don't you ask who's paying, who, why you're paying for this? I, and who I, I was there by myself. But why, you know what? You have all day to do nothing. Why don't you find out? No, I do have one quick question for you, seriously. Okay, the the Thursday, you got the big bill, right? $177. Yeah. Okay. No, the, the big... The big bill was $377. Okay. Two, two days later, when you get the big bill, why aren't you... In other words, weren't you aware that this was going to happen again? I would say to the guy, listen, this I'm signing for my food. This is for me. If anybody else gets anything, that's their headache. Maybe that was. How the does problem. that look for me when you're when you're but, running up two and three hundred dollar bills at the pool? But I'm telling you, I didn't, buy, I didn't buy anything for anybody else other than yeah. me. And and any time any, any, my girlfriend had something to eat, it was half of my sandwich. So I didn't buy anything extra for anybody else other than myself. Look at this, Stuttering John laundry, a hundred eleven dollars on March eighth. <laughs> laundry on March seventh, ninety seven dollars. Laundry on March sixth, fifty one fifty. I you have never what? once given that a piece of laundry in. Is amazing. Now, what is that? To he me? doesn't have anybody doing his laundry at home. No. You know how expensive it is at a hotel to get your it's laundry, laundry done? done. Three days he can't put. I mean, I came home with dirty laundry. That might be like six pairs of underwear. You for know like what? 50 that bucks. is completely insane. What is he doing to me? He don't, is don't, never ever to go on a trip with me again. Howard. Don't you take the amount of clothes that That's you the need wife. for the yeah. trip? Yeah, three days. And toss them in the closet. Yeah, but you don't have a baby yeah. with you who's soiling diapers. Yeah, but no, 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 diapers. diapers and I didn't throw ask away. him to bring it. Yeah, I mean, they're disposable but, diapers. But they, you know, they got clothes. They throw up. They, you know, uh, they do a whole bunch of stuff. Wash them in the sink. Wash them. Yeah, I mean, three hundred. Well, they thinking? couldn't take home dirty. Let me you uh, uh, Look at this. Swimsuits. Parking, eighteen dollars. Parking, seven dollars. Parking. Look at these. Parking what? Wait, I don't know what he's parking. He didn't have a car. That's hysterical. You're right. Parking. Look at this. Parking, seven dollars. Like it just goes on and on and on. Just Is so- he paying for his friends to park? It has to be you. I mean, why would John have parking charges if he doesn't have a car? <laughs> Look at this. Room service, fifty nine dollars. Room service, sixty nine dollars. I mean, they were eating everywhere. Yeah. Upstairs, downstairs. Yeah. All around the pool. Let me ask you something, John. John. Yeah. 
Let me ask you something. Yeah. Still sick? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How? Explain to me over three hundred dollars in laundry bills. For, on Paramount, on my tuchus. No, uh, whatever it is, I'll pay for it. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't want you to pay for it. Tell me why when you go with me. Howard, I why when you travel with me, you have three hundred dollars in laundry bills over three days? I thought they said that laundry was included, but I mean, if it's skip, I didn't. You know. What? Who said laundry's included? We we got a memo that said everything ex excluding uh, massages and paid out gift shop and that sort of gift thing. Gift shop. You no, know. no, 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 John. Let me explain something to you. When people say that they'll pick up the tab for everything. It doesn't mean you have to use no, it. I know that. I, I didn't. John, John, listen carefully. Oh. Don't don't tell me you know it because you don't know it. All right, then. Like if somebody says they're going to be nice to you for once in your life, and they're going to let take you, advantage. they're going to let you come to California, and they're going to pay for your room in a really nice hotel. Yeah. That's why I can't take you anywhere. You know what you are? It's a word for it in, in Italian. Schnurrer. You're a schnurrer. You know what a schnurrer is? It's a guy who says, "Hey, it's free." I got it. It's like the guy you invite out to dinner, and he hey, goes. They empty the mini. They got, yeah, they get. They gotta have the. They gotta have lobster. Yeah. They never order lobster ever. But someone says, "Hey, I'd like to treat you to dinner." They gotta order lobster, and they don't even like lobster. Yeah. They just gotta find the most expensive the, thing on the it. menu. That's it. It's called a schnur. If they were paying for it themselves, they wouldn't do any of this. Stuff. No, never. Three hundred dollars in laundry bills. Is that, are you sure about that? Yeah, here, here. I'll give read it to you. You add it up. March eighth. I, I have my print out here. One hundred eleven dollars. Fifty-one fifty on March sixth and ninety-seven dollars on March seventh. It's, it's close to three hundred dollars. Yeah. Well. Oh wait. This here's is the first time you've ever worried about cleanliness. Turn the radio down, please. Jesus Christ. Who's that? Your wife? Uh, it, I have my mother here too. Yeah. Good. Maybe she can explain how you're supposed to live. I understand. Listen, that, I'm not I, saying. Listen, I, I I'm not real, saying. I didn't get anything cleaned. It was probably for the baby, and I'll pay for it. Yeah, I mean, what do you got to bring your? Ba I, you know, first of all, from now on, I'm just bringing regular interns who don't have girlfriends. I'm going to bring female interns. Is what I'm going to bring. <laughs> <laughs> who don't bring their boyfriends, who don't have an agenda. John, uh, John with the wife and the Howard, baby. Down, Gorilla I, with the wife and the baby. I mean, everybody with hey, the Howard, wife and the baby. Can I say one thing in my defense, or is, or is that allowed? Go ahead. Every night, I ate out. I went, I went out to a restaurant. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't eat at the hotel. I always ate out and paid, I paid my own way. Cause I, cause what is that? Uh, the, all right, let's well, go through you, the no, room. No, no, the only reason I say that is because you just read the room. Let's go through the food so charges then, all right? Let's see. I mean, here's yeah, a, here's you know, one I meal. With, I was out with all you guys every night. Well, then how come I got a one bill here for anything that says room service or terrorist club? $59 room service. Let's see. Hold on. I'll go through the whole bill. You want me to go through the whole bill? Here. $59 on March 6th, the, supposedly when you ate out. No, no. March 6th was when we got there. And you know $59 means it wasn't just John eating. No, $59 it's is... It's John and his wife eating and the mm -hmm. baby. Mm -hmm. The baby's And probably whoever else is in the room. Here, here's another one. Uh, and my point is, no one asked you to bring your wife. Paramount was, didn't plan to support your family. Yeah, they're supporting the family for the weekend. Let's see. Uh, it's just, why do, why do I have to be stuck with this? You're exactly right. I, I'm not... Terrace bill, 4168. Terrace bill, 11742. Well, well, Tell me I something, did, John. I did, I did. Tell me something, John. In one sitting on March 7th, how is it you run up $117.42 because... at the bar? No, because, Howard, a lot of times they came to me like they came to you. Yeah. And, and, and it was everybody's drink. It wasn't only mine. So why are you picking it up? Because I was the last one there one time. And, and, and you know, I mean, you know, it, for some reason they came to me. Oh, only you. No, one, I mean, at least, you know. Never Jackie, never Fred, never Gary, Gorilla. You and Gorilla, the only two they came no, to. No, they came to Gorilla once mm -hmm. for everybody's bill. They came to me once for everybody's bill. All right, let's bill. see. Let's see if I can find another terrorist charge. Here's another terrorist charge, 4168. All right, that's okay. That's okay. I'm not, I'm not complaining about that. But you're right. I mean, any, like any, if any, anything that's exorbitant, I, I, I will pick up. I no, mean, no, no. I, I don't understand the laundry. That's just because I, I'm, I know what it is. And, and, and what I, is it? I, I actually got into a little... Uh, I, you know, it was it was for the baby, and that's not and that's and that's not right. So you know, I for the baby. Know. Yeah, it was the baby's clothes. All right, let's go through the parking charges. Who did you have a car out there? The baby had a car. Oh, the baby. Oh, oh the baby's baby. carriage. Or the something. baby car. No, I, I didn't have a car. I don't know how I could. How park. do you have parking charges I, on your I have room? No idea. How I all over the bill. You have no idea. No, how can I have a parking charge? I don't know. It's on here. Can I venture a guess? Yeah. Seriously, John. His I, friends, tr his friends parked. Your there. friends probably pulled in and they said, uh, "What are you doing here?" I said, "We're going to park." And when they left, they say, "Oh, I'm with uh, John Melendez." I mean, I seriously doubt that, Gary. But there's, but there's, yeah, March sixth. There's a lot of charges over a lot March of days. March sixth, two parking charges. March seventh, parking charge. March. If, if, March fifth, parking charge. If my friends came and put the parking thing on my bill, that's pretty lame. Hmm. 
So, I mean, and, and if that's the case, I'm going to call One him. big party. One big party. Going. No, I mean, but... Uh, well, listen. if you hadn't been doing all that partying, John, you wouldn't have these problems. John, uh, I would gladly even pay for it. I just don't want to be no, embarrassed would, by I taking will, you and having you get the uh, $300 laundry no, bill. No, I will gladly pay for no, it. No, it's not the point of paying for it. Yeah, but like, Howard, when I went downstairs, I said, how much is my bill? And they said, you know, and they said $1,000. All right. I said, I said, so let me pay 200 of that. All right, thank you. Because I don't want to be... Don't I, worry, it'll never happen again. You know, I'm sorry, Howard. All right. Luckily, you couldn't charge pot to uh, the room. <laughs> hey, Howard, uh, I don't even want to bring it up. Hey, Howard? Yeah. Nah, forget it. <laughs> bring it what? up. I, I, you know, I, I, I'm a little you know, missed by one thing on Tuesday. You know when you said that it was okay for Jackie to smoke because he's in a different league than me? No, that's not what I said. I said, why is it that you compare yourself to Jackie every time I bring something up? I had a private discussion with Jackie and also an on-air discussion with Jackie. No, because you said that we were in a different league. No, first of all, first of all, you are. Okay, but I don't see why that has to do with, so, so because Jackie's in a different league. John, John, let me tell you what the difference is. He can smoke let me tell you what the difference is. No, I, of course he can't smoke weed and you can't smoke weed or he can't smoke weed. and you, you know, I, I, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the fact that if Jackie brought a wife and a baby, Jackie's a lot more important to me. He's an essential player to the show. I agree. If you're not there, I can replace you with Amy, Beth, Jen. Can I just you say something? You can replace him with people you don't even know. I can replace you with someone at KLSX. I did it for you as a favor. I, I understand. And then you just come there and you abuse it and you're, you're the superstar. Well, I made people sorry case. they did something for you, that's John. That's not the case. It wasn't I, intentional. It, you know... What is it, Gary? I know for a fact that what you just said, I mean, and, and John will admit to this, it's, it's one of those things that, that has always bothered John for a while and that hurts him. Hmm. When you discuss the gang, yeah. the gang of the Howard Stern Show, right. you always say myself, Robin, Jackie, Fred, and, and Gary. Gary. And it, and John always seems to miss that cutoff. Jackie's and I know, a writer on the show. And I know that hurts him. Who's responsible for many great bits on this show. Yeah, and I've done a lot for the show, too, Howard. No, no. John. John. It's just not even. It's not even close. In your first book, I quote, "The man would take a bullet for me." That's the truth. Yeah. So that's just how stupid you are. Yeah, but you probably be <laughs> firing. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> you know, but the, you know, but like the point is, is that I, I, you know, I would do, do anything it. for you too. Do it. <laughs> so do it. Take the bullet already for me. You know, but all right. If, uh, I, I remember the Marx Brothers. There was like, like. Um, you know, the main guy. Chico, Harpo, Groucho. Yeah, your Gummo and Zeppo. <laughs> yeah, they were those other two. The other two who they let in. <laughs> and I'm not saying that's a bad thing to be. I'm just saying, hey, dude. So but the, you're never going to get in this way. No. Well, uh, listen, I agree with you. It was I, whoever. I mean, the laundry was, it was totally, I didn't do it. And, my, and, my, and it, it was it's wrong. Just, you know what, man? If I invite you out for two days, leave the wife and kid at home. But it's not an invitation. This is a job. Right. Two days. Well, it would, I mean, the job was over on Friday morning, Robin. Well, that's when your wife should have showed up, and you should have been paying the tab from then on. Right. Well, well you know what, Harry? I mean, uh, first of all, I... I Not only that, what, what time did you stay till? You stayed Sunday afternoon? Yeah. Yeah. Milk it. Which is why... No, I was enjoying myself. Right. I know. Which oh. is why those two days... I'm, I, I, but I don't see... I wasn't any more than Jackie's bill or Gil's bill. There you go again. Yeah, Jackie you know. and Fred. You Jackie know and Fred. You somebody faxed in the other day. They said, John is like the worst traitor. Hmm. The moment you say something to him, he starts bringing in other people's yeah. names. Right. Jackie yeah. and Fred. Just bringing in I other bring people's in names. Fred, I, but Jack, I love Jackie. Uh, Jackie. But, uh, Jackie and you are the this same. Is, you know, if you're ever in a war, don't have John next to you. He's turning you in. Hmm. Uh, John, John, you're I'll tell you one thing. Jackie's bill was nine hundred bucks. Yours is two thousand no, one hundred sixteen dollars yeah. no, and four cents. The room fee, guys. I see. I have the print out here. But, but even if you include Jackie's room, John, it's you, your bills are off by about around six hundred bucks. That's totally not right. No, it is. No, it isn't. No, I got Jackie's bill here. Jackie didn't order any food in his room at all. That, that, yeah, but all of our bills came to like two grand, and 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 a thousand is 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 a room charge. No, but I'm saying, if you, okay, so Jackie was a, if you add Jackie's room bill in, yours is still more. By how you much? Win. You win, John. You win, by John. About, by about 500 bucks. Number one. Jack, I'm not trying to get Jackie in trouble. All I'm saying is that I, don't, I'm, I seem to be the fall guy on all these on all these occasions. No, you no. seem to be the guy who makes the biggest mess. You seem to be the guy who's the most abusive of every privilege he gets. It's, it wasn't, it's you Howard. seem to be the guy that brings more people. You seem Howard, to be the guy that does everything way too much. John, what come on, John, before? John. Next time it won't happen. That's all. Well, I learned I, my lesson. No, I, I wouldn't bring. Fool me once. No, you don't have to bring anyone next time. You don't even have to bring yourself. Well, we'll see if we can get along without you. We're gonna try and do the show. Along, We're gonna you. try and do the show without you. Of course you can get along without me. We're I gonna know say, that. Let's do an experiment. Next time we go away, see if we can do. Of the course show. you can get along without me. I know that. 
I'm not as important as anybody else. As well, you sure acted. You act like you're more important than Howard. You do. Oh, please, Robin. Jesus Christ. You know see what's going on. I'm sure I had no bill. I'm sure I'm sure I'm I had the lowest bill out of everyone. Really? I mean John just spending to beat the man. That's just it, you know, I know that someone has to, you know, like even though it's Paramount Pictures, eventually at the end of the day, someone has to pay the bill. Who was walking around in the robe? It was John. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing, the whole scene. But it was. I thought we were all having. And fun. I see what's going on, and the drink. And believe me, if I hadn't said anything by the pool that day, it would have been a real disaster. Yeah. No, I was always planning on paying. You drinks? No, you didn't pay for anything. Paramount paid. No, I paid two hundred bucks. Yeah, oh, yeah. After wow. I blew my stack. No, I was always going to pay that, Howard. All right, I got to go. If he even said to me, "Hey, Howard, I'm going to have some friends," so I'd pay the goddamn bill. But it's just abusive. I, I apologize. It wasn't meant to be abusive. Okay. And 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 if you want, I'll pay the I'll pay the the, the whole. No, thing. I don't. I, I don't care about that. It's over. I just want to know why you feel comfortable putting a $300 laundry bill on. I don't feel comfortable, and I didn't have anything to do with it. I don't want you to pay for it. That's not the point. I'm, I know they can afford 300 bucks. That's not the point. No, I understand it's just the, the attitude. Point. All right, I got to go. The point was that the bill shouldn't have been there. And I understand what you're saying, and you're right. All right, you're a superstar. I understand. It's not the, I know I'm not a superstar. I understand what you're saying, and you're right. Who's doing the laundry today? Shut up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's doing the laundry today? Send it to California. <laughs> I, mean, he, I don't even know how you run up a three hundred dollar laundry, laundry belt in three days. Three hundred. He was washing baby clothes. This is a guy who. Who do you call? Yeah. How I many mean, yeah. clothes does that baby Can't go you through? Can't rinse it out in the sink. Put this, Howard. When when you were like flipping about the pool bill, the laundry came. I said, "What are you doing? Are you get laundry?" And then and that's when I realized that we had a laundry bill. Like I was flipping out. Three times. Three times. Three times the laundry bill. Uh, the baby dudes a lot. With the wife. And the baby dudes well, a lot. you know, it's it's the 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 girlfriend hmm. who thinks, ah. Hey, I'm with Stutter and John. Yeah, she's in Hollywood. Yeah, you should have seen her charging around the pool. Out. She's seen the wife charging around the no, pool. No, I just should have paid more when I left. I, I, no, I, no, 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 no. No, I thought too much. You shouldn't have brought your wife and kid. No, I should have paid 500 Then Then I would have had this problem. Vicky? Yes? What do you want to say? Oh, no, I, here we go. I am 24. I have two kids, and this guy is a screw-up. <laughs> he is such... I can't stand him, He's Howard. abusive. I cannot stand him. I know this is your deal. He does this crap all the time, but I can't stand him. I Thank mean... You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. You're welcome. Right. She's Bye. all upset about it. I can hear it in her voice. He, 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 he drives me crazy. I, why did you put him at the end of the movie? I hate that. <laughs> Oh, oh, shut the that. hell up, you bitch. <laughs> what a freaking bitch She's you are. What the hell are you doing? John. John. Oh, shut up. What hey, man, don't talk to her like that. I will talk to her. Oh. She doesn't even know me. They'll freaking be rap ass and call it. John, Thank I goodness, know you couldn't afford to know you. I hear you on the radio every day. Yeah, yeah, here, here, here we go. I don't know either. Yeah, okay. You copy how. Oh, yeah. Here's John, doing, here's John doing his impression of me. Here's John's Here's John's impression of me. I think the rap chap ass, you bitch. Oh, my God. You're the only person who's put someone down in the middle. In the world. Yeah, I know. What? Mm hmm. Who is that? He's me now. Now he can put down the listeners. He can't be respectful. All right, you know what? I'll just take the abuse. Yeah, that's what you should. You should learn to listen. Sorry, shut the. Don't tell me to shut the up. I'll come over there and kick your ass, pregnant or not. Oh, oh, come on over. I'm done. I'm done. I will. Oh man. He's gonna hit a pregnant. Yeah, what kind of guy stupid. are you? I'm not allowed to yell at you because I'm trying to be Howard. So Thank you, uh, John, Vicky. John, can I give you some advice? No, you can't. Yeah, go ahead. Grow up, because your kid is gonna turn into a brat. Right. right? A, a brat. Your kid is gonna turn into a brat. A brat, though. This is that the problem that Howard's you talking mean, about. Not really spoiled. Kids, and then you're gonna end up with jaboni heads running around all over. Oh. Right. Yeah, jaboni heads. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the I, I, Italian in me. That's why. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Call me Howard, a jaboni head. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I feel bad for your kids a lot, a lot more than mine. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. Listen to yourself. All right, thank you, Vicky. You don't have to take this abuse. Thank you. <laughs> Listen to her. I'm younger than you, John. Uh, yeah. And stupider. No, I'm not stupider because my that, kids are on the right track. Stupid? <laughs> yeah, stupider. Thank we you. We work hard over here. Yeah, doing what? Doing what? I take care of kids all day. Uh-oh. Good. You don't think that's a 24-hour job? Plus, I've had jobs before this, but I'm pregnant now, so I can't. All right, Vicky. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Hal. How would you charge an hour? What? Nothing. Oh, it's nice. What a scream. Well, I didn't put it through. No, you, dummy. All right. 
I'm sorry. Missing again, every Howard. point. <laughs> Missing every point. <laughs> I, I agree with you. you, you all right. Well, I got to take I, a break. What, what good is it do for him to agree no, after the it's fact? Abusive. It's abusive. It's I can't wait to see silly. the tension in the office on Monday when John walks in and looks at Steve for putting all those calls through. Yeah. Well, whatever. I got to take a uh, break. We'll be back right after um, <laughs> this. Baba Bowie is not here because he went to Atlantic City to appear in a... In an incredible show. An incredibly dumb show <laughs> that Ron Delsner put together, all behind my back. Baba Bowie conspired with uh, Jackie and Stuttering John with Ron Delsner and put together something called Friends of the Howard Stern Show, which I quickly put to a stop. And I even told Gary not to do, but he just went ahead to Atlantic City and did it anyway. Uh. And, uh, <clears throat> well, we had a book already, Bob. Well, unbook it. You think he's really sick? Oh, I think he's really sick. I think he went to, uh, he, he went all weekend to Atlantic City. He stayed up all night. He gambled. He had fun. He partied with uh, his buddies there. So he, he did it all. He did it all. And okay. now he's ill. So I don't have my producer here. I'm very shocked. Yeah. And... He has. I see. He's booked himself for two appearances in Dallas. Right. He has weekend appearances in Dallas that probably he can't miss. Yeah. So I'm sure that he'll be fine for that. Guess what? He can miss. Yeah. I've got work piling up back there that isn't being done. He that everyone miss tells the me they're show. too busy to do. You know what, Howard? He has sick time here. Right. Right. Yeah, but not in Dallas. He better not go to Dallas this weekend. <laughs> I better hear that he canceled those appearances, so he can make up what he's not doing here. <laughs> You know, people think, like, maybe I'm a hard-on or something about this kind of stuff. And I know I'm not because I've spent my entire career. We're stuttering, John. I want him to hear this. Come in here, uh, dummy. <laughs> I'm, and it's good for Jackie to hear, too, because I, I don't think Jackie understands my philosophy. Hey. Come on in. I want you to understand my philosophy. No, I'm not. I, why, why did I, I'm here. I'm here. I'm queer. I'm camping. I'm here. <laughs> what? No, but I'm here. I know you're here, but I want you to understand something, because you are someone who acts really dumb and naive around me and acts like you don't know what's going on even in your... Oh, I, I don't know. I'm making a mistake. I, 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 you know, you're the smartest one here. You're smarter than Gary, and you're smarter than Jackie. You, know, you are more crafty and sneaky... Sneaky? Yeah, you are more crafty and sneaky than any one of these guys. Jackie and Gary put together aren't as crafty. And Jack and Gary is a sneak. Gary's a little sneak. How, can I, a but he's not smart. How can I be Bolf, can I tell the truth? <laughs> it was Ron Delsner put this together. <laughs> oh. You couldn't tell me that before, could you? Howard, honestly, yeah. I, I make I swear to God this is true. I make less money doing these gigs with Gary than I do just to do them That's doing That's not man the alone. point. That's not the point. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell your friend Jackie something, and I'm gonna tell Gary something. I love all three of you guys. You're fun guys. Jackie's very valuable to me. You're very valuable to me. Gary's very valuable to me. But am I willing to disassociate myself with the three of you? Yes, I am willing to. It would be hard. I would miss you. But I am willing to do it. It would tear you up. Now, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something, my friends. Is everybody listening? Jackie, don't read the paper now. Jackie, no reading the paper. I want you to hear this. Yeah, I'm talking Jack, to you. Jackie's, <laughs> talk to yeah, you talk. Jackie's you're talking washed, to me. Jackie's <laughs> washed his hands of this right from the beginning. Yeah, so I know. You know I know. You Jackie's know. innocent yeah, wait, on wait, a lot wait, of love. Uh, wash my hands. No. Like right from the beginning, you like plead like and you know like you're ignorant of the whole. No, he's not ignorant. I'm not I know. ignorant of anything. I oh, yeah, said right that I took one gig and I refused to do the rest of them. I just yeah. I wanted to go to Atlantic City. I didn't want to go to do the other ones. I know, I know, but just right, right from the beginning, it seemed like it was just like you were like, "Hey, these guys are idiots," and and I'm and I'm happy. All right, L listen, what? that's something for you two to take up off the air. With yeah, the, that's with, a lunchtime at the Friars. Yeah, you guys can talk about that later. <laughs> Let me explain my philosophy to you, and whether you believe it or not, I don't care. But I'm telling you my philosophy. I believe whatever you say. All right. <laughs> what I have tried to do in my career, I don't owe you this explanation, by the way. I didn't ask for it. I, I, but I got to give it to you. He's doing you a favor. Right. Listen, shut, up, shut up and take you're it. You're going to hear philosophy now. <laughs> First of all, regarding you, Stuttering John, you are a guy who perceives himself as funny. When you go on the Ricky Lake show, when you go on the Last Call show, mm -hmm. when you do these shows, when you go on the Conan show, mm -hmm. you turn to people inevitably afterwards and go, hey, was I funny? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something about yourself. Mm -hmm. You are the least funny person I've ever met. Mm -hmm. You are not funny. Okay. You're obnoxious. Okay. You're not funny. All right. I'll tell you what's funny about you. You stutter. Mm-hmm. When you go on TV and you try to be me, mm -hmm. it's not funny. All right. It comes off obnoxious. 
Okay. It's a very fine line. You are funny when you are yourself. Uh -huh. When you start to talk about yourself, there is a certain naivete about you that is interesting, that is heartwarming, and that is funny when you start to stammer about your life. Okay. When you go on the air and you run around like Howard, and you, you look like you're doing a bad Howard impression, mm -hmm. you are not funny. Okay. So afterwards, when you come off these shows and you say to me, w w was I funny? Or you say to uh, Jackie, Jackie, was I, w w w was I funny? That's funny. Because you're so insecure, you're funny. Uh -huh. You're being you. When you go on these shows and you're me, and you're yelling at people, and you're stuttering, and you, you lose your charm. Now, here's the other thing you ought to learn about yourself. All right. You don't take criticism well. You don't listen. I'm listening. When I told you to cut Gilbert out of your video, you didn't listen. I told him that. Uh, what? Okay. All right. I, All right. Shh. Mm -hmm. Shh. Jesus. The smartest performers are the ones that listen. You know who's a smart performer? Madonna. You know why? You know why she's on top? She'll go, she'll talk to garbage men. She'll actually watch what they're wearing, what they're listening to. You're not an expert. Mm -hmm. You know why I'm successful? You know why I've been on top for so long? If, if a postal worker came up to me and told me he had a good idea, I would actually listen to it. I would actually entertain it. Because I don't consider myself better than a postal worker. Mm -hmm. I consider myself garbage. That's why I'm going to go to the shrink. But that's what works for me. If I ever had a good feeling about myself, I'd feel too good for anybody. I wouldn't succeed. I am the genius of myself. <laughs> I know myself. I know what has to be done. <laughs> all right, so what have we learned so far? Uh, and I'm going to give you overall advice about career. I'm going to give it to you, Jackie, and everyone else. Jackie's got a whole other set of problems. These are your problems today. Okay. A, you're not funny. Mm -hmm. I know you think you're funny. Do you I think you're funny? Yeah. I, 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 Tell I, the I, truth. I, Do you think you're funny? Uh, um, Do you think you're a funny person? Yeah. You're not. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't want to disagree. You're not you. funny. I don't, I don't want to disagree. No, you, you can disagree. You know what? It's very funny because I hear him saying, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. no, That no, means no. he's not listening. If no, you I am listening. If you genuinely, if you genuinely I disagree, I want, you, I want to know so I can help you with no, it. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just, taking I, valuable radio time I, I'm to help you with your career. That's why I don't want to. I'm, I'm, Are you I'm a funny guy? I'm serious. Let me ask you. Do you see yourself as funny? Do you think you're funny? But see, I'm not supposed to say it. No, no, no. You can say whatever you want. No, say what you feel. I mean, I'm trying to help you now. I thought you thought I was funny. No, no. <laughs> you are funny when I tell you what to say, and you're yourself, and you're genuine, and you stammer. That's funny. So you're saying I should be more genuine? Words, you would never be a stand-up comedian. Mm -hmm. You're not funny. And when you try to be funny, you come off obnoxious. Okay. When you're yourself. If Conan O'Brien asks you a question and says, mm -hmm. John, what's it like when you ask these people these horrible questions? Yeah. And, if you, and many times you'll say, you know, gee, Howard puts the words in my mouth, or Jackie and Fred put the right. words in my mouth, and I, I'm embarrassed. Or whatever your genuine feeling is, and then all of a sudden you start to stutter, and you go, whoa, 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 whoa. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. People are laughing at you, not with you. <laughs> all right. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. It's fun to watch a guy stammer. That's what's funny. I, I got you. When you go on and you try to be funny... Like, You're not funny. Like I tell jokes, it's not good. Right. Okay. Right. I got you. I, right. I, 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 know. I see you on the shows. I've watched your shows. You stand up and you start yelling at people. Sometimes you do a little. No, no, stick. no, no. I, I tell them a question I that I've asked on the right, show. Right, right. I, I see you with the girl on the show and you, and you stand up and you go, well, hey, come on, girl. baby. Come on. Don't you want to go out with me? Don't you want. Well, that Howard. isn't you. That's well, not your style. Yeah. Hey, excuse yeah, me. I mean, uh, yeah, and it I mean, comes I mean, off obnoxious. She's a it's hard to watch. She's a gorgeous girl, but I see what you're doing. You're trying, you're forcing it. Okay. Well, that show, I, uh, think was, uh, I agree. Uh, I, I don't think it was a per it was good. All right, but whatever. No, no. I'm talking about your performance on okay, that show. All right. On Ricky Lake, I don't know what you were doing on there. Well, I was just being a judge. I, was... I don't know what that was. You got to start thinking about what you do. Now let me. Now let me give you. Let me give you a hint. Mm -hmm. And this is for you and for that Baba Booey and for Jokey Martling. Jokey Marlin. Here's here here it is. I have turned down a lot of money in my career for T-shirts, bumper stickers. I've had offers to do all kinds. If I showed you the pile of offers that I've had in my career that I've turned down, you, you would get dizzy because it's a staggering amount of money. All right, let me ask you one question. Hold on. But, okay. Okay, go ahead and answer. If you choose, if you think your question is more important than what I'm going no, to impart to you now. No, now I'm going to catch go 22. Go ahead, go ahead, catch 22. Is that because, but is it because, is, is it because you can afford to turn down these things? No. Let me tell you something, and Robin knows this to be the God's honest truth. I didn't have a pot to piss in. When I worked at NBC, and I had cockamamie scam offered to me one after another. 
I couldn't afford to buy a house. Do you understand? Yes. You have more money than me than when I was at NBC. You have more money now than what I had at NBC. I didn't have the money to buy a car. Mm -hmm. You understand? I went to my father. He got me a 70, 1970 Valiant, that bastard. Couldn't get me a nice car. You're driving a better car. You drive a better car, and you, a have a, and you have the money for a house. <laughs> you have more money than I did, and I got offered all kinds of things to market my name. And you know what I said? You're gonna, this is going to blow your mind. I said no. Mm -hmm. Now, listen to me. The reason I said no is I said I, this was my philosophy about this show. I believed in this show so much that I said the rewards will come a little bit slower. If you cash in quickly, you become like every other radio personality. You become just another dog with a bumper sticker and the Mark and Brian sponge and the this and the that. You don't understand? You become another one of the jerks that are just ripping off the audience. You become another guy, hey, here's my Howard Stern t-shirt. Whatever outside project I did to try to make a little extra money, I tried to at least put some care into it. Integrity. Integrity behind it, and also try to make it show business related, or videotape, or a book, or something like this. Not some goddamn keychain. You understand? Yeah. Okay. And I turned down keychain scam after keychain scam. I must, have, I must have 500 letters on my desk. People want me to do a CD-ROM. Mm -hmm. Why don't I just take it and put out something real quick? Why, why would you guess I don't? Because you want whatever you put out to if be, I, that, you know, to have. If I put out a CD-ROM, I'm going to change the computer industry. That's why. I'm, you know, right now they don't. They got they got all this technology, but nobody's buying CD-ROM. You know why? Because it's boring. Nobody's done it right. They don't know what to do. They got all the hardware, no software. Now most guys will jump. Hey, I got a CD-ROM. You understand? I have purposely backed off. I got you. Now I've got a problem. Mm -hmm. I got a bunch of guys who work for me who I want to be nice to, I want to be fair to, I want you guys to make money. But now the sharks out there who are frustrated that I won't do certain things get a hold of my guys. And my guys are going to now, they're going to buckle. They see the money coming in. Well, we can't get Howard to do it, so maybe we'll get... Stuttering John to do it. We'll go roundabout. We'll put together our Friends of the Howard Stern Show. It'll be a horrible show, but we'll do it through the back door. We'll get twenty-eight fifty a seat because people think they're going to see all the crew from the Howard Stern Show. It'll be poorly produced, badly put together. Sound check will be all wrong, and all disaster strikes. You know, I even found out that there was supposed to be a bikini contest. Oh but yeah. But nobody figured out how to get the girls there, so the, only one girl showed up. They did a bikini contest with one girl. Yeah. How embarrassing. <laughs> okay, this is what people saw when they went to Atlantic City. Now listen to me. Listen to me. I'm listen not to word. me. I'm listening. I mean, I, I could say that something there, but I won't. oh, don't say anything. Okay. <laughs> That's why I've never said, "Hey, let's go do Stuttering John books, Stuttering John T-shirt, Gary Baba Booey shirt." Gary Baba Booey came to me. He got to have a T-shirt. He wants to make a T-shirt. Do I want my, uh, the Gary Baba Booey T-shirt out there? No. Who made Gary Baba Booey famous? Why is yeah. Gary Baba Booey famous? Because you made it uh, right. Fun. You think Gary Baba Booey has a talent? You think that he is a, a peop someone people want to really wear his T-shirt? They want to wear it because I'm into it. I could have put out a Gary Baba Booey shirt, but why didn't I do it? Because that would have um, not only saturated the market, it would, it would have just been stupid. Another stupid radio guy was selling stupid radio stuff. And you know what happens to the audience? They buy it because they trust you. And then when they get home, they look at it, they go, what, what the this? hell did Howard do to me? He conned me. I got a Gary Baba Booey shirt. What am I going to do with it? I'm not going to wear this. <laughs> and I just spent 12 bucks for this. Well, I don't like it. Gary has no talent. So when I say to Gary repeatedly, I don't want you to do a shirt. I don't want you to do Friends of the Howard Stern tour. Hell, yeah, it's a bad guy. You don't want us to make money. Gary's talent is smiling and showing those disgraceful caps. That's his talent. If I didn't bring Gary in on here, no one would hire him for an appearance. So I've said to Gary, I try to be gracious. I said, Gary, if someone calls on you to get an appearance going, go do it. Fine. You want to show up at a supermarket, you want to say hello to the crowd, sign a few autographs, that's fine. But what does he do? He turns his back on me. Behind my back, he's plotting against me with Ron Delsner, putting together the Friends of the Baba Booey, Friends of the Howard Stern T-shirt, Friends of the... Why does he put out a Baba Booey keychain? and put out, Why don't we make a Baba Booey store? Baba why Booey. do I not say to Baba Booey, go make a Baba Booey store? Answer my question. Because you don't want it. You think it's, 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 what? it isn't a good product, and you don't want to be uh, right. associated I with it. I don't want it. I don't want... I've turned down money for the Baba Booey keychain. But you're not asking the right question. Now. No. Does he have the ability to discriminate? No. 
No. no this, no. Is, this is where I, 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 what? I, 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 this is where I had to disagree because what? on everything I. Every, Let me ask you something. Why do you think you're every, popular? Why do you think people like you? Because like you made it? me popular. Oh. But how, I always come to you and ask you every what? single time about these things. No. no, you don't. No, you don't. Did you I, ask me about Friends of the Baba Booey tour or Friends of the Howard Stern tour? How, I got Did a, you ask me about it? Can I just be honest no. with you? No, no one told me about it. How, Gary didn't tell me about it. You Howard, didn't tell I me about really, it. I really, to tell you the God's honest truth, yeah. have so little to do with the whole thing. I, I, it was like, just say, hey, John, want to do beers together? Yeah, okay. The Stuttering John book proposal, did you come and tell me about that? Yes. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. Oh, you came and told me about it? Yes, I did. You want to know why you did? I knew about it two weeks earlier. I'd already killed it. How, don't even talk to me about but it. Howard, I, I find out about it. You came to me too late. I never brought it up to you. Howard, y yes, behave yourself, I, John. Howard, behave yourself. Wait a second. I, I don't want Howard, to know about these things secondhand and through through people that I don't Howard, know about. I came up to you. I knew about it two weeks before you came up to me. How could that two possibly weeks. be? I trust me, I trust well, me, then, I knew about it. Yeah, but but I still came. I didn't know you knew I about it. I knew about it. The proposal I, was around. I still came the up. Stuttering to you. John book proposal Howard. with all the questions that from this show. No, I still came up. Why to don't you rape me? Do me a favor. I'm gonna pull my pants down here. Put it. Put Get it, it in. over. Go ahead. Come on, rape me now. <laughs> Come, Come on, on do it to me now. Ahead. Don't do it to Go me. Ahead. Don't Go give ahead. me slow Come rape. On. Do it to me now. Just give it to me. I've been bad to you, right? Come on, Come on, Come on, Howard. Here it is. Howard, here it is. Take it now. Rape me now. Are you kidding me? Come on, put the probe in. Howard, you Go know. Go ahead. Take my temperature. Howard. Goodbye. Howard. Goodbye. Howard. Goodbye. Howard. Goodbye. Howard. Goodbye. Howard. Howard. No, seriously. You know. I, mean, I, I can't explain Howard, myself anymore. I've always come up to you and ask you things, and I, I, and I, and the last thing I, 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 I want to do is I, I, piss you I, I, off. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do what Jackie does. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go on. I'm going to book myself in a club. I'm going to make a T-shirt. Use your finger uh, cots. Use whatever. Uh, whatever he'll cards. take his own ah. cassettes and I'm gonna put them out on I'm going to get Joe cards. I'm going to get everything I can get. I'm going to cash in. Howard, I'm going to go and sell everything I can possibly think up. Howard, can I ask you a question? I These people must get home from Jackie's Prince and go, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> I got cards, I got t-shirts, I got mugs. What am I going to do with this? <laughs> I got a what? Not only that, he sells it on the stage. Free enterprise. <laughs> What's that mean? Free enterprise is great. Look it up. All right, good. No, but Howard... Howard, seriously, I always try and come up to you and tell you this. <laughs> tell me what? Okay, thank you. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. John, John, uh, I asked the question, yeah. do you... Free you know, enterprise. Who wants to hear you come up with 10 billion bad ideas and ask him if it's okay to do it? None it of them are good. It makes people scared of it you. It hasn't been, t it had been three ideas. It hasn't been that many, and right, I always wanted good. to... I, All right, very I, good. I, right. Can we just say one honest thing? And here? let me tell you something. How, how, you are... You, I know you. I know you like a like a. I'm a. I'm as smart you as they come. You don't Trust know. me. I'm as smart as they come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously don't know. Me. I'm as smart you as. You see they how come. he's not listening? You want to know why I don't have any friends? I see through everybody. Mm -hmm. People are inherently evil. <laughs> I know this. I know it. I know the score. All right. <laughs> if they can screw you, they can screw you. So what I do is. Sometimes I embrace my enemy. Do you understand that? Yes. All right. Better to have your enemy on your side. Is ah, that right, Confucius? <laughs> thank you, Robin. Hey, Robin knows. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> it's a good lesson in life. So, could, I'm not trying to keep you down. I know that sometimes our 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 view of the world conflicts. No, it isn't that. I, there's I just, a way to cash in on my name, and the way isn't. There's a way to to sort of back off. But you don't want me to ask you? When, you, when, you, there's no reason to ask. You should know. At this point, you should know. You've been around me long enough. I don't want to have these discussions every two weeks about what you can and can't do. Figure it out. There's a way to cash in on my name, and there's a way not to cash in on my can name. Can I say something here? But can I, I have tried to tell him 50 times oh. about things just not to even approach but you can with. I ask you something? But he does Why it Why anyway. is it okay for Rob? She does CNBC. She's done... Don't even bring up Robin in the same breath no, as No, but you. I'm saying why then? Don't even suggest it to me. But then why, uh, we're, I, all I'm saying is that... You Robin know, and I have worked out our way of dealing with one another to the point that we know exactly what we do. Mm -hmm. I don't think we take advantage of one another. No, and I don't want to... Now, let me tell you about you. Right. You're a sneak. I'm a sneak. <laughs> I don't see the Robin Quivers keychain. I don't I see don't... the Rob... the Friends of the Robin Quivers tour. <laughs> don't disgrace me. I'm not disgracing you. I'm just, I'm just... Don't compare yourself to Robin. No, but I'm just saying... You do not hold the same weight that Robin does. I know that, but I'm saying, I'm just saying, you know, what, I mean, you know, you know, if, if the examples that are given, I mean, I, I, no, here's the example. Plus, I mean, I wanted you, to try, uh, you, you, know, you know, being on my own in television, so, right. so I asked you. You tried, you did it, God bless you. I know, but I didn't want to, like, do anything bad to you. I didn't want to, you know, you know, take anything. I didn't. I don't care. I, did I ever once say to you that it wasn't a good idea? 
No. Did I ever once say to no, you it wasn't I, a good I, idea? I, I did ask you. I said it's fine. You can go do whatever you want. But I did ask but you. But you understand something. The way they used you on that show. It wasn't good. Not only did it make you unfunny. I didn't want you on my show. It wasn't a good. I, it made I, you one. Fun. It's like I'm sure Letterman feels that way about Larry Bud Melman. Yeah, at this I don't point. think it was Being, a good a good show. It wasn't that. a good show. All right. So it was, wasn't. It was an so awful show. So I made my show. I went out I'm, and I and I and, and I'm not saying I'm, you shouldn't go out, but do me a favor. Next time you go out, warn me how they're going to use you so I can get you off my show first. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't know. I'll I was, let you take a sabbatical from my show. I didn't know I was getting angry, and, if I and I'll make know. Gorillo famous. And, and oh. I, I didn't know if I was what? I didn't know I was getting angry. That's all. John, you had to know. I told you that. Robin, I no, no. You, this is the, when I start getting book Robin, proposals with my material being no, circulated around. I don't want to hear it. That, uh, John, I caught you. you. Know, caught no, you. No, you didn't. I, okay. No, you didn't. All right. Oh my God. Well, I must is, be hallucinating. This is, this is, I, you I, know the truth. Now listen to this. me. I hope you learned <laughs> what I'm trying to say. The most important thing you got to learn about me. I've turned down a fool's ransom, a fortune. What's a fool's ransom? Uh, same deal. Oh. <laughs> I've turned down a fortune in these cockamamie merchandising scams. Yeah. Believe it or not, I actually do not want to steal from my audience. I got you. I, 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 I think you're right. I appreciate the fact that I <laughs> You shouldn't have steal an from your audience, John. Will. Right. No, John I, will do it for me. I'm not trying to do anything bad, Howard. I really am not. I don't, I don't have any mean intentions. I don't have, you know, I'm not trying to do anything, you know. I will never. Have you seen a T-shirt with my name on it? Do no. you see that? Do you no. see me selling that? In fact, these, these, these radio stations I work for, they have pressured me. They have threatened to fire me. You know, when I came to this station, there was uh, several sponsors who didn't want to come on the air unless they could have Howard Stern mugs. This was a whole big oh, thing. Oh, I remember Remember that. this? Yeah. They almost fired me here over it. I said, guys, I'm not doing it to hurt your sponsors, but unless I put my foot down, I'm going to open up the floodgates with these little dopey Howard Stern plastic cups, Howard Stern this and that. So as a compromise, so they have a, a Howard Stern all morning T-shirt, uh, rock and roll all day. I don't want a Howard Stern T-shirt. They want to make Howard Stern T-shirt. I said no. And I had companies come to me. They want to pay me all kind of money, a Howard Stern T-shirt. I said no. I did it because I believe that this show is more than just another dopey radio show. Maybe I'm delusional, but that's how I feel about it. I feel that if we go that route, we look like jerks. You know, like Morton Downey. The guy had five minutes of fame. This guy was into more products. He looked like a jerk. Rush Limbaugh's got a store. He's selling Rush Limbaugh. This is a guy who's panicked. He knows it's going to end some... At some point, someone's going to go on against him, give him some competition, and blow him off the dial. Anybody with with any kind of reasonable talent will blush will blow Rush Limbaugh off. Mark and Brian in California are two imbeciles who had no career, had no personality of their own, adopted my personality. They go out to California, they get hot because I'm not there, and what do they do? There's nine billion Mark and Brian products, and I don't blame them because they knew when I came to town it was over. The party ends. I see those little creeps. They're now going into San Francisco or something. They're one of our markets. With syndication. You think they thought up syndication? They didn't think up syndication. They don't have an original thought in their heads. No one in this industry has an original thought in their head. So I'm very protective of my name and how it's handled and what happens with it. And tell your friend Baba Booey the same thing who was out sick because he's got too many personal appearances. Can't handle his life. Booey. Boom, boom. You know, every year yeah. there comes a time in the year where you have to slow Baba Booey down. Yeah, all oh, boy. So because he gets sick and he misses his time here. Baba Booey had we uh, wheeled and dealed himself <laughs> into a six-city tour with the friends of the Howard Stern. Him and Ron Delsner had cooked up with Gary's manager. Ron was in on the whole deal. Oh, huh? yeah. Oh, evidently. This, I mean, I'm not even sure. I'm getting See, bits and know. pieces. No I one has no come idea. clean that yet. That was the first time I'd ever heard that. No thing. one will tell me what happened in this whole how thing. How it happened, how it oh, got yeah. cooked up. I, I was nowhere in my life. You understand? I thought of me. I thought this up. Since I'm five years old, I waited to do this. I'm not going to let anybody ruin it. I did it. I did it. Rape me. Rape me now, John. Put it here. My pants are down. Take it from me. Take it off from me now. 
pull your underwear. Pull your underwear come down. On, come on. You, get behind me. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. Come on, go for it. I'd, I'd like to pull my underwear down once you're behind me and ready to mount me. <laughs> Rape me. And let me tell you something. You're no dumber than like Tom Chiasano. When I first got to this station, the general manager, Howard, we need. We can't sell the show. We need cups. We need mugs. We need saucers. We need your name. I said, Tom, better you don't sell them. Better I leave. Then I get embarrassed with with Howard Stern sponges. <laughs> Well, Mark and Brian sponge. Well, how- ah, shkivos are Mark and Brian. Death to Mark and Brian. <laughs> Radio death. Well, Howard, you realize that, like, you know. Oh, he realizes. What is he? What don't I realize? Have I made myself clear? You mean I still haven't made myself clear? What should he realize? Go ahead. But I'm just trying to just, you know, defend the past things. Just saying, you know, that are people going to, you know, offer all of us stuff because of how famous that you made. You know what I'm saying? So, and you're saying you're too weak to resist? No, I know. I try and go through you, and I and I talk to Gary, talk to you. So this is what I said. You have no way to discriminate. Most, I, God, you don't have any. That's okay. As long as you have no way to discriminate. Let me know about it. Don't let me hear about it from other publishers that no, uh, there's a Howard, proposal I, around. I sat you down and walked No, you, you that sat happened. me down two weeks after I found out about it. Well, Somebody you, spilled the beans that I know. Sitting down. Well, you didn't seem to know anything about it. Oh, I, I, I hit it pretty good. Ask Gary if I didn't know about it. All right, well, then I, I, I didn't know, but I came up to you and asked you. You know what? Because I don't want to be a bad guy. You, you see, know, I, there's one thing you don't know about me. How, I, I'm you a said, sap for a guy oh, down on his luck. I, I'm too nice a guy. Robin will tell you about this no, off the no. air. No, in fact, uh, when you talk about how sneaky he is, yeah. how he presented it to you was the most oh, ridiculous thing I've ever he seen. He didn't know about the proposal. It was out there. Someone no, no, wrote it. No, 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 no. That's not what I room. said. No, no, no. He's no. standing in a room with me, you, and Gary. Yeah. And he goes, I just need to ask you something real quick. Yeah, real quick. Can I do a book deal? Can I do a book? Uh, somebody, somebody wrote up a proposal. I don't know about it. And, and he ran out of the room. How are I? I asked you Listen like I was supposed Listen to, and to you me. said, no, no, I didn't do it. I found I out about it, too. It was already on the publisher's desk. No, no, it wasn't. That was it weeks wasn't? after. How come Judith had it? Because I'll tell Two you Two weeks before you came no, to me. No, that's BS. It's I not came, BS. How, I came to you a month before she, that she happened. She told me about it. Robin, that's what I called you over the weekend. That was a month before I came inside with John, you. John, John, you sound like OJ. No. Howard, I, 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 it was a drug deal. No, but how? Someone else did it. How? I swear to God. John, you, I knew about no, it. How can you tell me I did because it? Because timing right now, you're being. Uh, a, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let John, me, I knew uh, about it. Howard, let me just say one thing. No, I know you I knew about it. I could bring in 17 witnesses. But you didn't know. First, I came up to you and told you about it. Yeah. Then I said no. Oh, okay. Then that. No. The, the, John, the, 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 John, the, the, John. The proposal came John, about, and then I called you. Remember? Listen to me. Month after. Accept your punishment. Listen right, to me. I'm just being. I'm just trying you to. You know what, John? The bottom line here is you make big mistakes. Don't make That's it. the bottom line. Making friends with Robin. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, Jackie. The, you're, you're absolutely no, right. Just Talking and let me to tell you, you has something. never been a mistake for You're John. not the only one. There's a lot of people who get around me. You're not the only no, You're I not try, even the worst offender of this. Listen to, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. That things get out of hand. You're t- believe me. You're not the worst offender of this. <laughs> Our own general manager doesn't get this. Right. It took him five years to understand what I'm telling you. You're a lot quicker learner than he is. He is stupider than you. <laughs> Our own general manager is stupider than you. I guarantee you, you could run this station better than he could. Because you understand it better than he... You know how long it's taken me to educate this man? <laughs> Hi, Tom. Tom, I, mean, I don't mean it as an insult. <laughs> <laughs> John has a superior IQ, as Tom, a matter of fact. Tom, remember how long it took and you to I, understand... And I don't take it as an insult. <laughs> and I don't mean it as an insult. Remember how long it took you to understand why I don't do these things? I, I remember it being a very quick study, in fact. I see. All right. Well, for you, it was quick. Five years is quick no. for Tom. No, Tom is thicker than the Great Wall of China. <laughs> and he knows it, and God bless him. And I accept it already at this point. But I had a lot of problems with the company when I first got we here. Had one, we had one no, thing. It was a general philosophy. Do you know there were discuss? You don't even know about this. There were discussions of a Howard Stern store when I first came here. I said, I'm putting a stop to this. They said, well, don't you want to make money? I said, I want to make money in my lifetime, but I don't want to. I, you know what? I don't need to do that. There are ways to make money. I said, what am I, Mark and Brian? What am I, Rick D's? Am I better than them? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, yes. Do I believe well, that my career will be longer than those guys? Yes, I do. I believe it. <laughs> I believe this. Listen, Tom panicked. He's a general manager. He said, what if he doesn't make it? We better cash in somehow. <laughs> if we can't sell the advertising, we'll, we'll, we'll set up a store and we'll sell Howard Stern pants. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so there you go. I, I am different. I march to my own drummer. I'm telling you. Do you help the grease man? <laughs> what is he selling? Waddle daddle. Waddle daddle shirts? Waddle daddle. Get rid of him already. Would you fire him and wise up? Don't you know when, when you cut your losses? 
Fire the grease man, will you? You still won't even learn about that. Yes, sir. Killing the station. <laughs> Click my heels. <laughs> Why can't you Candace. fire him? Do what do you have? You under a long term. We did you sign about, another stupid I, long term I, I, contract? I, I, oh, no. I thought we were talking about. Where the you Howard give away the store. store? You know, here you learned to negotiate at the management meeting, and the grease man walked off with the store. John is funnier my and more talented. And I already finished telling him he's not funny. We all know that famous quote: "Does Howard Stern tell Gimbals?" Huh? What? Oh, I am funnier than him. You are. Right. And I just proved it. <laughs> I don't know what Does he's Macy's talking Does Macy's tell Gimbals? Right. No. Don't compare me as Macy's and Grease Man as Gimbals. I'm Let not, me tell you something, that, my that, friend. That, that, I am... I am. That wasn't the comparison at all. I am steak, and he is a plastic cup. <laughs> That's the difference. He how talks he, into a microphone. That's the only comparison you can make he, between me and the Grease Man. Conversation? I have to point out every problem <laughs> and how smart I am and how stupid everyone else is. My father pointed out to me my whole life. Now I'm pointing out to you guys. There you go. Now you know the basis for it and everything. I'm real up front. <laughs> I like that you're not laughing, by the way. I see you taking me seriously. John. Oh, Stuttering John, I, uh, John, I, know, John I think has, that you have gotten through his I know, wall. I'm, yeah. right, John has been taking you very seriously he the should. last week or so. And, I, and let me tell you something. I like this kid. Oh, Imagine I like if I didn't like him. John's great. Not today he isn't. Tomorrow he's going to be better. I hope Gary comes in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you're funny. Because <laughs> that yourself. was honest. That was real. You're funny on this show. You're not busy trying to be me. You're being yourself. Why now you're can't funny. we call Baba Booey? I want to know how sick he is. I don't want to know how sick no. he is. I'm going to tell you something, Tom. I want to know how sick he is. <laughs> Baba I want to know if he's working this weekend. Oh, Baba Booey better not work this weekend. He better be canceling Dallas because he wants to be in tip-top shape for next week's programming. Oh, I better not hear he's in Dallas. <laughs> oh, boy. You want to call him and ask him? We don't call Ron Delzer. I think that's his manager. <laughs> uh, somehow I don't think Ron had anything to do with that. Imagine I develop this Bob Booey. I give him a job. I develop him. I give him, give him a persona on the radio. Let him talk. And, and Ron Delzer's cashing in on this. Well, that's Ron. That's Ron, boy. <laughs> God bless him. He's smart. Oh, Ron's a very smart guy. I'll never guy. call him stupid. <laughs> he bamboos. He must hypnotize my guys. Maybe that's what he does. <laughs> Papa Bohai. <laughs> It's going to ruin my life. And I know deep in everyone's mind here, everyone thinks that I'm saying this because, oh, Howard wants the money for himself. He don't want us no. to make a living. How much That's money are we it. getting? You got to understand something. I wouldn't think that at John, all. John, John, I purposely turned down. I want to, you know what? I almost want to show you my personal papers. How I know. Money turned down. Believe merchandising. Me, I know. You know how many calls I get People, in the back? You want to know something? I've killed movie deals over merchandising. You, you want to know what busted know up me in New Line? New Line, I know you said had that. Had nothing to do with scripts, had nothing to do with anything. They wanted my merchandising. And they wanted to sell Fartman dolls, mm. Howard Stern, this. I said, guys, I got to walk. I want to make a movie real bad. They were ready to finance it. They were ready to open a bank. The Bob Shea Bank at New Line. They were going to open up to me, John. No, I know. Do you understand that? Yeah, I know that. They were going to open it up to me. With the big bucks we pay, John, he doesn't need the extra money. Right. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> now, aren't you clearing like 17 grand? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's not even that. No. I want you to make extra money. Please don't misunderstand me. When you signed the record deal, who was your biggest supporter? You were. All right. Did I lie and say the music was great? Yes. Oh, okay. come on, Howard. You know the music was great. I loved it. Did I call you and tell you the music was great? Yes. It was okay. one of the, right. probably our right. best conversations. You're damn right. <laughs> Did I call you personally to tell you how good I thought it was? And that yes. I would, and that I... Listen, Tom knows this. I want to get on the air and say, oh, go buy John's album. I thought it was a good album. I was more than happy to say that for you. I didn't have to say that for you. Tom told me not to say that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Ab absolutely. Right. No, I know. I, but there know. are certain things I don't want to do. I understand. And Tom knows I've turned down money to Absol do these T-shirts and mugs and everything else. Absolutely. 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 Why? Because I think that this show is better than that. I, swear I think to God, that we are more. Great. I know it's true. I turn down things every day. I've turned down commercial endorsements. Speaking of commercials, how far... You know, I was offered a fortune... <laughs> Forget them, Tom, 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 please. You're, you're bumming me out. you got to leave now. It's enough. I've seen you enough. Please. Thank you. Take off the headphones and go back there. Thank you very much. Go back to your chilly nice little room. To you. Nice sweater. Go to Hawaii. Learn something. All right. Very good. Thank you, Tom. Oh, you know, I was if offered... If I'm being bumped for Ralph, then I might be upset. Let me just say something. I want to say something. After Tom, Ralph is welcome. <laughs> i got to tell you something. I turned down money to do a cigarette commercial in Japan. Mm -hmm. 
Now, why the hell they wanted me? <laughs> in fact, I wanted to do that one. And nobody would have known here in the States. No, my agent said don't do it. <laughs> I don't know why. That was a mistake. That's I would have liked to cash in on that. that you should have Who kills a bunch of Japanese smoke? They're all nervous anyway. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't seem to kill them. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I don't think that, I don't think John's doing any of this out of malice or, or, you, you think know. he's stupid? I, no, I don't think no, he's stupid. He's I think not. He, he's I very think, crafty. I, I he's not a dumb kid. He's, no, he you knows. don't know John. No, I you don't know John. John is one. He's called passive aggressive. He does it in strange ways. Same with Baba Booey. No, you're no different than him. Baba Booey is genuinely a dick. <laughs> when he said, "Oh, Wolf, well, I, I, so I'm no different." Thanks. Wolf, I'll never, I'll never do anything <laughs> like that again. <laughs> Shit, thanks. I'm bleeding. And let me tell you something. And Jackie blows rings around both of you. <laughs> All right? Well, so don't, don't. Jackie's the king. Right. I plead ignorance. Look, Jackie ignorance. came to me and said, I'll tell you the difference between you and Jackie, just so you're clear. Jackie came to me a long time ago. He says, listen, something that's very important to me, I would like to get plugs on the show. Mm -hmm. All right? So he has his products and stuff. Would I prefer Jackie didn't sell mugs on the air and T-shirts and stuff? I would, I, I'll be honest and say, yes, I'd prefer he didn't. But that's Jackie's career, and that's Jackie's got to manage his career the way he's... Listen, okay. his wife manages his career. And I was doing it before I met you. Exactly. Well, dude, I was in freaking college Ex making... Except before you met him, nobody Jackie, was Jackie, that has nothing... Yeah, exactly. Be honest, Jackie. That was not a, a lucrative business. It still isn't. Right. It's got no, that's got nothing to do with right. the argument. I thought so, you said it was free enterprise. My point of view was hey, that Jackie... Good, it was hard to good, get Jackie... Jump, it was hard to get Jackie paid around here. Much like Nobody myself. sees his value. And it was a way to get something going. All right? Yeah. So it's Jackie's products, and we make it very clear it's Jackie ripping people off, not me. <laughs> All right? <laughs> well, Howard, you know, it's no secret that I don't make any money around here. John, John, let me tell you something. But you can't abuse me. No, I don't want to. You don't That's why. I know, I know. No, otherwise, i got to pull my pants down. No, no, no. Why don't no, you no. make a Howard Stern mask and sell no, it? No, no, come on. Come on. Yeah, let me pull my pants down. Stop it, please. All right, no, let me just... pull my pants down. You want to make money, shave your head. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is this. But you, you know what I, was I want to finish? What, what I think John wants to be a star. I don't think that's a bad thing, but I just don't think he... Like, you know how to do it. You know how to go about it and, and, and do the right things, and John will just go at anything. Right. He, he, and he, and along, he desperately gets on okay, there. Okay, I'll try that, I'll try that, I'll try that, but he doesn't focus himself. There's no thought put into it. Yeah. Well, there's thought, but I, no, I obviously... No, it's obviously not a good thought. Right. <laughs> You're right, Ralph. Good, Ralph. No, he's right. But listen, you got to make sure you don't bite the hand that feeds no, you. No, I know. If, I know. Even if it barely feeds you. I understand that. I don't right. want to piss you off. Do you think I want to uh, sit no, through this? I don't know what you want. <laughs> but see, I would think like all these guys would look at you and see how you do it and learn from you and say, okay... You know, maybe I no, won't well, they're put out crap They're desperate. They're desperate. It's a sign of desperation. Do you understand desperation? Yes. The almighty dollar talking. All right. Very good. All right, I'm done with the discussion now. You can have a serious conversation with John. Look at him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it he does no, I'm worn out face. from this. I'm worn out from it. He squinches his eyes. Then <laughs> he has a twitch. <laughs> he gets very nervous. See, that's funny. <laughs> That's why people are always laughing at you. He thinks he's because he's funny. <laughs> is that thinking? What is that? Shut that's up. a twitch. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Now you're being real. Look, I'm not saying that you're any different than Gary, Jackie, Tom, any of these people. Jackie came to me and had a specific desire to sell this stuff as a way of payment. And that's, he is my writer. So that is what I have worked out with him. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, I can't tell, I, I can't, I, all I can tell you is that you can't abuse my name. Listen, Jackie first got here, he even tried to abuse my name. He was in the paper every minute. John thinks he's a writer, too. Yeah. But well, we got him straightened out, and now we're straightening you out. <laughs> you just got to remember, you know, when I... And you know what, I'm a nice guy. Most guys would have just blown you out of here. Said, no, I know, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're not a no. nice guy. All right. I'm too nice a guy. That's why I didn't even want to break up the Friends of the Howard Stern Show tour. Believe me, it was not easy for me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I just laugh. Yeah. You know, you do everything to try 
even the for name that was stuff lame. Not to happen. Yeah, I know. I and mean, then, and I could just see the ads, it, like Howard Stern. Oh, you don't know. And you don't know. Else is yeah. From oh, the, there was. It was Howard Stern. Letter. There were ads <laughs> taken out in the newspaper. <laughs> there was ads. Yeah, why don't you add more fuel to the fire? I mean, we're about done with this. What? No, 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 no. Yeah, it's not for you to decide if Ralph's should. Ralph's doing fine. All right. Hey, um, okay. <laughs> Big ads in the paper. Friends of the Howard Stern Show. It's even a lame name. I, did they got no. anything to do with, with, with... You have nothing to do with anything, John. You're, you're a saint. No, you I'm not saying that. You're always perfect. You're I've been doing gigs for how many freaking years? What is well, it, Gorilla? Well, Ronnie called up and he wants to know if him and Neil could open up the uh, yeah. Howard Stern Car Wash. Tomorrow. Yeah, why don't they just do that? Why don't they just put Howard Stern Car Wash? Why don't you, you and the guys open up a club called Howard Stern's? Why don't you? Why are you not allowed to do that? Howard, but why are you allowed on. to do the Howard Stern tour? Howard, I've been playing for how many years now? I mean, yeah. I, 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 just because Gary was... Gonna up here with me. I mean, it, no, it, it, no, no. It wasn't Gary just up there with you. You don't know what I busted up. Oh, you do know what I busted. No, up. no, no, no. I know, I know. What you busted up with, yeah. with, 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 with the with Howard Elephant Stern Boy. name. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, exactly. I know that. But I mean, Fred. It I, was a regular circus. So Elephant Boy is in Atlantic City with these guys. Gary calls him up on stage and goes, "Hey, Elephant Boy, say something." Mm. And Elephant Boy was like, "I don't want to say anything." And no one was laughing. It was really sad. So, so there's Gary just turning off more of my audience to some of my, you know, using up Elephant Boy. If Gary's decided that Elephant Boy and him should be doing shtick. Yeah. Say the, something. Yeah, say something funny. That shows a lot of planning. What kind of planning is that in my name? My audience should not be ripped off. If someone's going to rip off my audience, let it be me. Thank you. Ron Delsner found the weak link in the chain. Oh, yeah, he sure found them. He hooked in beautifully. All right, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm exhausted. You can see I'm exhausted. I'm mentally exhausted from all of this nonsense. Listen, I'm a lot nicer guy than most. Most guys just would have gotten rid of you, and they wouldn't have had a day of mental exhaustion. I must be a glutton for punishment. Right, thank you. Thank you. You can leave now. I can leave. You can go. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Good luck with everything. See if you can get some T-shirts made with my name on it. You know why I like Billy West and Fred? Robin. <laughs> and Ralph. Yeah, Ralph doesn't do anything. People say, why do you like Ralph? He's a homo, he's stupid, he's this, he's that. <laughs> hey, I don't have these discussions with him. <laughs> All right, Ralph, you can leave as well. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and you know what? If it, was, if it was two days ago, I'd be a lot more upset. Yeah. Wow. Why two days ago? Well, it's like when you bang someone up the ass. First time it might hurt a little bit more than the second or third. He's a homo, so it's not so bad today. It's bad, but I just I'm just getting used to it. Like a, like you know, whatever. I, I know what he's saying. You think you learned your lesson? Yeah, I always try and you know check with him, but this whole Howard Stern fucking crew thing. Okay. It's just I gotta take a break. I know, I, I you know, I, you know, I knew and, uh, when they told me that it was Gary's gonna be there and Jackie was gonna be there and Fred the Yellow Boy. I said, ah, oh, fun, you know, I'll have a good time. I didn't think of it like, you know, you know, abusing his name. You know what I mean? But um, I really didn't think it, I wasn't being malicious. In fact, I've, I've been trying to get out of it from day one because I make less money. I, I, I make more money just me playing the band that you know, I do being with Gary. Well, anyway, you know, I, I, you know, I make about a thousand dollars less. It wasn't making any sense to me anyway, because you got to pay Todd. That's a guy from Dells, and then you had to pay my manager, then you had to pay my fucking, you know, booking agent. I was, I was, it was just fucking stupid to do. So how do you think you're gonna get out of that um, situation where everything you do is sort of Howard feels you're ripping them off? How do you think you, you can get out of that? Well, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. You know, I really don't know. You know, but, you know, as, as far as it goes, you, you know, I mean, I understand what he's saying about, um, you know, the, you know, about being on too many shows. You know, I, I understand everything he's saying, and, and I know what, pretty much know what he's, what he wants out of us, you know. Are you upset by this? Well, you know what it was? See, Ga see Jackie brings up the, the excuse, oh, well, I've been doing comedy before I was here. Well, that's, that, you know, that's why I brought up you know, doing, doing the comedy films. I was making comedy films, too, before I was here. You know, that's what I'm saying.
I'm going up. <laughs> I, to, I, I, to, I, I told him. <laughs> you did tell him? I, 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 I went over with it five times. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, and then. Trouble is, you're funnier than John. And <laughs> five times. Five times. <laughs> a little tired. The Yankees played last night. <laughs> hey, John, speaking of that, get in here. Get your fat, lazy ass in here. This is the second run-in I have with this douchebag. Really? What's this about? Every week, once a week, stupid. like clockwork, John is late. Oh. The Yankees were on last night. So he was late today? Yeah, and in all seriousness, John has a job here. We don't have tons of money the to Yankees throw around. The Yankees don't pay him. No, the Yankees don't pay him. We do. And Gary, uh, Gary comes to me every week and goes, look, I'm completely frustrated. I know you don't want to fire late. John. Why were you late, man? Be honest. Cause you you stayed up and watched the Yankee I, game. I, I, no, it's, first of all, I'm not... What time did you go to bed last night? Be honest. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I'm, What time was the Yankee game over? How, I swear, you know what? No, I told Gary, I said to Gary, I want to have this conversation with John off the air because that's how serious it is. He's still consistently late because this has been going on. No, yeah. Tell me the honest he's truth, he's Jack, late. Gary. How how late is he? Not like uh, this is only the second time I've been late. I mean, no, no, no. But you're late. Every, I ask you to be in by quarter to every morning, which means if you want to be a pal, get in by twenty two. But consistently, you're in at five of six, well, ten of six, five of six. I like him at quarter I mean, two because I'll tell you why. Our, the interns don't get in until after six. I want John at that computer. There's many, many, many mornings. Where you're not in, and I got to get Benji or Ganji at the computer to cover your job. Uh, Many mornings. Yeah, but how, I'm, I'm in the quarter to ten to two. Most of the time, but it's not a most of the time gig. It's I no, want you no. all the time in. I don't think no, but I, no. your job no, begins. Hey. Excuse me. Yeah. Your job begins when? A quarter to six, according to Gary. And I think quarter well, to well, uh, according to Gary yeah, or according to you. No. What I'm, time does your job begin? A quarter to six. Oh, it does. Why do you say according to Gary? Well, because I don't really get started. I mean, there's no one on the... I don't get started. What time do we need you here? Well, Gary... I'm, I'm asking six. you to be in a quarter to six. Yeah, yeah, I'm, All right, I'm, so I'm your job here. starts at a quarter to six. Yeah. But, All right. But he right away said, I get here quarter to uh, six or ten up. Yeah, it's... Like, it's, it's, five minutes is okay. Right. He never... It's around a quarter to six. Who is your boss, anyway? Is Gary your boss? Yeah. Oh, he is. All right. I, I don't even know who you... Uh, you seem to have your own deal here. Well, no, Gary. Well, he seems to be Tom. autonomous. He's got a lot of... Gary, you and Tom, I would say. I'm his boss, but he's got a lot of latitude in other areas. All right, here's the deal. I'm going to stop this conversation now, because you know what? It's so serious that I think I'm going to have it with you off the air. I think we're going to sit down and have a man-to-man, -man, a heart-to-heart. All right. All right. Because... He doesn't... Uh, he refuses to... To I'll tell you what the truth is. When I do it on the air, when, it, when we do this conversation on the he air, thinks he a, thinks it's a joke. No, I don't think it's a joke. All right. How often is he late? Just tell me that for the private conversation. I would say, on the average, once a week, he's he's late for my for my clock. And and you told for me seven o'clock. What's that? What do you mean for your clock? In other words, for what I want him in, I want him in at five forty-five. He's saying, he's saying but, it's, but every day it's it's different. It's like, oh, I'm in a, a little he's bit. He's saying after. that if I come at ten to six, that I'm late. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. That's right. That's right. You are. No, I, I'm just letting him know. You know what you're saying, guy. <laughs> There's some mornings he gets in at five, and then and then those don't count the days where he says, "Listen, I'm driving in with Jackie. I'm coming in a little late. At least I know." And I give him that a lot of times. Well, sometimes my car breaks down. Sometimes car breaks right? down, but oh I give him that. Oh, my God. Right. So, so outside let me of, ask you something. Uh, once a week, he doesn't make it in by quarter to six. What is his... Uh, once a week, he doesn't make it in by quarter to six. And would you say most of the time... Sometimes he's told me he comes in at seven? No, no, no. no he had one really bad day last week. He got in at 740. He, like, really... No, but how, that, that right. never happens. I mean, that's just... A that, you know what? That one was so weird that I couldn't even get mad at him for that because that's one of those ones where something really bad happens. It happens once every ten years to everyone. I'm talking about... Right. The sixes, the six oh fives, the six tens. Oh, can you be, be here? Guys, yeah, usually the, uh, just like what you said John, it, let me tell you something. If it rains, snows, or looks like it's going to rain, you're late. It, there's always traffic on the LIE yeah, yeah, that Howard and Jackie never seem to hit. Ten to six. Oh, that's not true. But but you, they're here on time. But you know, yeah. here's the deal, John. Seriously, when I know it's going to snow, right. and I've had this conversation with you, if I know it's going to snow, I set my alarm five minutes yes, earlier. Why? You can't because you never. You, whenever any weather. Just happens. Happens. You know what John is going to say to you? It's his rituals. No, I didn't say that. I never have used that as an He's excuse. He's never blamed it on that yet. No, I mean, but that's the truth. You, Did you have a lot of rituals this morning? Because you have obsessive compulsive disorder? Yeah, but that, I, I've never gone. What was unusual about this morning? You had so many rituals. Because I was late. Is that why you were late? No, no. I was because the alarm had gotten. I I, I must have slept through the alarm. But so, if he's late, then there's more rituals. Yeah, then it gets uh, even crazy. So what did you have to do this morning? All right, you know, what were your rituals? Walking out of the room a couple times. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, 
Uh, I didn't wear socks. Sure, stuff like that. Oh, you didn't wear socks? No. You, you weren't allowed to wear socks? It was just because that would have been... It took me five minutes to get, get, to, like, get on a pair of socks. I just... I just, I just, I just <laughs> See, did you, when they were coming naked. Put socks on your clothes. There have been those times. Right. It, t- but takes, I, a, it I, takes a long time to put on socks. You have to take them on and off yeah, and you know, three times, four yeah. times. Right, right. So I said, the hell with that today. So right. Not. No socks. No socks. That's why you're socks. I, I would have been here at nine. Next week, you'll have a cold. <laughs> no, but I've never blamed it on that, and I don't think it should be. And, 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 you but, know. Joe, let me tell you something else. <laughs> Quarter to six, I think, is being relatively liberal. The truth of the matter is I'd love to have you in by 530, and I'll tell you why. Well, I'm the first one in the office at 530. The interns don't get here until after six. Anne-Marie gets in, but she's got her own thing to do. Anne-Marie's always on time. Yeah. I need stuff copied. I need, like, tapes dubbed. I need tapes pulled. You need and work I'm, done. I'm always the only one here. In fact, a lot of mornings, I'm the only what one here. What time does he leave? What time is his job over? Like, oh, he, like, he's huh? done with us by quarter to 12, because then he does his show from noon to one, and then he goes. Oh. Sometimes he'll stay, but but rarely. So like, so, so you can't you can't get in by quarter of six? All right, like I said, it's... I mean, you really should be in at 5.30. No, he never told me 5.30. No, I'm saying he, cause he, he's, he's had it. He's had it. Oh, he I, can't oh, get you here quarter. Well, why don't you tell him 5.30, then he'll be here by oh, quarter. Howard, Howard, don't forget for five years I was in at uh, at, at 5 o'clock. But, but that doesn't count now. Time. No, I know. Yeah, we, we know that. I got a question for you. Yeah. How come How come none of this ever affected you when you had to answer to Howard? When you used to have to wait for Howard and you were the guy, you were never late. You know that? Yeah, I know. What's that? Like because I told you he doesn't yeah. bow to your no, authority. No, it's not that. I mean, Gary... Honestly, I, I apologize. I, I mean, I'm I know, sorry. but how many times I mean, can you apologize? No, the only thing is, the only thing that I do have a problem with, and I know I'm wrong, so go ahead and yell at me, is that, you know, <laughs> when I'm in a 10 to 6, to me, it is, to me, quarter to 6, 10 to 6 is the same thing. No, it's not. I know. I know, but to me, because I don't get started, because usually, let me ask you something. If I told you that a quarter to 6 exactly, I could give you a million dollars, would you wait till 10 to 6? No, you'd be here a quarter to six. I mean, it's I'm not the same honest. thing. You know what it's about? Like, Howard, this is what the deal is. He'd be the, here at 5.30. The interns, right. don't, the interns don't have passes to get in. So if I'm here alone, the phone rings, and it's like, hey, it's Paul. Can you come let me in? Right. Now, i got to get up. Right. It's got to be important. Right. You're right. It's got to be. You're running back right. and forth to It's got to be important to you. Like I said, Gary's right. I'm, I'm sorry. Right. Man, I Are you going to be here a quarter to six, or do we I have to have a private conversation? No, i got to get two more alarm clocks, because... Two more? How many do you have? I have two, but again, I just slept... I, uh, last you slept through two alarm clocks? No, last night was only one, but... Because uh, I used to use the TV as an alarm clock. <laughs> what? You slept through one alarm clock. Yeah. The alarm clock went off. I don't know. I don't think it went off. <laughs> so you didn't set it because you're so no, tired no, from staying up from the Yankee game. Hour. I definitely. What time did you go to? Come on, I come on, get out of here. I just just, just be here on time. I, I, this I, is I, this I, is the bottom line. I mean, this is a waste of time. No, I, I agree. And I'm sorry. Right. I, get I, get I, on time. Get here on time. That's all I'm saying. That's all. But it's true. I do have to get some more. I, I mean, because it's I'm not, I don't know. Sometimes I'm. I'm, 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 I'm all right. Thank you. And 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 Gary and and just in my defense, I mean, there has been a lot of construction in LA. I have to. So good. Take the Northern State. There? Northern State is just as bad. The Northern I take the Northern State every morning. There's nothing bad on it. I no, go right in. I don't take the LIE. I take the Northern State. If you're telling me there's a setback for you that you know is going to no, be in the morning, really, I know. then start leaving alone. No, the LIE is and, really bad. It really is bad. Are you really breaking down that much? No, it was. I got uh, Rob once like, to come in. Uh, <laughs> what? I, I had I Rob. You got Rob? Rob? Didn't yeah, get remember my uh, airbag got stolen? That was, that was a year ago. Yeah, I'm always coming with Jackie. It's just every, every once in a while. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Right. There's a lot of latenesses. And you know it. We all know it. There's a lot of latenesses. No, about, yeah, I, I agree. About the 10 to 6 thing. But, I mean, it's not. All right. But see, he still doesn't. He, he, still, he wants 10 to 6. The 10 to 6 thing. No, yeah. Gary, I, I admit it's late. I'm just saying, it's not like, like when you say late, it's not like. But clearly, it's not late in your mind. And late is late. A minute late is late. I agree that it's late, but I also agree that usually, for the most part, I don't do anything till till five to six o'clock. I also agree. Here when you're supposed to get here. None of your I admit that I should be here till John. This isn't baseball. I don't want you to bat four hundred. I want you to bat a thousand. Can you bat a thousand? <laughs> Are you the Derek Jeter of this team? <laughs> I think so. All right. I mean, you know I would do anything for. If you were at IBM and you were mostly on time, they'd kill you. You'd be fired. Yeah. Ten, ten to. If you had a real job, you have to be on time. No, I, I agree. I Jackie guess, wouldn't I even drive with, in with him because John was making him late all night. I think John thinks that this is my me being anal retentive and just trying to... Uh, no, because at some point, like you need guy. somebody to... Really, he needs you at 5.30. Five I really but he's, he's copping you a break and he's saying, at some point, I need you here. I need you here by quarter to six no, to I help me. Right, if I couldn't get you here at quarter to six, I didn't dare move you back to 5.30. So right. I mean, I'm telling you, guys, I, you know, I have my alarm set for 4.40 in the morning. I just... I, I don't know what... You know, I leave my house at 5 because there's plenty of time to be at 5.45. 
it's funny because I, I... You leave your house at 5 and you can't get here on time? That's, I don't know what the hell. I mean, it's, it's just... I don't know what happened. You know, that's because you live in Guam. to get in the car. He moved all the way out by Jackie. But Jackie gets here? Yeah, no, Jackie gets Jackie here between flies. 6 and... I mean, Jackie's not here at any... And yeah, that's exact the, the point. Wait a minute. Jackie Am I here when I'm supposed to? Jackie, when Jackie's here when I need him. Yeah, Jackie, I'm not saying you're not. No, I'm, I'm just saying that it, it, when, when Howard opens, comes in, fluctuates. But he's here when he's but he's here. But he's here when I need him. By the time Howard opens the mic every morning, Jackie's sitting. You know what it is? Let me tell you what it is. I arrange it so if everything goes perfectly, yeah, I'm 15 right. minutes early. Yeah, if it. a few things go wrong. I'm here right on time. I got you. I got so you. So you shoot for 15 minutes early. Yeah, I'm going to cut a scene. Imagine Jackie you teaching shoot. you how to be responsible. Yeah. Shooting for You're quarter of, and then I if there's anything at 8 that is half, it's like, it's, true. Uh, I, 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 it's not my fault. It's not my fault. No, I, I don't. Uh, I don't <laughs> fall. Fall. I'm not planning for any problem. You, you, really, you really need to shoot for 530, and some days you'll make me happy because you'll come five, in at 530 or 540, and I'll go, whoa, John's really trying. Right. Well, I have come early. I haven't been here at 530. You know, the phone company will wake you up for $3 a month. I used to do that every night. You used to do that? Every night. Why did you do that? Wait, three dollars a month cost you a fortune. It was like it was costing more than that. Yeah, it was like it's like a dollar a. Uh, it's three dollars a month. Hey, hey, wait a second. I didn't answer. Jeff, how, you doing, how, how much does it cost to uh, get woken up by the phone company? Sir. Ten cents. A, I have the pamphlet right here. Ten cents a morning. Is this ten cents a call? Is this five for a week? You talking about? Is this, no, John. This, yeah. It's ten cents a call. No, I know, but is it the one I just said? <clears throat> What well, difference does it make, John? Okay. Is it for four? No, no, because I used to always call that, but it was it, it was it was uh, expensive. It, it, it might be more for four for, for forty. I, I, I don't answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, it's yeah. Early. It costs. It cost, you, You're right. It, co it costs like three or four dollars for you to have the service. But uh, on my plan, See? it's part. Yeah, you know, I don't even have a phone in, in, in my bedroom. Bell Atlantic. Uh, it was the wrong no. number. I was here for things. Uh, I'm just going to get on. I just, I just, I just, Thank I just you, sir. I'm going to buy two good no, alarm It's part of your voicemail. And, and you know what another problem I have is my power goes out all the time. Well, see, John. Battery operated. That's why you should uh, put it on the phone. Wind up. I have one of each. I don't have a phone in my bedroom, Robert. And a battery operated <laughs> alarm. Uh, oh, and you can't get a phone in your bedroom. See, you don't think your job is that important. No, I don't. No, I just, I just don't have a phone just, in my bedroom. So just, get I one. Just, I don't know. All right. Uh, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't know if I, if I want one in my bedroom. But we're, gonna, we're gonna find my socks. <laughs> no, I just gotta get. I, I just gotta buy like two more alarm clocks. No like, like, no like, All right, continue to be late, John, because you're. Robin, if I have three alarm morning. clocks and I'm still late, I'm a moron. You are. I agree. <laughs> you must be an idiot with Armando, you. you're on. I'm <laughs> like Howard. Yes. What can we do for you? You know, he he's smoking the hydro. The hydro is putting him out like a light. I don't light. even smoke that much. Anymore. You still smoking weed? Not really. Maybe it's putting you out like a light, like no. this guy said. I don't smoke that much weed. Get it's killing him. Yeah, well, you right. drink if you don't smoke. No, I didn't. I didn't drink it at all yesterday. <laughs> Seriously, what, this guy's on his trip, John. Yeah. What time did you go to bed last night? Okay, what time did the game end? I, I went to, what time did the game end? <laughs> Before I could say that, I, I took a, a, an afternoon nap of, a, of, a, of like two hours and fifty minutes, just knowing that I, that I was going to watch the and game. What time did the game end? Like twelve. And what time did you 12. finally? Do you think you finally really fell asleep? Twelve twenty, twelve thirty. Me, it takes me an hour. Right. You know why? Because you slept all afternoon. afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. You know what you got to do? Because I wanted to go bed at 11, guys. I swear to God, I was like wide awake. You don't have like, to watch the Yankee game. You wake up in the morning, you get no, the I know, score. But I couldn't. I was wide awake. Like, wide you awake because you there. slept for two and a half hours He's in the afternoon. He's so Turn excited over the game, he can't yeah. sleep. Right. No, no well, that's not true. Turn off the joint, John. No, uh, I haven't smoked a pot in a while. Thank you, sir. Please, John, this is silly. No, I know. I, like I said, you think I wanted to watch the Yankee game last uh, night? I did. If I slept for two and a half hours, I'd be up all night. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Right, get out of here. You're wasting the whole show. All right, get out. To get, in the court of get out, get out. Please get out so I can move on with my program. Now, do you need a private conversation as well? No, I don't. I, I, you know, I really know Gary's right. I should be on court. I mean, there's no dispute for me. Did you see the game? Baseball season's almost over. Right. Hey, listen to this. this is a guy, right, I'm done with you now. I'm going to move on. In the news today, there's a great story. All right. So I don't have to waste my time with you in a private conversation. You really are you going to take care of this like a man? Yeah, I, I just gotta get like, or are you a baby? You know what? Like I'm, I'm, I think I'm, you are. I'm, I'm, are you a I'm man or a baby? Just answer my question. I'm a man. I'm going to put. Oh, a you are a man. Okay. Because yeah. I thought you were a baby, and I thought maybe I had to get you a baby bottle and diaper so that you could walk around here and so everyone will know you're a baby because you can't do your job. <laughs> It's a big Met game tonight. What are you going to do? I'm, I'm not a big Met fan. So, uh, I'm not a Met fan. All right. So you don't need a baby diaper? You don't need me to coddle you? You don't need me to no, cradle you and make you feel like you're part of the community? It's not a, it's you're a freak. I'm not going for attention. No. You're not. Oh, you don't think so? No. Don't you know what your OCD is about? Haven't you figured it out yet? Uh... You're so... You are so anxiety-ridden about being taken care of. You're feeling such pressure that you can't be taken care of, that this is your way of controlling the awkward environment that you live in. It gives you some control. 
It's a, it's a distraction. Keeps you busy from thinking about your real problem, which is that you are a big baby. <laughs> and that you need to be coddled by so me. Just... You need to turn me into your mother. No, the no, mother no. you never had. I had a great mother. Yeah. No, you didn't. Daddy. Trust me, you didn't. Daddy. You don't know yet what you have. <laughs> you want someone to take I, care I of John. I'm giving you psychotherapy. Yeah. I'm giving you psychotherapy for free right now. You want to waste your time with a bunch of quacks, or you want to hear from the master psychotherapist? So why are you in psychotherapy? Then, I went into it. I got a severe problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's none of this baby crap. I don't want to be babied. No, I don't think I'm a man. I show, you, like, someone gives me a job, I'm there on time. I think it's fear, basically. Is yeah, it is fear. I mean, I fear is that you can't come to work on time. That's my fear. His fear is uh, about his insecurity mm. that he won't be able to handle so then, life. So let me ask a question. You need a daddy. Hold on. Job. Then why, you know, when so I leave, Howard? No, hold on a second, Robin. All right, if this is true, then why, when I leave, the rituals are just as as much as when I'm... Well, because you're consumed with it. Right. You're a mess all day you long. You want to be taken care of. You're just a mess in the morning. And no offense, you went to a psychologist. Yeah, a psychologist. That's these, these fields of like, doc, like Dr. Laura. I went to... You went to the psychiatrist to get medication. I went to like... You went to a psychologist. Psychologist, psychologist are quacks. Three psychologists. Get out of here. Get, get, make my day miserable. I, and I know, why John, I know why John has the rituals when he... Why don't you go to a, why don't you go to a, 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 a tarot card you reader? You know what? He needs a surgeon. I told just that, take uh, out that You want to go to a real therapist or one of these these uh, make believe therapists. He needs a surgeon to remove his brain. Right. <laughs> get out of here. Here's why he has get out of here, big baby. A, wear a diaper and a baby bottle. <laughs> right. Here's why he has those problems when he leaves. Because you have you have to be home at a certain time and you have responsibilities no, on no, that end too. No, I don't get it. Doesn't do it being on home on time. No, 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 no. Trust right. me. Leave I, me alone. Me. Please leave me alone. And please stop making your problems my problem. I'm sorry. Stop scream for help. That's what this is. Can't wear socks. No, I can't wear socks. No, I don't put on a pair of socks. Robin, feet I knew the socks would take me five minutes. Oh, oh, come on. Goodness. It's really. It's, it's enough with that, you know, that OCD. Get rid I never used it as an excuse. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Your feet smell. Gary, have I ever come up and say, oh, it was OCD? I mean, no, stop you know, it. You say it to me. How do you think I know this? Oh, my Rob God. She just, she just busted me. No. Oh. Yeah, I, I've had private conversations that I thought would be private. Well, now they're not. Now they're public. You know, you know, when you bring me a problem, you stuff, Rob. When you bring me a problem, it's public. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh. What did he say to you? Oh, my God. What did he say to you? I have, I have a private, I, but I would never use it as an excuse. You're telling use it it is. It's an excuse. It's your excuse. I, but I've never used it to my boss as an excuse, it. Rob. Not saying if it. If I tell you as a friend, an I have friend. an OCD. I had OCD. I was on time. What's the matter with you? Well, well suck it up. Well, 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 how, well, well apparently, well, well, there are two well, people. Well, 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 two well, things that well, can happen well, if, well, if, well, if you have well, OCD. You can either be late all the time or you be early all the time. Well, be early. You be the kind who is early. No, no, I never made that choice. Robin, what did he say to you? What did that big baby? Because he needs a diaper. I'm going to get you. You know what I'm going to do every day? You know I'm going to on my lap and, and rock you like a baby. Oh, there was a time time baby. Where Robin was a very close friend of mine. You know where you want to move? <laughs> you want to move to Israel. You know, what? Uh, you know why? Me anymore, why? Because they got communes there. That's what you need. You need a group of people taking care of you. <laughs> yeah. You need to share responsibilities. And being a rugged individualist is not your thing. That's all. I stopped driving him one day. It was raining. So, of course, you leave a little early. Yes. Right? I pulled up to his house. I beeped. Waited. You don't want to beep, you know. Right. But finally, right. you beep. It's snowing, raining, sleeting. It's horrible out. He comes running out in his underwear, right. carrying his clothes, with his hair soaking wet. He jumps in the car, proceeds to knock my coffee all over my car phone, and broke that. You want to hear the worst what? of it, Howard? Oh, oh. The worst of it that as soon as we pulled out of the driveway, I realized I didn't have my passport. And, and passport. <laughs> you don't need a passport to get him in hand. We were going to L.A. But the whole show was going, oh. and, and, and I didn't. Ha I just and I, didn't and I, and want I, to bother I, Jack with saying, "Can you just what, wait what, five man? minutes?" <laughs> that I drove the whole way to the city and called my sister to tell her to get my passport. Why you, you got an assistant, no less. Why do you need a passport to go to Los Angeles? I don't know. Because I didn't have a driver's license. At the time. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's uh, that's, that's your logic. <laughs> It's Jackie's fault because Jackie rushed you. Turn his car around. <laughs> well, he was there 10 to minutes early. Yeah, and, 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 he could have waited. Now, John, where was no, your No, Jackie gets very angry. But how? <laughs> Jackie, you have no idea how angry Jackie is. <laughs> because Jackie wants to go to work. No, not even that. Even if we're on time, Jackie's angry. Why? Why? There'll be times where Jackie wouldn't be talking. I mean, I mean, and we'd be on the way. Wait, 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 Jackie. Wait, 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 wait. He'd be like, damn it. Years Hold on, let me tell the story, Jackie. And he'd be like, damn it, the deli's closed. God damn it. And I said, Jackie, is everything all right? He goes, see? That's why I don't want you driving with me, because I don't want anyone to ask me if I'm all right. <laughs> well, he's right. Who hey, wants you there? I'm not what? denying this for a second. <laughs> I know. So that's why I didn't tell you. Go back to my passport. 15 boy. minutes. Is <laughs> you're out of your mind, too. Do you realize that John has thrown a wrench at Jackie's whole life? Well, John is a leech. 
Oh, you don't get it. He's riding for free. Hold on. Criticize him. Right. Hold on a second, Howard. Right. Right. Howard, I showed don't don't Jackie a me. number I'm of times in his book. Now, this is just BS. It's, it's, it's don't because don't you see what John wants? He wants you to cradle him uh, and be yeah. his daddy. Yeah. 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 Help. Help. Why didn't you pull over to the side of the road and rock him like a, a baby <laughs> when he's rocked in out his mommy's arms? No, when he's in his underwear. You big homo. When he came out in his underwear, I just said, wait a minute. Are you sure you have everything? You know, America was built by rugged individualist. I want a baby. And it is a difficult. Most men you know, you are. You have a different spin every yeah, every. Most right. men are type B. That thing called the Donner Party, mm -hmm. where you know, like they had to actually eat some of the members of the party to survive. John would have been one of the eaten. John, no, John would have eaten everybody. No, he would have been one of the eaten because nobody could have handled. They were oh. just hung first. <laughs> right, listen, I don't know who's eaten who, but I'm going to tell you something. Oh. But how I've driven Jackie just. I mean, uh, 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 a lot uh, of times uh, when Jackie's car got uh, robbed, whatever it was. Uh, I mean, so please, Jackie's car got robbed. I don't know. He had, the window was broken. I don't know what it was. So what, John start whining to you that he's got mental problems? Well, I, I know the last time that this came up, <laughs> he says, well, you know what it is. You know, I got so many <laughs> It does take a long time. Yeah, I can't get it You know what? Car. We're not buying it. Uh, I've never used it. Because if we start buying it, you'll never get here. I've never used it. You'll be locked in the house. I, I, you did, do, I didn't want this to come out on the air. It was something I told Robin. Himself. Let me tell you what happened to me when I had the OCD. Jeez. At some point, I go, forget the rituals. i got to get to work. <laughs> no, and, I, and like I said, I get here at 10 to. <laughs> Make getting here one of your rituals. Make it a ritual. Uh, getting here should be yeah, a ritual. The rituals he does. <laughs> yeah, that he does. <laughs> if you don't get if you don't get here on time, you're gonna bad things are gonna happen to you and your family. All right. Now you know what's gonna happen. And they really will. And they will <laughs> for real. Be out of a job. <laughs> you're, not, you're not gonna have work. Uh. Oh my God! I'm sure, uh, you, I'm sure you had. Uh, you know, would you get up earlier? No, like extra earlier. No, when, no, when you were, no, no. I wasn't. Not foolish. I'm not going to sit and waste. My, oh, listen, sleep is another thing. Channel, though, you used to, you used to go. I had down. problems, but I. And he scheduled. I scheduled my problems. Saying, so you got up early. No, getting up early was not. A, I wasn't doing Did that. Read his book. He talks about. Right. It. He won't read. No, he takes he can't, you know he can't even read a book. No, I know that. I couldn't either. <laughs> hey, Howard, can I, can I just... It was hard enough writing there. <laughs> what do you want there, uh, Tom? Hey, what's up, Howard? Hey. Hey, John's a big, fat leech. Right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I appreciate it. Is that all you have to say? No, man. You know what? John, you should get some glasses, you big, fat bastard. Hey, I'm not fat. Yes, you are fat. No, You're I'm a big, not. fat Mexican. Oh, this is the, oh. this guy's been calling all morning, Howard. Yeah, so what? He he's, he's been calling me a spick all day. So. Yeah, I mean, you can't say that. I'm sorry, Howard. Robin, love you. Right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Howard. Bye. That's Tom. He's obviously upset with you. And he's polite to everybody else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, John. You're JC, you're on. Hey, I think you should uh, give John a break. At least he's there. Well, excuse me, he's got a job. What do you mean, at least he's here? As opposed to who? Well, it... last week you were, you know, threatening to fire him. I was. Well, if he's that bad, fire him. Well, I'll tell you the truth. Don't get on his case. And I'll tell you the there. truth. <laughs> well, we're trying to be compassionate and tell him he's on the verge. I mean, how many times can you give a guy a warning? We like the guy. We, we like him. We, we His work is fine. It's just he's... he's... When he gets there. Did you hear her? Give him a break. Fire him. <laughs> yeah. You're real compassionate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> All right. Are we done with this so I can move on? Yeah. yeah. You know who's here? And oh. if I breach some confidence, John, that I didn't know I was breaching, I'm sorry. Oh, please. You can breach anything. It's nothing he hasn't said no, already. It's, no. Yes, it is. It's just something that I Well, what's the, the new information? I would use it as, as an excuse for being mad. I, I think that's what <laughs> you told Robin it is an excuse. No, but me and Robin, it's a personal friend. So what? Well, it is your excuse. No, it's not my. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> it's not my. To it's not. A You're telling her so she'll go to Gary. No, that's not the case. It was supposed to be. Between why don't you wear? Why don't you wear a diapers. diaper to work? So I remember that you're a baby. I mean, if I have a private conversation with Gary, if, if you wear a funny. diaper to work, it'll remind me that you're a baby. That's right. You won't have to worry about socks and clothes. Get a diaper. Right. If you remind me that you're a baby, then maybe I could understand why you're late. Because babies are late. Babies don't know have a sense of time. I do, I do have a sense of time. Like I said, I just, I'm just i like five. If you're late, wear a diaper so that way I'll take pity on you. John, let me ask you a question. Would you say as a general rule for appointments in your life in general, are you late? Yeah. How many times have you? How many times has, has your show started without you? Yeah, I'm, I'm usually late to things. Start the show starts <laughs> to wear a diaper. That way people know you're a baby. I, I, I mean, it's, uh, I don't Lateness know. is a sign of childishness. You're just a big baby, that's all. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. I mean, Why? You're late. All You're right. a baby. All you right. need someone okay. to take care of you. That's all this notion. Why don't you admit it to yourself? Uh, I don't think that's what it is. Once you admit that you need a daddy, 
No, I don't think this one. Once you admit it, then we'll all understand. I'm saying you don't think, but you can't. I think what it is, Harry, is that we get up so early in the morning, correct? Yeah. But I try and cut it down to the last night. I see. All of us all right. get up so early. Right. Yeah, and I think we all, at least, I don't know if you guys do, but Why don't we get a time. diaper and a pacifier for him? And when he's late, he'll wear it, yeah, and we'll remind him that he's a baby. He got himself into the situation where now he had to move to the end of the earth. Right. It's not that far. Why did you move all the way out to a summer, yes. which, which is a beach community? I love the water. Yeah. Water. We all, I love the water. I'd love to live on the water, but you you know what I did? I said to myself, I want to be 20, 25 minutes from the city. So I'm going to give up the water because I'm not a baby. You're a baby. Oh, I God. like the water, Jesus so Christ. I'll move somewhere where I can't be on time. Get in? 35 minutes. Right, it takes me 45, so I'm 10 minutes. It doesn't but take you, you 45. Get here. You said you leave at 5 o'clock in the morning, yeah, and, and you're not here till 10 no, of 6. I'm here. Gary said once a week I might be... It doesn't minutes. take you 45 minutes. Yes, it does. Only, once, yeah. only once a week. I bet you never like getting into your boat because babies, when they when they want to do something that they like, they're yeah. anxious. I'm usually late to everything. Like I have a six-year-old. Uh, yeah. When she's going to do something she likes, she's right on time. She gets stressed real quick. And then when we have to go do something she doesn't like, uh, uh, she uh, cries uh, and whines uh, and dawdles. Uh, but she's a baby. I, I like So you're a yeah. baby. I don't have a problem. I forgot you were a baby. I sometimes treat you like a man. I enjoy coming. Look, here's the big adult like diaper. Gary telling yeah. you what What is that? A brief? Uh, yeah. Here's a medium-sized fitted brief. You can go put that on so you can make in your pants and we'll clean you. <laughs> Lie on your back and kick your legs in the air like the baby you are. All right, now leave because you're a big baby. I forgot. I'm sorry. A baby, a baby has to be handled a different way. It's amazing the angles you take him. Give him a punishment if you, and, 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 and rock him in your chair and give him a big baby body when, he's, uh, when he has a problem. Get out of here. Howard, remember we did the MTV Awards a couple of weeks ago? Yeah. Then we all went out. When can I get rid of both of you? Yeah. In two seconds. Yeah. The very next day, John had to do his show from Taco Bell on Long Island. No, this, right. is, this is so stupid. No directions. Pouring rain. Right. Quarter to 11, I see John downstairs. I, see, I, I give myself an hour and 15 minutes to get 20 minutes away. And, and, at a minute to 12, and, and. he's pulling his hair out of his head because the star of his hour-long show that's doing this important remote is nowhere to be found. I right. hear his excuse. Let me guess. I, I, I didn't have directions. That's right. Right. Is that Ooh. right? Ooh. No. Yes. What's your excuse? Hold on a second. Uh, the truth uh, of the matter uh, is, uh, I left with uh, plenty of time. I didn't have time. I left, quarter, I left quarter, an hour and 15 minutes. Quarter to 11 on, on an unbelievably heavy, rainy day. I was, I was at the exit. At, at at twenty to twelve, then I got lost for twenty minutes and drove around in circles. <laughs> Why would you get lost? Because I thought you didn't LA, have directions. Because I thought the old I thought uh, Jericho the, Turnpike was I thought the, uh, was was north of the LIE at that point, and it happened to cross, and I went north, and the thing was south. <laughs> Why check on? But did you have directions? Yeah, I mean, I knew where it was. It was I. Would you stand and go stand in the corner? You know, uh, and take a time out. I mean, that's that's. You know, I've stand been in the corner. Of, right. Thank you. I, you like, know what it is? This is like talking to my kid, uh, my six-year-old. Uh, my uh, six-year-old uh, has uh, it more uh, together. Uh, hey, here's a loser, dunce uh, cap, uh, and and go stand in the corner. Uh, 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 you know, I mean, here's, uh, uh, Jackie's making fun of me. How many times has he been late saying that uh, his we didn't call him and and, and like that? Here we go again. It's all about Jackie. He just came across to me. You know what? Jackie's late once every six months. He's late once a week. What do you mean, out of your mind? That's the truth. Uh, once every six months? Yeah. I don't even remember the last time he was yeah, late. It's been a while. Well, we play that phone call every day, so John's just... Right. Well, actually, it wasn't that long ago I remember us talking to him in his See? car. Yes. Right. Please, come on. It was, it was, it was but it's that was not crap. often. All right, but could you please leave me now so I can talk to my audience about other things that are more important than you being a baby? You're very childlike. Well, all right. I all have right. special uh, problems. Okay. Go. You know, but there's no more we can do for you. Either you can get here on time or you can't. I'll be on time. All right, thank you. I understand your car breaks down, something happens important. No, I understand. But on a regular basis, I, you know, and then Gary comes to me and I go, Gary, can't you handle this? He goes, look, the guy just doesn't respect me. I go, well, then, then fire him. We got to send the dispute. It's... I don't, uh, I don't want to fire you. I like you. You know how much I like you. I think you know. No, I know. How many I'm, I'm, times I'm, can you have the same conversation? Because this right. has been going on for years. No, but the dispute is over five minutes for the most part. Who's more important, your job or the Yankees? My job. That's your right. job is? Yeah. You sure? You didn't act that way last night. The Yankees right. were more important. I told you I especially took a three-hour nap. You're a baby. Three-hour nap. Like a baby. You take a nap like a baby. I took a nap. Did you sleep with your thumb in your mouth? I hope. Give you a security blanket, too. Get out of here. Thank you. Okay.